Chapter 901, Dogged Pursuing Translator, Lord Bluefire Editor, Lord Bluefire Ken Winchin's aura abruptly became extremely overwhelming, a resplendent white-colored blazing flame surrounded him, as runic inscriptions circulated around it. What was even more terrifying was that a layer of sword chi appeared on his body and the entirety of his energy was burning, constituting a supreme sword might. Huh? Ji Lan Feng's countenance changed, filled with puzzlement as he stared at Ken Wenchen. Right now, Ken Wenchen's aura was still climbing upwards, it felt even more overwhelming than before. This was especially so for the supreme sword might, it grew more and more intense by the second. What's going on? The expressions of the experts from the God Extermination Palace changed as they stared at Ken Wenchen, filled with bewilderment. Arf, arf. Little Rascal, who was on Ken Winchin's shoulder, started barking as it bared its fangs and brandished its claws. It then spoke in its baby-like voice, These bunch of bastards, kill them all. Purgatory, who was in the air, let out a few terrifying shrieks as it circled above Ken Winchin's head. After that, it transformed into a beam of blood-colored light as it directly shot into the body of Ken Winchin. Ken Winchin understood the intentions of Purgatory and his heart was moved by its emotions for him. Purgatory had gained spiritual intelligence and was nurtured by his bloodline. It only had nothing but endless gratitude for him and now that it knew Ken Winchin was burning away his energy, it wanted to transfer all the strength it had as fuel for Ken Winchin. How can I burn away your strength? Ken Winchin silently mused. After which... A blood-colored beam shot out as Purgatory was expelled from his bloodline. Ken Winchin refused to sacrifice it. Right now, he was different from the past. Back then when he used the immortal vanishing sword play, he might even lose his life in the process because he was just too weak. But now, he is already a seventh-level ascendant and the power of his bloodline was many times more powerful compared to before. He had enough energy to burn for this strike. You are burning the entirety of energy in your body to produce an overwhelming attack. Ji Lanfeng understood what he was seeing. He then frowned, this brewing strength was extremely terrifying. Ken Wenchen was using a sacrificial method to boost his attack strength, but the weakness of this was apparent as well. No matter what, he had to pay the price first by weakening himself severely before he could injure others. In fact, Ken Wenchen might even be crippled after that strike. Hence, people would usually never use such techniques until the moment of absolute despair. Was this fellow risking his life just to win? Swish, swish, swish the wind was howling as boundless sword chi congregated onto Ken Winchin's body. Ken Winchin's sword finger pointed out as a formless sharp sword coalesced from the sword chi, solidifying by virtue of the supreme sword might. The terrifying laceration energy that radiated from it felt like it could even tear space apart. This entire area was being enveloped by it and all the members from the God Extermination Palace could clearly sense how extreme the power of destructiveness was. Jun Mengjin and Zi King Suen were trembling in their hearts as well when they stared at Ken Wenchen. Even they had no idea that Ken Wenchen knew of such a tyrannical innate technique. Ken Wenchen's body returned to his normal size as flowing runic light formed an armor around him. A pair of golden wings formed behind his back as he coolly stared at Ji Lanshin. The ultimate strike at the very peak below immortality. Ji Lanfeng spoke as he stared at Ken Wenchen. Even if you burn all of your energy and essence to strengthen your attack infinitely, you still wouldn't be able to break the barrier that leads to immortality. All below immortality are merely mortals. While right now, I who am at the ninth level of celestial phenomenon, has also already reached the peak of mortality. Although your attack might have reached the very peak, it is impossible for it to threaten my life. At the same time, you are merely exhausting your energy at a tremendous rate and won't be able to sustain it for too long. What a futile struggle! The immortal foundation realm was a barrier that separates the immortals from the mortals. For mortals. Even if they borrowed the power from secret arts or innate techniques, it would be impossible for their strikes to reach the immortal rank level. At most, they can only reach the ultimate peak beneath immortality. The immortal vanquishing swordplay is an immortal art, only immortal foundation experts would be able to unleash the limits of its power.
However, since Ken Wenshin has not reached the Immortal Foundation realm, he won't be able to use this attack to its fullest potential. Ji Lanfeng wasn't wrong. As a ranker of the Immortal Ascension rankings, he nationally belonged to geniuses who stood at the peak in the perspectives of the Immortal Realms. He himself already stood at the peak of mortality and this peak was known as none other than the Immortal Ascension rankings. Right now at this moment, Ji Lanfeng's aura also gushed forth frenziedly. His Thousand Talisman constellation reassembled and transformed into a Thousand Talisman shield which circulated around him, as though in preparation for Ken Wenshin's attack. At the same time, the Thousand Talisman sword from before returned to his hand. He stared at Ken Wenshin as he continued, Just give it up. If you want to me to give up, it's impossible unless I'm unconscious. I cannot fully control the power of this strike. You said that one of the rules is that no one in the City of Ancient Emperors must use an immortal ranked weapons. I can live with that. However, like I said, I can't fully control the power of this strike. If you want to force me to unleash it, the question would then change to, are you absolutely sure that you can block it? Ken Wenchen simply spoke, the energy in his body was still burning and a stifling sword might could clearly be sensed by everyone even the spectators down below. They were also enveloped by this supreme sword might and the fluctuations indicated that this might was truly at the ultimate peak below immortality. Although Ji Lanfeng was only a step away from immortality, it was a fact that he was still a distance away from the true ultimate peak below immortality. If not, how could his ranking be number 321? There are still 320 people ahead of him and only those top few rankers on the Immortal Ascension rankings could be considered as having reached the true ultimate peak below immortality. Sharp piercing sounds echoed endlessly. That was his sword intent grinding endlessly at the light radiating from the Thousand Talisman constellation. This ear-piercing sound caused Ji Lanfeng to turn silent. Qian Wenxin's finger simply remained stretched out at his original position. As soon as his finger descends, that supreme sword might would instantly flood over everything, causing absolute destruction. I can just waste time with you, but how long you sustain burning your energy for? Ji Lanfeng stated coldly. Both of you get on little rascal's back. I can communicate telepathically with him, he will know what I'm thinking. Qian Wenchen transmitted his voice to Jun Mengchen and Zi Kingsuan. The two of them nodded and mounted on little rascal's back. BZZ. Qian Wenchen moved forward step by step, in the direction of Ji Lanfeng. This scene caused Ji Lanfeng to frown. Upon seeing Qian Wenchen getting closer and closer to him, he actually chose to take a step back. An instant later, he saw an icy smile appearing on the face of Ken Wenchen. A raging wind gusted by, as the image of a golden rock appeared from Ken Wenchen's body, while he turned and shot towards an expert from the God Extermination Palace. Careful! Ji Lanfeng roared, but Ken Wenchen's speed was simply too fast. He instantly appeared before his target as his finger stabbed out. Just a moment later, that person only felt his entire body being enveloped by an unparalleled sword intent and as long as Ken Wenchen pressed his finger downwards, that person would be exterminated. Little Rascal could indeed communicate telepathically with Ken Wenchen. At that moment when Ken Wenchen moved earlier, it had already acted and also traveled in the direction of Ken Wenchen, preventing the other members from the God Extermination Palace from acting. This is a robbery, hand over all your interspatial rings. Little Rascal's baby voice rang out, sounding extremely adorable. Its snowy white body stopped before Ken Wenshin's target as it stretched out its paw. This scene was extremely comical but that expert being targeted had no mood to laugh at all. His life was now being controlled by Ken Wenshin. Behind him, numerous powerful auras approached. Although Ken Wenshin didn't turn his head, he stated, I don't wish to unleash this strike. Don't touch my bottom line or I also won't know what would be the consequences. As the sound of his voice faded, Ji Lanfeng and the experts of the God Extermination Palace had no choice but to halt. That expert who was being threatened turned ashen as he handed over his interspatial rings, placing them onto Little Rascal's paw. Why are you so stupid? Little Rascal stared at that expert as he lazily scolded. Its other paw slammed out 
blasting onto the expert, causing an explosive sound as that expert was flung through the air from the impact. It was unknown how many bones he broke from the impact. Insolence. G. Lan Feng coldly roared. Little rascal turned its gaze over as it continued, Who asked you guys to bully this Babel? That little demonic beast is pretty interesting. The spectators below laughed. Qian Wenchen stared at the members of the God Extermination Palace, only to see that the ores from them were still tyrannically gushing out as though they were preparing to defend against Mar of his sneak attacks. Even at this point of time you are still trying to antagonize us? I wonder if you are truly idiotic. Ji Lanfeng stared at Ken Wenchen, yet Ken Wenchen seemed as though he didn't hear anything. Ken Wenchen then mounted Little Rascal as it zoomed through the air with frightening speed. The Supreme Sword Might was still radiating from Ken Wenchen, and had completely enveloped the space around here. Can you even escape? Ji Lanfeng sneered. After which, he and his cronies stepped out, pursuing Little Rascal. He wanted to see how long Ken Wenchen could still endure the burning of his energy. A group of experts soared rapidly through the skies of the City of Ancient Emperors, Ken Wenchen's energy was unceasingly being burned and the pursuers were in such a frenzy that their constellations were still in the air and were prepared to fight at any moment. A ranker of the Immortal Ascension rankings actually utilized the full power of his sect to chase after three newbies? Do all of you know shame? Ken Wenchen mocked. His voice was booming, echoing throughout the city below. A moment later, countless people inclined their heads. Ji Lanfeng, Ji Lanfeng of the Immortal Ascension rankings is actually chasing a few newbies around. In addition, it seems like he didn't dare to act. Many experts in the city of ancient emperors soared into the air to spectators expressions of interest appeared on their faces. Right now, Ji Lanfeng's expression grew increasingly ugly. The people in their surroundings increased and he felt hot shame burning in his heart. If you continue to flee, when you have fully exhausted your strength, don't blame me for being ruthless. Ji Lanfeng roared in rage, his voice containing a formidable threat. Qian Wenchen was positioned on Little Rascal's back in such a way that he could directly stare at their pursuers. His countenance was cold as sharpness flashed through his eyes. He didn't expect that so soon after arriving here, he would encounter these persistent bastards of the God Extermination Palace. Today, I'm going to destroy the prestige and reputation of your God Extermination Palace. Ken Wenchen coldly spoke. Little Rascal, get down there. Little Rascal descended, landing on a vast and desolate area. This scene caused the spectators to ponder with interest, could it be that this young man who was burning his own energy still had other more powerful hidden trump cards which he had yet to reveal? Chapter 902, Xiao Lin Ayu Translator, Lord Bluefire Editor, Lord Bluefire Qian Wenchen descended onto the ground, his entire body was circulating with a terrifying light. With a thunderous boom, he stomped on the ground and instantly, Lines of runic inscriptions appeared, transforming into the outline of a diagram. A powerful burst of astral energy gushed forth from it as the pressure in the atmosphere grew heavier. MHM? G. Lanchen floated in the air. Before this, he wasn't in a hurry to act because he knew there was a limit as to how long Ken Wenchen can sustain the burning of his energy. He wanted to wait until Ken Wenchen was exhausted before acting, rather than risking his life now. However, right now, Ken Wenchen chose to land on the ground and each of his steps actually could inscribe divine inscriptions. Ken Wenchen unleashed his heavenly hammer constellation, causing numerous gigantic hammers to appear in the air. The hammers slammed down with crushing force, smashing onto the ground, causing deafening sounds to echo as the ground shook violently. Very swiftly, a gigantic diagram formation appeared. This diagram was three-dimensional and there seemed to be an overwhelming power brewing within it. Inscribing a grand formation, his earlier actions were actually in preparation to inscribe this formation. To think that he is also actually a divine inscriptionist as well. The spectators' eyes shone with interest, they didn't expect Ken Wenchen would have this capability as well. He burned his own energy to gather overwhelming might to threaten the members of the God Extermination Palace forcing them not to move about recklessly while he took the time to set up the formation. Should we attack to interrupt him? 
someone asked. The experts of the God Extermination Palace all turned their gazes onto Ji Lanshan, he was the leader here. You guys retreat, let me handle it. Ji Lanshan waved his hands and spoke in a heroic manner. Given how powerful Ken Wenshin's immortal vanquishing swordplay is, out of all the members of the God Extermination Palace only he would have a chance to stand against that. Okay. The members of the God Extermination Palace nodded their heads. Ken Wenshin was actually a Grand Master Inscriptionist. They cannot allow him to inscribe the formation freely. Ji Lanshan stood arrogantly in the air. Terrifying light shimmered around him as the thousand talisman swords shot out countless threads of runes that converged together before slashing outwards. That sword strike which could tear the sky asunder was aimed at Ken Wenshin, Ji Lanshan could not give Ken Wenshin more time to complete his formation. Ken Wenshin soared into the sky. His finger pointed below and all of a sudden, a boundless sword chi erupted forth transforming into a supreme sword vortex while absorbing the supreme boundless sword might. The terrifying sword vortex swept forward, breaking apart space and despite seeing the thousand talisman sword of Ji Lanshan slashing over, a crazed expression appeared in Qin Wenchen's eyes as he took the initiative to charge at Ji Lanfeng. The sword chi around him hadn't dissipated yet. Ji Lanshan furrowed his brows before choosing to retreat decisively. Right now, the threat from Qin Wenchen was too overwhelming, there was no need for him to risk his life against Qin Wenchen. Thunderous sounds echoed out, an incomparably gigantic diagram gradually formed as a surge of power shot into the sky. It seemed as though a giant divinity stepped out of the diagram, shimmering with boundless light. This is? The countenances of those members of the God Extermination Palace who stood far away became extremely unsightly. What a powerful divine inscription's grand formation, it even resembled Qin Wenshin's constellation. And at this moment, Qin Wenshin laughed coldly when he stared at Ji Lanshan. After that, he retreated and the sword chi gradually dissipated. The energy burning in his body stopped as well but right now, his strength diminished more than half and Qin Wenshin felt somewhat weak. Returning to the divine inscription's grand formation, Qin Wenshin inclined his head. Rumbling sounds echoed as his body expanded to 700 meters. When he released his constellation, it felt as though his constellation had merged together with his divine inscription's formation, fully synergizing with each other. Despite the fact that we are newbies and the highest among our cultivation bases is only at the seventh level, your god extermination palace cannot touch us. Ken Wenchen spoke with cold arrogance, his voice resounding through the air. The expressions of Ji Lanshan and his cronies turned incredibly ugly to behold. This battle had already reached such a state. Ji Lanshan, a ranker of the Immortal Ascension rankings, led a bunch of experts to pursue these newbies yet he was unable to succeed. This has already damaged their prestige. Ji Lanshan moved closer and closer to Ken Wenchen. Right now, that immortal vanquishing sword might had already been fully retracted. He no longer felt so threatened by Ken Wenchen. Since you guys are so obstinate, we can only take action then. Ji Lanshan coldly spoke. Long range attacks. Without the threat of the immortal vanquishing swordplay, the pursuers got closer and closer and started to congregate their constellation energy, causing a terrifying tempest to manifest, sweeping across the heavens and earth. Gil. The crowned young man roared in rage as a gigantic spear directly broke the void apart, stabbing towards Ken Wenshin and his companions. Another expert blasted out a countless number of violent gold palm imprints causing rumbling sounds to resound out as cracks appeared in space. There was also those who manifested millions of astral alarms, those who blasted out life-stealing palm strikes which blotted out the skies. Chaos broke out as the destruction chi flooded the area wanting to annihilate them. G. Lanshan's countenance was ice cold. His thousand talisman constellation reassembled into a gigantic talisman and with a roar of rage, that incomparably immense talisman shot forth while brimming with a powerful annihilation intent, wanting nothing more than to crush Ken Wenchen. In an extremely short instant, a multitude of violent attacks all blasted out towards Ken Wenchen. One could see that this time around. Ken Wenshin had completely enraged the members of the God Extermination Palace. Such a magnitude of destruction, 
If Ken Wenshin and his companions couldn't defend against those attacks, they might very well die here unless they take out immortal ranked treasures or weapons in defense. Ken Wenshin howled in rage, his fearsome figure stomped across the ground, giving the sense that even the sky and earth is collapsing. Boundless runic light circulated on the ground as though there were millions of golden figures rushing into the sky, circulating around him protectively. At this moment, Ken Wenshin and the gigantic divinity behind him seemed to have fused together as one, with him being in the center of the countless golden figures of suppression. Go! Ken Wenshin roared. Momentarily, the golden figures all erupted forth with extreme speed. Ken Wenchen was now completely covered by layers of violent golden light. Boom, boom, boom. The heavens and earth shook as the tyrannical attacks clashed against each other in midair, causing waves of destructive chi to ravage the surroundings. Ken Wenchen pointed to the attack blasted out by Ji Lanshin, causing an overwhelming suppressive pressure to collide with Ji Lanshin's palm imprint, exploding it with pure power. Ken Wenshin's constellation seemed to have completely merged with his divine inscription's grand formation. The stretch of sky was now like starry space as a countless number of golden figures of suppression were birthed endlessly, floating into the air. This scene truly struck astonishment in the hearts of all the spectators. What a powerful divine inscription's grand formation! Seems like this newbie isn't simple. MHM just being at the seventh level of celestial phenomenon and he already dares to defy the god extermination palace, even daring to face off against Ji Lanshin, a ranker on the immortal ascension rankings. When he reaches the ninth level, the rankings would surely contain his name. A variety of destructive attacks blasted frenziedly towards Ken Wenshin, only to see the fingers on his giant palm curling up as he grabbed towards a certain direction. A countless number of golden figures of suppression manifested, causing an overwhelmingly oppressive pressure to bore down on everything and after that, the terrifying giant palm directly smashed down on a member of the god extermination palace. That person roared as he struggled violently but when the palm strike landed, an explosion occurred. His body was flung through the air, his blood dripping down like rain from the clouds. Every one of his attacks are equal to the power of a ninth level ascendant. After borrowing power from the Divine Inscription's Grand Formation, the combat prowess of this young man is so strong that it's unbelievable. He should be able to rank directly in the rankings with what he has shown, but sadly, the Immortal Ascension rankings won't consider the strength he obtained through borrowed power from the formation. The combat here was extremely fascinating causing more and more spectators to gather in the surroundings. G. Lanshin and his cronies unceasingly blasted out attacks aiming for Ken Wenshin but their attacks were all neutralized before they could hit their targets. As time flowed by, nobody could stop Ken Wenshin and on the contrary, even more members of the God Extermination Palace were injured from the impact of Ken Wenshin's attacks. How strong, as expected of the great rascal! Little rascal's eyes shone with light when he saw Ken Wenshin unleashing such divine might. Senior brother comprehended that grand formation from his own constellation? Such a comprehension ability is too frightening, I am far inferior to him. Jun Mengchen mumbled. How laughable was it that with his combat prowess, he actually couldn't even help Ken Wenshin out in the slightest when they are in this place, the city of ancient emperors. Seems like he still needs to work hard and improve his cultivation level as soon as possible. He cultivated the 10,000 laws record. I heard him saying this law record would aid him to better comprehend the true essence behind his innate techniques and arts. In addition to the fact that his comprehension ability was already monstrous before this, it isn't that strange for him to accomplish what he just did. Z King Suen replied in a low voice. The violent attacks continued endlessly. The members of the God Extermination Palace had no way to defeat Ken Wenshin despite acting together because when Ken Wenshin borrowed power from his grand formation, the energy consumption rate was extremely minuscule yet his attacks are overpowered to an outrageous extent. G. Lanshin is so disappointing. At this moment, the young experts spectating couldn't help but to shake their head with a laugh. He can't even take down a 7th level ascendant? No matter what. He is a direct descendant of an immortal emperor. What a loss of face! The people spectating started commenting but at this moment, 
from a certain direction there were several figures with extraordinary auras that appeared. Every one of them were clearly extremely powerful characters and this was especially so for the female standing in the center. This female was clad in tight-footing clothes, accentuating her curves and giving off the sensation that she was filled with vibrancy. She was so beautiful to the extent that no one dared to look in her beautiful eyes directly. Her skin was as fair as snow, so tender that it seemed it would break with a single touch. Her aura was one of boundless grace and the moment she appeared, countless gazes were immediately attracted to her as though everyone had forgotten about the battle. She actually appeared here? Somebody exclaimed in shock. Shialin Ayu truly is a beauty. Sadly, the number of those pursuing her are way too many. The Xiao sect she established are all people who joined because they wanted to protect and pursue her. The experts in there are as common as cloud and there are even over 10 individuals that are rankers on the immortal ascension rankings. But naturally, Xiao and Ayu is far from being just a flower vase, her strength is rated as the highest out of all the experts in the Xiao sect. I wonder what sort of characters would be able to match up with such a beauty. Somebody sighed. Xiao and Ayu, the daughter of the Xiao Emperor of the Western Region. She is a famous beauty and is also ranked number 6 on the Immortal Ascension rankings, causing shame to many males. Right now, Xiao and Ayu was actually also paying attention to the battle here. Chapter 903, Joining the Xiao Sect Translator, Lord Bluefire Editor, Lord Bluefire any appearances by the top 10 rankers of the Immortal Ascension rankings would easily cause a commotion. Everyone instantly noticed and in addition, Xiaolin Ayu wasn't merely in the top 10, she was also a supreme beauty as well. The degree of attention she caused would nationally be higher. However, nobody dared to go up and hit on her because many of the young men around Xiaolin Ayu were also rankers on the Immortal Ascension rankings and they are all stronger compared to the number 321 Ji Lanshan. This Ji Lanshan even dared to establish his own sect? He's only courting humiliation. At this moment, a young man sneered, his tone filled with disdain. Although his words were mocking Ji Lanshan, the truth is that Ji Lanshan was still a ranker on the Immortal Ascension rankings. It was only just that in front of them, Ji Lanshan was truly nothing. However, that fellow's divine inscription's formation is really not bad. To think that he's only at the seventh level of celestial phenomenon. A person stared at Ken Wenchen with interest. Lin Ayu, you are interested in getting this man to join us? A young man by the side of Xiao Lin Ayu asked. Let's watch on further first. Xiao and Ayu's expression was calm, there was no fluctuations to it as she quietly spectated the battle. The others nodded, as they accompanied Xiao and Ayu and spectated the battle. The battle grew increasingly intense and Ken Wenchen's courage climbed as the battle progressed, showing no weaknesses at all. The might from his formation towered into the sky and was extremely brutal. Out of all the members of the God Extermination Palace, other than Ji Lanshan who could defend against the attacks head on, none of the others could do so. If this continued on, there was no way they would be able to take down Ken Wenchen. Ji Lanshan, are you done yet? At this moment, a young man beside Xiao Lin Ayu had his arms crossed in front of his chest as he questioned. Momentarily, Ji Lanshan retreated and ceased the battle. The other members of his God Extermination Palace retreated as well. Ken Wenchen didn't press his attacks and the battle between them came to a halt. Ji Lanshan turned his gaze onto Xiaolin Ayu and her people. His countenance was extremely ugly to behold, this battle had lost him a lot of face. Acting personally against newbies yet failing to capture them, even having to pay the price of injuries on so many of your sect members. Ji Lanshan, if I were you, I would no longer have the face to remain in this place. That young man with the arms crossed in front of his chest laughed, his tone filled with heavy contempt. Ji Lanshan's eyes turned sharp. He stared at the person who spoke and coldly replied, What does this have to do with you? Naturally this has nothing to do with me. I'm you also not the one who lost face. That person shrugged. Xiao and Ayu stared at Ji Lanshan and stated, You guys can leave now. Ji Lanshan glanced at Xiao Lin Ayu. 
although he is a ranker on the Immortal Ascension rankings, it was evident there was no way he could stand against Xiao Lin Ayu and her sect members. Rage smoldered in his eyes, he turned to Ken Wenshin, I will remember what happened today. Are you planning to continue this, getting the members of your sect to hunt me down? Ken Wenshin coldly replied, his voice filled with mockery. Everyone could understand his hidden words. The God Extermination Palace needed their entire force to be present just to deal with a newbie 7th level ascendant. Retreat. Ji Lanshin no longer had any face to remain here, as he sounded out the command for retreat. A moment later, the experts of the God Extermination Palace all departed the area. Loser Dog. Only to hear little rascal whining in its baby like voice causing the departing members of the God Extermination Palace to have black lines on their faces. They wanted nothing more than to cook that little bastard in a pot and eat it. Ken Wenchen's size returned to normal. Astral light circulated around the inner clothes he was wearing. It was actually a defensive type divine weapon that was extremely elastic, able to expand and contract at will. However, he still took a new set of robes and wore it before turning to Xiao Lin Ayu. What a beautiful maiden! Ken Wenchen praised in his heart. This Xiaolin Ayu was truly a supreme beauty, she had the demeanor of nobility, as well as a perfect figure. However, the bearing she exuded wouldn't cause one to have evil thoughts about her, nobody would dare to profane her. Those beautiful eyes of hers were also looking straight at Ken Wenchen at this moment and it felt as though they contained a power to hook the souls of people she stared at away. Your formation's might is really not bad and your individual combat prowess should also be very strong. It's only that your cultivation base is lower or else, G. Lanshin would surely be defeated. Xiao and Ayu moved forward, exuding elegance with every step, mesmerizing all who looked at her. Those beautiful eyes were focused on Ken Wenshin. She then stated, If you guys are newbies that just arrive in the city of ancient emperors, why don't you join a power? My Xiao sect can provide protection and if you join me, I dare guarantee Ji Lanshan wouldn't dare to cause any disturbances for you. Xiao Lin Ayu actually personally initiated an invitation to him. Seems like she highly regards his capabilities. Expressions of bewilderment appeared on the faces of people. An invitation by a beauty was nationally very hard to reject. He he, even I didn't have such a preferential treatment. The young man with his arms crossed in front of his chest spoke in a low voice. Lin Ayu most likely is impressed by his formation. However, one's individual strength is still the ultimate capital for all cultivators here in the city of ancient emperors. Proficiency in the way of formations is nothing but a minor deal. An arrogant young man by the side faintly remarked, his tone exhibiting coldness. Xiao sect. Qian Wenchen recalled the info on the jade slip. The Xiao sect is a sect established by Xiao Lin Ayu, the daughter of the Xiao Emperor. The beautiful maiden before him should be none other than Xiao Lin Ayu, one of the three celestial beauties here in the city of ancient emperors. Before this, the lady in the tower said that Xiao Lin Ayu was searching for Kinger because she wanted a battle to prove that her ranking should be higher than Kinger. Hence, Ken Wenchen naturally paid more attention to the info on Xiao Lin Ayu. This supreme beauty in front of him was actually surpassed by Kinger in terms of the Immortal Ascension rankings. Seems like Kinger is getting more and more outstanding. In the past, it was I who delayed Kinger's cultivation. Ken Wenchen silently sighed. Back in the Particle World, Kinger had always silently protected him from the shadows, delaying her own cultivation big time. It was impossible for one to raise their cultivation level half-heartedly, they had to be completely focused on it. Given Kinger's heaven-defying physique, there was a divine strength in her to aid her. Hence, Ken Wenshin didn't feel strange when he heard that Kinger had such accomplishments after returning back to the immortal realms. We were in this situation precisely because we rejected joining the God Extermination Palace earlier. Zi King Suen spoke. However, Xiao Lin Ayu didn't look at her. Her beautiful eyes were still focused on Ken Wenshin, that young man who dared to look directly into her eyes. From that pair of eyes, Xiao and Ayu could faintly see a trace of emotion. Although she felt disdain in her heart, she was also secretly satisfied. 
There were many outstanding young men who were subdued by her beauty and this young man before her was merely one of many. Many supreme geniuses were willing to follow her after just one glance at her and it was precisely because of this that the Xiao sect would become one of the top three powers here in the city of ancient emperors. However, Xiao and Ayu evidently would never know that that trace of emotion, wasn't because of her. It was because after seeing her, Ken Wenchen was reminded of Kinger. How about it? Xiao Lin Ayu confidently asked. Her lips even curled up into a light smile, further intensifying her beauty and charm. If we join a power in the city of ancient emperors, there wouldn't be any connection between us after we exit this place right? Qian Wenchen asked. Qian Wenchen's words actually caused many to snicker in their hearts. Seems like this young man had no way to resist Xiao Lin Ayu's charisma. Naturally. All sex formed in this city of ancient emperor is only restricted to here alone. In fact, if you want to leave the Xiao sect in the future, you can do so anytime. The city of ancient emperors is just a training ground for us, we are all very casual here. Xiao Lin Ayu replied. MHM. Qian Wenchen nodded. After which he turned to Zi Qingxuan and Jun Mengchen as he transmitted his voice, Xiao Lin Ayu is searching for King Er. If I joined the Xiao sect, I would be among the first group in the city of ancient emperors to find her. I will choose to temporarily join the Xiao sect, how about you guys? I will follow you senior brother. Jun Mengchen transmitted his voice in reply. Zi Qingxuan contemplated a moment, her beautiful eyes on Ken Wenchen. She sighed in her heart, it seems like Ken Wenchen's feelings for this princess king are extremely deep. She then transmitted her voice in reply as well, let's stick together. Thank you. Ken Wenchen's eyes flickered with hints of a smile. The three of them exchanged glances, Ken Wenchen then turned to Xiao Lin Ayu and spoke, we are willing to join the Xiao sect. Seems like, he is still unable to resist the beauty and charm of Xiao Lin Ayu. But this is also normal and in addition, Xiao Lin Ayu is personally inviting him. To newbies in the city of ancient emperors, this is already a matter of very great glory. The other spectators started discussing, while those experts of the Xiao sect all had different expressions. Welcome to all of you. Xiao and Ayu smiled at Ken Wenchen before turning, let's return to the Xiao sect. You guys give the newbies an introduction. Senior brother, this Xiao and Ayu seems to be very proud. Out of the three celestial beauties here in the city of ancient emperors, we finally met one. Jun Mengchen laughed as he transmitted his voice to Ken Wenchen. The three of them followed after Xiao Lin Ayu, only to see the other experts of the Xiao sect glancing at them. That arrogant young man swept his gaze over as he spoke, the Xiao sect does not accept mediocre characters. If you guys are too weak, you would be expelled from our sect sooner or later. After speaking, he turned and walked shoulder to shoulder with Xia Lin Ayu as he spoke, Lin Ayu, I really don't understand why you need to recruit those three. You don't have the need to know why. Xia Lin Ayu calmly replied, her words causing the proud young man to shake his head. What an arrogant fellow! Qian Wenchen snorted coldly, staring at the back view of the young man. His name is Xia Kianhun and he is always like this. Don't mind him too much. The young man with his arms crossed in front of his chest smiled. Staring at Ken Wenchen and his companions, he added, Let me introduce myself. My name is Li Yu, the Yu, Jade, for the Yu and Jade Maidens. However evidently, I'm a male. Ha ha ha, if I didn't see you personally and merely heard your name, I would really think that you are a female. Jun Mengchen laughed. Rank number 81 of the Immortal Ascension Rankings Li Yu. Qian Wenchen mumbled as his eyes flashed with sharpness. He then continued, Xia Qian Han, ranked number 96 of the Immortal Ascension rankings. Your memory isn't bad. Li Yu smiled, however Xia Qian Han is right, the Xiao sect does not recruit mediocre people. Although Xia Lin Ayu is a female, her judgment is exceedingly high and she wouldn't even glance at ordinary characters. However, if your performances in the future are not up to standard, you might really be expelled from the Xiao sect. Performances? 
Would the Xiao sect fight against the other sects here in the city of ancient emperors? Qian Wenchen asked. Oh that would only happen very rarely. After all, the Xiao sect can be considered one of the top three powers currently in the city of ancient emperors. Ordinary powers wouldn't dare to antagonize us. However, all of you should know that the city of ancient emperors is a training ground with secret realms and treasure locations in the wilderness. Sometimes, conflicts would occur and in fact, there are even rumors saying there are inheritances left here by immortal emperors from the ancient era. Chapter 904, Twin Stars Translator, Lord Bluefire Editor, Lord Bluefire The Xiao sect was ranked number three among the powers in the city of ancient emperors and had over a hundred members. They occupied a large stretch of area with many buildings and there were even mountains at the back of this location and streams and lakes ahead. It was like a small city by itself with mountains on one side and water on the other. Within the Xiao sect, the atmosphere is tranquil and the air is fresh. Qian Wenchen had been here for several days but he wasn't familiar with many people and there were no introductions as well. However, he didn't really mind this. Xiao and Ayu has been searching for King Er and given the strength of the Xiao sect, it would be much easier to find her in comparison to him searching for her alone. Once they found King Er, he who has now joined the Xiao sect, would surely be able to obtain first-hand information. Also, it was the same to him no matter where he cultivates. In the cultivation ground of the quiet courtyard which was arranged for them to stay, under the evergreen mountains, there was a strange fluctuation in the air. Many constellations could be seen shimmering about, as the space Ken Wenchen was in, seemed very familiar to a dreamscape. There was a rune bone currently in his hand that shimmered with boundless light. The runes on this rune bone were all incredibly profound and the image of a gigantic windrock shimmered in and out of existence in this special space. When this image enveloped Ken Wenchen, there was evidently no wind in this space yet he could feel gusts of raging wind blowing on him. Qian Wenchen closed his eyes in cultivation. He was currently activating the 10,000 Laws record. The process of cultivating the 10,000 Laws record could manifest a special space that was suitable for all varieties of arts and techniques, it was also equipped with every manifestation of nature. The higher one's comprehension is, the more he would be able to see. This starry space which he was in now, expanded endlessly. There were boundless runes that sparkled in the sky, Ken Wenchen held onto the sky rock rune bone in his hand as he floated upwards. A brilliant light flashed as the myriad of runes on the rune bone seemed to jump out, transforming into a windrock and a moment later, a supreme movement technique based on the movements of the windrock appeared in this starry space, and was being imprinted directly into Ken Wenchen's mind. Not only this, the essence energy within the rune bone activated, and was able to transform into an overwhelming attacking might that contained boundless strength. It felt as though there was a countless number of mysterious runes carved on the rune bone and each rune itself contained an unfathomable strength, allowing people to sense the might and majesticness of the Paragon Sky Rock. Qian Wenchen sank deep into concentration as he borrowed the aid of the 10,000 Laws record to comprehend this mysterious energy allowing it to merge with him, becoming a part of his strength. After a period of time, there were sounds of footsteps echoing out from outside the courtyard. Zi King Suen stood there and saw that the people who came were none other than the Xiao sect's sect leader, Xiao and Ayu, and some of the experts who were present with her when she invited them. Is Ken Wenchen around? Xia Kian Han, an expert who stood beside Xiao and Ayu, questioned Zi King Suen. Zi King Suen frowned, he's currently cultivating. Tell him to come out. Lin Ayu has something which she needs his help with. Shi Kian Hun spoke, his words causing much unhappiness in Zi King Suen's heart. Did this Shi Kian Hun really treat them as his subordinates? There was no respect in his tone at all. Didn't I say that he's cultivating? Zi King Suen repeated. Shi Kian Hun furled his brows, he swept his glare over to Zi King Suen. Since you guys joined us and received the protection of our Xiao sect, all of you best know your positions. Zi King Suen's frown deepened even further, they only joined the Xiao sect because Xiao and Ayu invited them, it wasn't that they were begging to get it. In addition, 
even without the protection of the Xiao sect, Ken Wenshin himself would have been able to defeat Ji Lanshan. This Shiha Kyanhan of the Immortal Ascension rankings was simply too arrogant. Shiha Kyanhan, don't frighten the beautiful lady. No matter what, they are people of our Xiao sect. Li Yu smiled. Li Yu was also a ranker of the Immortal Ascension rankings but in comparison, his personality was much milder and gentle. What's the matter? Just at this moment, Ken Wenshin and Jun Mengchen walked out together. Xiao and Ai Yu flashed a smile at Ken Wenshin, I have something to discuss with you, would it be okay if we go inside to discuss? Sure. Ken Wenshin nodded. You guys wait for me here. Xiao and Ai Yu stepped forth, walking together with Ken Wenshin as they entered the courtyard. Shiha Kyanhan furrowed his brows as unhappiness flashed in his eyes. Xiao and Ai Yu and Ken Wenshin came to a cultivation ground together and she took out a picture scroll, handing it to Ken Wenshin. Take a look at these pictures. Ken Wenshin took the scroll. The pictures in the scroll showed a radiant palace that was incomparably majestic. Before the palace, there was a passageway filled with thistles and thorns leading up to it and there were many crisscrossing lines of divine inscriptions on the passageway, forming a runic network of extreme complexity. What is this? Ken Wenshin asked. These inscriptions were extremely unique and were all very powerful, containing a myriad of transformations. Just the slightest mistake made when unraveling it might lead to disastrous consequences. Many things in the city of ancient emperors are ruins from ancient times, this isn't some rumor but the truth. This emperor palace you see might be the palace of an immortal emperor from the ancient times and initially, it was hidden in darkness but after painstaking efforts of probing from countless generations, the pathway was revealed. For this, many people paid with their lives and even now, this emperor palace shimmers in and out of sight, and can already be seen with our naked eyes. It's just that even until today, no one has managed to gain access into it. These divine inscriptions are the greatest barrier. Xiao Lin Ayu explained. Ken Wenshin smiled, he wasn't an idiot. He instantly understood this was the reason why Xiao Lin Ayu invited him and his companions into the Xiao sect a few days ago. However, Joining the Xiao sect suits his purposes too so it didn't really matter to him. And on the contrary, if he was useless, why would Xiao Lin Ayu invite him in? From the pictures, the divine inscriptions are extremely complicated. But without seeing them for myself personally, I have no idea if I can unravel them. Ken Wenshin replied frankly. No problem, let's directly set out to this location then. Xiao and Ayu spoke as her beautiful eyes gleamed with sharpness, causing the heroic air around her to intensify. She was a woman with charisma or it would be impossible for her to have such accomplishments despite her beauty. It isn't so easy to be ranked number 6 on the Immortal Ascension rankings. Okay. Ken Wenchen nodded. Xiao and Ayu flashed a charming smile, your attainments in the Tao of Divine Inscriptions is very high. If you can unravel it I... Xiao and Ayu, won't mistreat you. She moved closer to Ken Wenshin, and her beautiful face was only a few inches away from him. Even with Ken Wenshin's extraordinarily resolute heart, he felt his heart stirring. Xiao and Ayu's smile grew even more radiant before she turned and stated, Let's move out. However, that place is filled with many experts, including rankers on the Immortal Ascension rankings. Our greatest opponents will be those from the Twin Stars Alliance. The Alliance leaders are two brothers and they are both ranked pretty highly in the rankings. The older brother is ranked number 4. While the younger brother has extraordinary attainments in the Tao of Divine Inscriptions. Xiao and Ayu then walked away, leaving behind a trace of her fragrance. Ken Wenchen smiled lightly, this Xiao and Ayu's charisma was truly incomparable, easily drawing top elites to join her. Just her displaying some little tricks and acting closer to you, most men would already be hooked, so mesmerized that they are willing to do anything for her. Following Xiao Lin Ayu, both of them exited the courtyard. Qin Wenshin could clearly sense unfriendliness in the eyes of many of the experts. However, he paid no attention to them and turned to Jun Mengchen and Zi Kingsuan. Help me to look after little rascal. Do you need me to go? Jun Mengchen asked. No need. Ken Wenchen shook his head. 
even Xiaolin Ayu was personally going to the ruins where the Emperor Palace was located. However, given Jun Mingjin and Zi King Suan's current strength, it would be better for them to remain here for now. That place would surely be filled with supreme experts. Move out! Xiaolin Ayu commanded. As she soared in the air, a group of people followed behind her. Xiao and Ayu was clad in luxurious red robes, exuding elegance, constituting a beautiful sight. The speed of their group was extremely fast, speeding towards their location. In the western region of the city of ancient emperors, there was a water source that was like a boundless glacier world. Above this water source, a marvelous energy bore down on the atmosphere, making flight impossible here. And deep inside this glacier world, a snow-white emperor palace could be seen, pure and pristine, in perfect condition yet it also gives off a sense of mistiness. There was a large pathway that radiated ancientness. It felt that it was painstakingly built by the painstaking effort of the later generations, or no one would be able to see the way to the emperor palace. Over here, supreme experts were as common as clouds. From afar, Swishing sounds rang out as the experts who were here earlier inclined their heads. The next moment, they only saw a supreme beauty leading a group of people flying over. Xiao and Ayu is here. Many people were able to recognize her with just a single glance. She brought the experts of her Xiao sect here and it seems that she was extremely interested in regards to this emperor palace. Xiao and Ayu. Right now, a young man inclined his head staring at Xiaolin Ayu with a smile. Why have you not given up yet? I said it before, if you marry me or my elder brother, we will bring you into the Emperor Palace, allowing you to enjoy free entry without lifting a finger. Zhuancheng, how dare you? Shiha Kianhan coldly cursed. Shiha Kianhan, you don't have the qualifications to speak to me. That young man swept his gaze over to Shiha Kianhan as he smiled. Xiao and Ayu, you are the daughter of the Xiao Emperor, while my royal father is the Zhuan Emperor. We originally should be a match made in heaven. The Twin Stars Alliance my elder brother established can firmly suppress your Xiao sect. If you don't like me, it's fine as well. You can also choose to get married to my elder brother. In the city of ancient emperors, there were only a few who dared to antagonize Xiao and Ayu who was ranked number 6 on the Immortal Ascension rankings. However, the two alliance leaders of the Twin Stars Alliance were part of those who dared. The two alliance leaders were also known as the Twin Stars, they were both the sons of the Zhuan Emperor. Zhuan Yang, the elder son, was extremely powerful, ranked number 4 in the Immortal Ascension rankings while the younger son, Zhuan Cheng, has extraordinary attainments in the Tao of Divine Inscriptions. His combat strength isn't weak as well, ranked number 27 in the Immortal Ascension rankings. It could be said that these two brothers were dragons among humans. In the city of ancient emperors, the strength of the Twin Stars Alliance was equal to the Xiao sect, and there were often conflicts between them. Zhuancheng, one of the alliance leaders, would often tease and make a joke out of Xiao Lin Ayu saying that he wants to marry her, turning her into a daughter-in-law of his royal father, the Zhuan Emperor. You. Shiha Kianhan turned ashen but he only saw Xiao and Ayu waving him off casually. Xiao and Ayu smiled at Zhuancheng, Zhuancheng, you can't even defeat me. What qualifications do you have to marry me? This is only temporary. I might not be able to defeat you now but my elder brother Zhuangyang definitely can. I would have no objections either if you marry him. Zhuancheng laughed. HMPH Zhuan Crossing why don't you try entering the Emperor Palace first before being arrogant? Xiao Lin Ayu coldly snorted. After that, she turned her gaze onto Ken Wenshin, Ken Wenshin, take a look at the runic inscription network diagram. Are you able to unravel it? Ken Wenshin was already long focused on the diagram of the ancient path even before Xiao Lin Ayu gave the order. The runic inscriptions here were extremely marvelous and complex. He had no way to unravel them in a short amount of time. He couldn't help but to furrow his brows as he sank deep into concentration. Ha ha, so you invited a helper along. But, are you sure you will be able to gain access just with his paltry skill? In the city of ancient emperors, 
the divine inscriptions which I can't unravel, means that there won't be anyone else who can. If there's anyone who can gain access to the Emperor Palace, that person will be me for sure. Zhuangxing spoke with arrogance, his attitude was incomparably brazen. Chapter 905, Underground Palace Translator, Lord Bluefire Editor, Lord Bluefire Xiao and Ayu stared at the arrogant face of Zhuan crossing her face was expressionless, in this place not only Xuanxing was proficient with divine inscriptions, there were a few other geniuses who also had high attainments in the same Tao as well. However, nobody seemed to be able to compare to Zhuan crossing. Zhuan Yang and Zhuan Xing's father was the extremely famous Zhuan Emperor. Not only was the Zhuan Emperor at the Immortal Emperor level, he has very high attainments in divine inscriptions to the extent that he could even reverse the heavens and earth. Zhuan Yang had no interest in divine inscriptions and was only interested in increasing his personal strength. Zhuan Xing was different, he inherited the talent of his father in the Tao of divine inscriptions and was even more powerful compared to some divine inscriptionists of the elder generations. However, Ken Wenshin seemed as though he had not even heard Zhuan Xing's words. His eyes were in total focus, staring at the misty Emperor Palace's ancient pathway. The runic network diagram there was too mystical, and incredibly profound, able to be said that it was at the very peak of divine inscriptions. He could clearly unravel a part of it, but once he did that, it would trigger a burst of destructive energy. He wasn't sure how terrible the consequences would be. There were different pictures that made up the diagram. And it seemed that behind each picture, there were countless hands waiting for you to unravel it, pulling the person into the network of runes if you fail in your attempt. For those with a lower level of attainments in the Tao of Divine Inscriptions, they would suffer a miserable fate if they tried and failed to accomplish it. I'm unable to solve this. Qian Wenchen suddenly spoke. Xiao and I use countenance froze, she turned her head and stared at Qian Wenchen for a moment before stating in a solemn tone. Try to look at it more meticulously again. There's no one in the city of ancient emperors that can unravel this. Qian Wenchen decisively replied. A strange expression appeared on Xiao Lin Ayu's face. The arrogance of this fellow didn't seem to be inferior to Zhuan Crossing. Stop your bragging. If you are unable to unravel this, it doesn't mean no one else can. Upon seeing how arrogant Qian Wenchen was, and the certainty in his tone when he spoke of divine inscriptions, Zhuan Xing felt that Ken Wenchen was extremely irritating. Hence, he couldn't help but to sneer coldly. Wow, you are so strong. Why don't you unravel it then for me to see? Ken Wenchen replied, using Zhuan Xing's own words to smack his face. Zhuan Xing's expression stiffened. He contemplated, surveying Ken Wenchen before smiling in disdain. Do you know who you are talking to? Or to better put it, do you think because Xiao and I you invited you here, you have the qualifications to talk to me in this manner? I don't care who the hell you are. The manner you talk to me with, is the manner I will reply to you in. Qian Wenchen's countenance was sharp as he replied. Excellent. Zhuangxing stepped out. Instantly, a diagram made of runic inscription lines appeared beneath his feet. Xiao and Ayu frowned and swiftly moved in front of Ken Wenchen, staring at Zhuangxing as she asked, Zhuangxing, what are you intending to do? Hiding behind a woman? Useless trash. Zhuangxing coldly laughed as he swept his gaze at Ken Wenchen. After that, he flicked his sleeves and continued to observe the runic network diagram of the ancient passageway. Xiao and Ayu's expression was much more insightly compared to before. She frowned and stared ahead as though she was thinking of something. However, right now she only heard Ken Wenchen speaking in a low voice beside her, since there is a passageway, there must be a way in for sure. However, I'm you also certain that there's no one in the city of ancient emperors who can unravel that diagram. If we want to enter, we can only try it out, moving on the passageway step by step, allowing the rune of diagram to pull us in thereby causing a transformation to occur. As to how the runic inscriptions would transform, I can't be certain. But if we want to enter the palace, this is the only method left. Xiao and Ayu turned, her beautiful eyes stared at Ken Wenchen as she asked, Are you sure? 
there should already be people who tried this method before. Ken Winchin replied. Xiao and Ayu stared into Ken Winchin's eyes as she nodded, indeed, those who stepped on the ancient passageway in the past were all absorbed within because of the transformations caused by the divine inscriptions. We don't even know if they are still living or have already died. From this point, we can see that your conjecture is right. Lin Ayu, don't believe this guy so easily. He's merely a seventh level ascendant and his life and death is not important. If you encounter danger, the consequences would be unimaginable. Shia Kayan Hun Kaushin Shia Lin Ayu. Ken Wenchen's idea was too risky. Since you don't dare to take a risk, why don't we just return? Why would you want to waste time talking about entering the Emperor Palace? Could it be that there won't be any dangers in there? Ken Wenchen sarcastically shot back. Shia Kayan Hun's eyes narrowed, you better mind your tone. If you don't need me here, I shall take my leave now. Ken Wenchen stared at Xiao Lin Ayu. This Shia Kayan Hun had never given him respect since the beginning and he couldn't be bothered with him as well. Ken Wenchen has a clear estimation of himself, Xiao Lin Ayu was a supreme beauty and ranked number 6 of the Immortal Ascension rankings, the daughter of the Xiao Emperor. How would she fall for him? Before this, she invited him into the Xiao sect solely because of his abilities in divine inscriptions. However, how about this Shia Kayan Han? He didn't have a clear estimation of himself at all. He felt that Ken Wenchen wasn't qualified to be beside Xiao Lin Ayu but most probably, he himself in Xiao Lin Ayu's heart, was also nothing much. Xiao Lin Ayu didn't even put the two sons of the Zhuan Emperor in her eyes. Let alone him, Shia Kayan Han. Stop fighting. Xiao Lin Ayu unhappily stated. Let's wait a few more days to see if the others can unravel this. Shia Kayan Hun didn't say anything, he merely coldly glanced at Ken Wenchen. There were many experts here who wanted to unravel the diagram yet as time passed by, nobody managed to do so. However, these geniuses present all had patience, they didn't mind spending time, trying again and again. Ken Wenchen sat alone in a spot to cultivate quietly. He already knew he wouldn't be able to unravel this divine inscriptions diagram, so he couldn't be bothered to waste his time. One mistake would cause countless transformations to the inscriptions. That would only lead to death. As for what transformations would occur, he can only understand after observing them with his own eyes. Ken Wenchen. At this moment, Xiao Lin Ayu appeared beside him. Ken Wenchen opened his eyes, only to see Xiao Lin Ayu saying, after so many days, these people show no signs of advancement at all. Seems like you are correct, I will believe you but do you dare to risk it? I believe since the Emperor Palace exists, there would surely be a way to enter. Ken Wenchen replied. Good. In that case, I will follow after you. Xiao and Ayu smiled. Just a slight smile of hers already contained boundless charm. Ken Wenchen stood up, his silhouette flickered towards the passageway. Shia Kayan Hun turned to Xia Lin Ayu, Lin Ayu, are you sure you want to take the risk? Since we are already here, we might as well test it out. My members of the Xiao sect, if there are any who wants to retreat, you can feel free to do so. Come with me only if you are willing to take the risk. Xia Lin Ayu stepped out, each of her steps were filled with determination. Even a female dared to take the risk. How could the other geniuses of the Xiao sect choose to retreat? They exchanged glances and shared a laugh before following after Xiao Lin Ayu. Qian Wenchen walked past Zhuan crossing Zhuan Xing inclined his head and stared at them and a moment later, he only saw Qian Wenchen directly stepping onto the ancient passageway. What? Is he courting death? Zhuan Xing laughed. As the sound of his voice faded, Qian Wenchen's foot had already landed on the runic diagram. Instantly, a buzzing sound rang out as a terrifying energy gushed forth. The ancient passageway started to twist about, as though it will soon collapse. Although Xiao Lin Ayu was prepared in her heart, she was still stunned when she saw this. However the next moment, she saw Qin Wenchen's body being absorbed into the passageway. Stealing her heart, she sprinted forward, and stepped onto the passageway as well, together with Qin Wenchen. Let's go. The Xiao sex members all stepped within, allowing the ancient passageway to absorb them. 
Have they all gone mad? A dazzling light gleamed in Zhuang Sheng's eyes. After that he actually commanded, members of the Twin Stars Alliance, follow me in as well. His personality was such, he was unwilling to lose out to others. And given his attainments in divine inscriptions, he also faintly sensed that Ken Wenchen's words had a possibility of being right. There should be a way in, and seeing Xiao Lin Ayu daring to take the risk, how could he still choose to retreat? Since there's someone leading, taking full brunt of the danger, the courage of everyone was boosted. Especially so when they saw Xiao Lin Ayu, the supreme beauty leading the way. The various geniuses naturally wouldn't choose to retreat now. Hence all of them stepped into the twisting passageway and an instant later, they felt as though the sky and earth turned topsy-turvy, like they were being buried within. However, just a moment later, they saw weak flickers of flames around the walls, illuminating the place they were transported to. The geniuses studied their surroundings and to their surprise, they found out that they seemed to have entered some sort of underground palace. Qin Wenchen, you are correct. Xiao Lin Ayu's beautiful eyes shone with sharpness as she stared at her surroundings. The true way to reach the Emperor Palace wasn't the ancient passageway out in the open but underneath it instead. The walls of this underground palace were engraved with complex runic diagrams which were extremely vast. Up ahead, was a stretch of darkness, there seemed to be no end to this passageway. Your luck is pretty good. Xuanxing naturally wasn't willing to admit Ken Wenxin managed to spot this earlier than him. But at this moment, Xuanxing's body suddenly flickered as he dashed forth, rushing towards a certain direction. Not only him, several of the experts also rushed out, including Ken Wenxin. Scram! Xuanxing roared in rage. He stomped on the ground as divine inscriptions appeared forming into a diagram that radiated a terrifying light as a baleful ferocious beast lunged out of it, tearing its way ahead. Qian Wenchen mirrored his move, a wind drop came out of the runic diagram he summoned, rising with the wind, smashing towards the wall ahead of him. What are they snatching? Xiao and Ayu frowned, instantly understanding that these people were trying to snatch something. All those who rushed forth were geniuses that were proficient in divine inscriptions. Making his own decisions without consulting you. Shia Kayanhan stated. Lin Ayu, this person can be trusted. Xiao Lin Ayu stared ahead. Right now she understood that the runic diagrams engraved here are all made of extremely powerful divine inscriptions. All the geniuses who were proficient in divine inscriptions were all summoning their own inscriptions to collide with them. Qian Wenchen borrowed the speed of the Windrock he summoned causing his speed to explosively rise. However, Zhuang Xin roared in rage, you dare? After yelling, he directly blasted out a palm imprint, wanting to attack Ken Wenchen. But Ken Wenchen already arrived before the wall. His palms pressed onto the wall, causing a brilliant light to flash as a picture scroll appeared, the information directly gushing into his sea of consciousness. Behind him, the attacks from the other experts arrived. Qian Wenchen transformed into a Windrock once more and sped away, causing the numerous attacks to land on nothing but his shadow. I've acquired the map of this place, why are you all standing around and not helping yet? Qian Wenchen roared to the Xiao sect. His body sped forth with rapid speed and upon hearing his words, Xiao and Ayu and her cronies swiftly followed, rushing in Qian Wenchen's direction. A terrifying freezing energy gushed forth from her as her palms stretched outwards. It was so powerful that it caused the other geniuses present to freeze for a moment as they shivered. However, Zhuangsheng continued pursuing, rushing towards Ken Wenchen. His eyes gleamed with a dazzling astral light before he closed his eyes and opened them once again. After this instant, the runic diagrams here could no longer hide the truth from his eyes, he was able to see everything. Stepping out, he blasted an overwhelming might backwards, wanting to obstruct Xiao Lin Ayu. Mystic eyes. Xiao Lin Ayu froze. Qian Wenchen was in terrible danger. Chapter 906, Ancient Emperor Yi. Translator, Lord Bluefire Editor, Lord Bluefire. Every step Wenchen took was like the dance of dragons and snakes. A powerful force blasted out, not consuming any of his energy. He was purely using the rune of diagrams in the underground palace to issue attacks. Zhuangsheng has refined his eyes, 
this pair of mystic eyes were able to see through all divine inscriptions and considering his high level of attainments, he would be able to borrow the aid from the attack type runic diagrams that were engraved here. When Keen Wenshin sped frenziedly ahead, he could feel the towering might blasting towards him from his back. He didn't hesitate and directly moved on to a runic diagram on the ground as he stomped down. Abruptly, that diagram shone with resplendent light, forming an indestructible dazzling armor around him. Turning back, he blasted out with his fist. His armor was embedded with powerful divine inscriptions and every punch he blasted out was like the roaring of devils, filled with an inconceivable might. Terrifying rumbling sounds shook the entire underground palace, echoing endlessly. The quaking of the earth made everyone present feel that this underground palace would fall apart any second. Divine Inscriptions Armor Zhuan Sheng's countenance turned incomparably ugly. So the reason why Ken Wenchen kept speeding ahead was because he saw this thing from afar, and because he was the first who reached here, he gained the right to activate the resplendent armor. Right now, Ken Wenchen's entire body was shining with a dazzling light that radiated in all four directions while an unexcelled aura gushed forth from it. Numerous figures sped over, trapping Ken Wenchen within a circle. The people of the Twin Stars Alliance and the other geniuses here all understood that this underground palace had a very high possibility of being the true passageway. Since Ken Wenchen acquired the map, it was nationally of paramount importance to corner him. Hand it over. Zhuan Xing moved forward, a terrifying flood dragon suddenly manifested as it trenched its maw wide, wanting to devour Ken Wenchen. Ken Wenchen coldly laughed. With a wave of his hand, he pressed down on a runic diagram as a heaven shaking slash cleaved down from the heavens, aiming for the flood dragon. The two collided, falling apart into pieces. What a high level of attainment and divine inscriptions. Although he doesn't have the mystic eyes, he can still easily activate any runic diagrams in here, able to control their power. Everyone stared at Ken Wenchen. This person was like a tiger who had grown wings, he was completely in his element in the underground palace, and his strength was much stronger than before. Zhuan Sheng, isn't it a little inappropriate for you to act against a member of my Xiao sect in such a manner? Xiao and Ayu walked out. Although she was clad in a fiery hot luxuriously tight-fitting red robe, right now only a sense of extreme chill could be felt emanating from her. Everyone couldn't help but to shiver. This person you invited is truly gusty. Zhuan Xing gave a cold smile to Ken Wenchen. Since the map is on his person, how about making him lead the way while we follow behind him? Sure. Xiao and Ayu nodded, she didn't reject the proposal. If they could find the access point and gain entry to the Emperor Palace, the strength of their Xiao sect was the strongest among all those groups present here. How would she fear anything? On the contrary in this underground palace that was full of runic diagrams, they were at a disadvantage. Qian Wenchen you lead the way. Xiao and Ayu stepped forth, moving to the back of Qian Wenchen as she transmitted her voice, well done. Qian Wenchen smiled. He then moved out. This underground palace was very vast, and felt like an emperor's tomb. Not only was there an ancient air, there was a sinister and mysterious feeling in the atmosphere. Before them, the road split into quite a few pathways and each entrance emitted an air of mystery. Which one? Xiao and Ayu asked. This path. Qian Wenchen pointed to a certain path as he continued. Everyone followed him but the moment they stepped into the entrance, an extremely frosty wind gusted, causing everyone to feel their entire body trembling. This place seemed to be like a gigantic cavern. There were stone walls and ramparts all around, as though they were in the middle of a mountain. However, these stone walls were uneven and bumpy, and the road ahead was in an irregular shape that continuously extended outwards. No one spoke, all of them were silent with solemn expressions. If this place was really the pathway leading to the Emperor Palace, they might encounter danger at any moment. They couldn't help but to be cautious. And at this moment, their steps abruptly stopped. Their eyes were fixed ahead as all of them froze. There were actually several corpses ahead of them. Not only that, some of these corpses were still in perfect condition, seemingly as though they were still alive. This. The hearts of everyone trembled. Right ahead. 
there was a mysterious ancient stone rampart with boundless runic inscriptions on it. It was extremely complex. Xiao and Ayu silhouette flickered, arriving at one of the corpse in perfect condition. The skin of this corpse was like jade, shining with a luster. There was no way ordinary people would have such perfect skin but clearly, this body had no signs of life. They were already dead, but there was no way to tell how long they had been dead for. At the very least, this person was an immortal foundation expert. Xiao and Ayu's gaze froze. She slowly stepped away, arriving before another corpse. The robes of this corpse were torn and tattered with signs of its bones showing. However, there were mysterious runes inscribed on the bone that contained traces of the Great Tao. It emanated power that was extremely terrifying. Rune Bone Seems like this corpse reached the Immortal King level before its death. Shock painted Xiao and Ayu's face. Before his death, this person was surely an Immortal King. Even after his death, his cultivation condensed into runes that were inscribed onto his bones, transforming them into treasures that contained formidable law energy. In this place, there are many corpses. Even immortal kings were among them, but all of them eventually died here. What did you get exactly? Is that really a map? At this moment, a cold voice rang out. Xuanxing's mystic eyes stared at Ken Wenshin, radiating a coldness. He wouldn't believe anyone easily, let alone a stranger like Ken Wenshin. Before this, they noticed that the runic diagram on that particular stone wall felt extremely special and seemed to be moving about unceasingly. Hence, this was the reason why all of the divine inscriptionists present wanted to seize it for themselves earlier. But as to whether the picture scroll Ken Wenshin eventually obtained was a map or not, only he knew the truth of it. The one who said it was a map earlier, was also none other than Ken Wenshin himself. Xiao and Ayu's eyes turned to Ken Wenshin as sharpness gleamed within. Evidently, she was getting suspicious. Only Ken Wenshin alone knew the truth. Was what he obtained truly a map of this place? Ken Wenshin tell me the truth. Was what you acquired earlier truly a map of this underground palace? The main point is where are we now exactly? Where is the end point? Xiao and Ayu transmitted her voice to Ken Wenshin. Because of Zhuan Sheng's words, Xiao and Ayu started to doubt Ken Wenshin. This pathway is a dead end, the thing you acquired earlier is clearly not a map. At this moment a voice rang out. The gaze of the crowd turned to the stone rampart ahead only to see a genius from their group standing there, looking at an immobile body sitting far in front of him. It was actually a corpse that had died long ago. Xiao and Ayu's beautiful eyes gleamed with an unknown emotion. After which, her silhouette flickered and the others also moved towards that person. Following his gaze, they saw that on the stone wall in front of the corpse, there was a line of words engraved there. Several tens of thousands of years, pondering about a countless number of endings. Even so, I fail to anticipate that I'll be trapped here, which led to my death after the limit of my lifespan expired. This row of words could stir the heart, filling everyone with a sense of coldness when they gazed at it. They felt every atom of their bodies had frozen solid. This corpse was trapped here for tens of thousands of years? This corpse had imagined a countless number of scenarios, yet he failed to anticipate that he would be trapped to the death here. What a terrifying number was this! There was a high chance that this was an immortal king before his death. But because his lifespan was up, he died trapped within this underground palace. Even immortal kings were trapped here, what about them? One after another cold gazes landed onto Ken Wenshin as their killing intent gushed forth. In fact, even experts from the Xiao sect were doing the same thing. If it wasn't for Ken Wenshin wanting to come in, they wouldn't have taken the risk. Ken Wenshin led the way into here, leading them all into doom. In that case, the picture scroll Ken Wenshin received earlier, might truly not be any map. There was no such thing at all. Xiao and Ayu's face was ice cold. Ken Wenshin lied to her. Why don't you guys finish reading the words? Ken Wenshin spoke. Naturally, everyone had already finished reading. There was another line of words underneath which stated, Ancient Emperor Yi, how can I comprehend the abstruse mystery of this place? The killing intent gushing forth from everyone was extremely terrifying. All of them were glaring coldly at Ken Wenshin. 
even immortal kings died in here and they were all led here by him. You guys wanted to enter the emperor palace so I led all of you into it. This really is the pathway. And now, we can also confirm the fact that this emperor palace is indeed the one constructed by an ancient emperor character. What's laughable is that all of you are also heaven chosen of the immortal realms yet after making your own choices, following me and willingly, you are now all shifting your rage on to me after realizing that we may be trapped here. What an irony. Ken Wenchen coldly laughed, I don't think I've forced any one of you to follow me in here, right? Although Ken Wenchen put it this way, the killing intent didn't lessen. Shia Kyanhan's countenance was extremely cold. Lin Ayu, I've already told you that we can't trust this man so easily. Now that he led us into this forbidden area, he should die for it. But he is right. This is indeed the passageway to the Emperor Palace. If we can unravel the mystery here, we might be able to get an ancient inheritance. Xiao Lin Ayu spoke. I'm sure all of you have heard about ancient Emperor Yi. The eyes of everyone gleamed with sharpness. If they saw the words ancient emperor Yi before this, they would all go crazy with happiness. But now, they only felt dread and fear after knowing the fact that even immortal kings had died in here. We naturally heard of him before. Ancient emperor Yi was someone who once unified the immortal realms in the past. It's rumored that in this particular layer of sky, there are 33 skies, one sky equals one immortal realm. There were a number of times that it had been completely unified before. Ancient Emperor Yi is precisely one of the rare few who had accomplished a unification, his accomplishments shocking the people then and now. Who would have thought that his palace was actually within the city of ancient emperors? If this news were to be spread out, it would surely cause a great commotion. Someone replied. The city of ancient emperors is a special dimension independent of any of the immortal realms. It's extremely mysterious and without permission, even immortal kings and emperors will find it tough to enter. I heard that in the past, there were traces of ancient emperors' inheritances being found here. Now that I personally see the name of ancient emperor Yi appearing in this place, it only makes everything even more mysterious. Although Xiaolin Ayu felt panic in her heart, she could still maintain a clear-headed mind. If we can really gain that heaven-shaking art inheritance left behind by ancient Emperor Yi. Xiao and Ayu continued to murmur, her words causing many of the hearts of those geniuses present who have heard about ancient Emperor Yi before to tremble. Legend has it that ancient Emperor Yi's secret heaven-shaking art has already been lost to the world for an incomparably long time. There was a high possibility that this secret art was also the reason why these immortal kings appeared here. Sadly, not only did they fail to get the inheritance, all of them ended up dying in here. So now that they are in this place, is this a blessing or a catastrophe? Chapter 907, God's Hand Translator, Lord Bluefire Editor, Lord Bluefire Everyone went silent. They were all descendants of immortal kings and emperors and naturally, many of them have heard of the legends regarding those ancient emperor characters before. They all knew that in this vast immortal realm, there were a few world-shaking immortal emperors who once appeared. These people managed to unify the entire immortal realm under them, standing at the peak, becoming a true emperor that ruled for tens of thousands of eras. Emperor Yi was precisely one of these legendary people. And just as in line with the runic diagrams in his emperor palace, Emperor Yi was an immortal emperor that was extremely skilled in divine inscriptions, having an extremely profound understanding of them, leading to him being able to create a secret divine art. There had always been rumors saying that, whoever managed to get his inheritance, would be the one that has the opportunity to reign supreme in the immortal realms. How could it be so easy to obtain the heaven-shaking art of Emperor Yi? Even immortal kings were trapped here to their death let alone us. In addition, even if his legacy was placed in front of us, who dares to say that he would be able to cultivate it? Someone asked, his words causing the hearts of the people here to sink again. What was a heaven-shaking art? A supreme power that could tyrannically suppress all other innate techniques underneath the heavens. Given how grand the immortal realms are, those techniques and arts that could have the claim of heaven-shaking, 
are all things that even immortal emperors desire to possess. Even if that secret art were to appear before them, it would surely be extremely difficult to comprehend and cultivate. If it was so easy, the secret art wouldn't have become lost in the first place. The secret art emperor Yi was famed for. It should be the god's hand right? Xiao and Ayu spoke in a low voice. The hearts of everyone trembled slightly, indeed, the secret art of Emperor Yi was none other than the god's hand. Just hearing this name would give rise to countless imaginations regarding its power. However, nobody knew what the god's hand is and there was no one who had ever seen how terrifying the attacks that utilized this secret art could be. Could it really shatter the heavens and earth, containing boundless might? Yes the secret art is named God's hand. But now, we're not discussing precisely what was the thing this guy obtained exactly? Zhuangsheng pointed his hand towards Ken Wenshin, he had never considered letting him get away. Ken Wenshin frowned. He stared at Zhuangsheng, I've already said that was a map. HMPH, the info has already been transmitted to your mind. I don't believe you. Zhuangsheng coldly snorted. You also know that it has been transmitted into my mind. You don't believe me? Could it be that you want to dig the info out from my mind? Ken Wenchen replied just as coldly. Why not? If you don't hand it over, you will definitely die here today. Zhuangsheng stepped forth, the people of the Twin Stars Alliance all surrounded Ken Wenchen, causing the pressure in the atmosphere to reach a frightening level. The important thing now is to find a way out. There's no need for a fight to happen between us. Xiao Lin Ayu icily stated. Lin Ayu. Before this, he lied to us saying he obtained a map. Maybe, it's because he wanted us to help him. Why must you interfere now that people want to kill him? Shia Kayanhan who stood at the side also spoke up. Let me say it again. That information I acquired was the map of this underground palace. The ancient passageway we entered lead to a total of five smaller pathways. This is one of them. And earlier if it wasn't for all the divine inscriptionists here acting to seize that item, I wouldn't have acted as well. In fact, that map was completely useless, only allowing us to see the whole picture clearer. If not, why do you think those immortal kings who came here in the past didn't take it away? Ken Wenchen spoke in a loud voice his words causing the others to freeze. Ken Wenchen's words were logical too. That picture scroll was in the first area, inside the runic diagrams and no one in the past had sought to take it away. There was a high possibility it's only a common guiding map of the underground palace. I'll take care of you when we return. Zhuangsheng pointed at Ken Wenchen. Let's go see the other paths and try to figure out what is the mysterious secret here. After speaking, Zhuangsheng brought the people of the Twin Stars Alliance away, preparing to explore the four other pathways. Xiao and Ayu's brows furrowed tightly. After that she spoke in a low voice, even immortal kings were trapped and died in here. If we want to find a way to exit, that's nothing but a fool's dream. We should study this place meticulously and see what secrets are contained within here exactly. Qin Wenchen, you are proficient in divine inscriptions. It's rumored that ancient Emperor Yi himself was also a terrifying grandmaster in the Tao of Divine Inscriptions. There are so many runic diagrams engraved here in the underground palace, I think you can try to study from them and see if there's a runic diagram that can act as a key, opening up the pathway leading to the palace. Xiao and Ayu spoke to Qin Wenchen. Right. Qin Wenchen nodded his head lightly. He studied the surroundings of the cavern. No matter if it was the stone rampart in front of him, or the stone ceilings above him, there were countless runic diagrams engraved there. The runic diagrams contained several singular divine inscriptions but they could converge together at will. To divine inscriptionists, this place was a treasure trove, filled with a countless number of inscriptions suitable for all manner of things. But this treasure trove seemed somewhat lackluster when compared to the astounding legends of ancient Emperor Yi. Hence, even for those geniuses well versed in divine inscriptions, they didn't really pay any attention to the runic diagrams when they saw them earlier. Qin Wenchen contemplated for a long time but a hint of despair seeped into his heart. In this place, there was nothing else other than divine inscriptions. There seemed to be no way out. A few hours later, 
Xiao and Ayu walked towards Ken Wenchen and asked, Any discoveries? No. Ken Wenchen shook his head. It was him who brought Xiao and Ayu into this place. From her beautiful eyes, he actually saw no traces of anger. This made Ken Wenchen somewhat astonished. This Xiao and Ayu had an extraordinary temperament. I'll go around and take a look. Ken Wenchen spoke. Xiao and Ayu nodded. Let me accompany you then, in case Zhuan Xing tries anything funny. After speaking, she didn't wait for Ken Wenchen's opinion and stepped ahead to lead the way. Ken Wenchen stared at her back of you for a moment before following after. Silence was everywhere inside the underground palace, the only sounds were the constant echoing of footsteps. Xiao and Ayu turned her head and flashed a smile. That smile was so mesmerizing that it could hook the souls of men away. Do you think we will be like those immortal kings, trapped here until our lifespan expires? Xiao and Ayu suddenly asked. I won't think about such things. Ken Wenchen replied. I will only think about how we might exit this place. You are very optimistic. Xiao and Ayu giggled. These immortals established their immortal bodies, and even in death, decay couldn't touch them. If we die after we reach the end of our lifespans, we would only become a pile of bones. No matter how beautiful I am now, I would surely be very ugly at that time. After speaking, a bitter smile appeared on her face, as though in self-mockery. Ken Wenchen didn't reply to that. The two of them continued quietly walking forward, coming to the location that led to the split of the five pathways. Xiao and Ayu stood beside him and smiled, the picture scroll earlier, was it truly only the map of this underground palace? Yes, I have no reason to lie to you. Ken Wenchen nodded. I trust you. Xiao and Ayu smiled. Let's go and take a look at the other pathways. Ken Wenchen cast a deep glance at Xiao and Ayu's back, feeling a wave of coldness in his heart. Did Xiao and Ayu really trust him? If she trusted him, why would she accompany him intentionally and even flashing him such a radiant smile before asking that question again? Although Xiao and Ayu's performance seemed very natural, Ken Wenchen was no longer an ignorant youth. How could he not see through her? This Xiao and Ayu was more terrifying than he imagined and her scheming mind made him feel a wave of coldness in his heart. Did Xiao and Ayu truly not have a trace of vengeance considering that it was him who brought her into this forbidden ground? Ken Wenchen continued following after Xiao and Ayu, both of them thinking about their own matters in their hearts but not knowing the thoughts of the other. This pathway they were at resembled the one before completely, there was nothing unusual. And at the end of the pathway, there were also several corpses. Next, for the third pathway, fourth pathway and fifth pathway, everything was the same. This discovery made the geniuses here feel even more panic. Was there really no way out from here? Were they destined to die here? After some days, the minds of these geniuses were breaking down. What ancient emperor that unified the immortal realms, what secret art that could shake the heavens, they had already forgotten about these things. Right now, they wanted nothing more than to leave here. Although a few days of time was nothing to them as people of their levels would often cultivate a few years worth of time in one sitting, this place was different. They were truly facing the threat of death, if they couldn't find the exit, their death was assured. Every moment that passed by was extremely agonizing for them. Their gittery emotions, stacked upon each other day after day. And after one month, even Xiao and Ayu could no longer maintain her previous expression. Right now, her face was like 10,000 year old ice, so cold that it fills the hearts of those who looked at her with fright. Not only for those currently trapped in the underground palace. In the outside world around the ancient passageway, many experts gathered there. Among them were many experts from the Xiao sect, as well as the Twin Stars Alliance. There was a young man within the crowd that was extremely conspicuous. He stood in the midst of the crowd, exuding an extraordinary aura, giving off the feeling that he was head and shoulders above the rest. His face also bore a great deal of similarity to Zhuan Crossing. This young man was none other than Zhuan Xing's elder brother, Zhuan Yang, the other alliance leader of the Twin Stars Alliance, an expert ranked number four on the Immortal Ascension rankings. Zhuan Xing has already entered that place for a month. 
Zhuang Yang coldly spoke. The others around him could also sense the coldness radiating from him. MHM, Xiao and Ayu and the others as well, someone replied. The daughter of the Xiao Emperor, Xiao and Ayu, actually went missing. They had all entered the ancient passageway but nobody knew if they were still alive or dead. If all of them died, the thought of this filled the hearts of everyone here with dread as they shivered. Lin Ayu. Among the experts of the Xiao sect, there was also a figure exuding magnificence through the generations. He stared ahead, the expression on his face as sharp as swords. His gaze then turned to two people not far away from him and they were none other than Zi King Suin and Jun Mengchen. Your friend brought Lin Ayu into that forbidden ground. If something happens to her, I want you guys to die as well. That young man coldly spoke, his words causing Jun Mingchen's eyes to narrow as he stared at him. A bunch of retards. Little Rascal lazily laid in Zi King Suin's embrace. Staring at the lazy expression on Little Rascal's face, Zi King Suin and Jun Mingchen knew that no dangers had befallen Qin Wenchen. At a random particle world boundlessly far away, an old man stood atop an ancient beak with an extremely cold looking younger man beside him. Both of them were staring ahead, and there was a young man currently walking towards them. After arriving at the sight of the old man, that young man asked, Senior, have you heard of the name Ancient Emperor Yi before? I know of him. Why are you asking this? That old man replied, feeling a little unhappy. I wish to know what kind of power Emperor Yi was known for? That young man asked. God's hand. However, although the name of the secret art is God's hand, the truth is that he ignited the entirety of energy within his body in order to refine his body, fusing it with the power of laws that were derived from runes, resulting in whenever he attacks, the power unleashed through his palm could achieve a heaven-shaking might. However, God's hand isn't a palm art. It is an auxiliary art that could be applied to any techniques, for to master it, one must first be proficient in runes, allowing all varieties of attacks to achieve heaven-shaking might when unleashed from his palms. This is the reason why the secret art is named God's Hand. That old man replied in an indifferent tone. Chapter 908, Giant Palm Translator, Lord Bluefire Editor, Lord Bluefire Yan conversed with the old man. Ken Wenchen naturally knew of their conversation. Yan was a true self of his, born from the great Nirvana immortal art. They naturally could communicate telepathically with each other as they were originally one body. However, they wouldn't interfere with each other's path of cultivation. Ken Wenchen was still trapped in the cavern. He started to research the rune of diagrams there, starting from the ones at the entrance, slowly imprinting them into his mind. This underground palace didn't seem to have any direct danger, but its existence was probably the most dangerous of all, able to trap anyone here for all eternity, until their lifespans expired. In addition, there were no clues on how to find the exit, only the corpses of several people from the previous generations, causing people to feel their entire body turning cold at the hopelessness of the situation. If one were to mention the word clues, then the only thing that could possibly be of help would surely be the rune of diagrams engraved all over this underground palace. Ken Wenchen could only try to unravel the mystery from this angle. He had no other choice, it was either to do this or to wait for death. Ken Wenchen went to the starting point and studied the rune of diagrams at the beginning step by step. At the same time in that faraway particle world, Dityan was now inscribing all the rune of diagrams Ken Wenchen saw using techniques to make it three-dimensional to help him research better. His original body and Yan were both concurrently analyzing, hoping to find some clues to unravel the underground palace's secret. Time flowed by, Ken Wenchen slowly walked about the underground palace. In front of him, Xiao and Ayu was sitting down quietly on a stone rampart. Her body contours exuded a sense of gentleness and beauty. Both her hands were hugging her chest. Extremely sexy to behold but Ken Wenchen had no other intentions and was merely silently observing her charm. After some time, Xiao and Ayu finally could bear it no longer and asked, What are you doing? Ken Wenchen inclined his head and replied, We can't simply wait for death here, 
I'm trying to see if there are any clues contained inside the runic diagrams. A rare smile appeared on Xiaolin Yu's face. I'm not proficient in divine inscriptions and have no way to understand the diagrams. But I truly hope that you will succeed. I will do my best. Qian Wenchen nodded as he continued his observation. In front of him, the passageway split into five different pathways and at this moment, a shocking boom shook the air as an expert roared, what the hell is this stone rampart? I can't even damage it the slightest. Don't waste your energy. This place could even trap immortal kings, if you can force your way out so easily, wouldn't those immortal kings who die be a joke? Another person replied. But we can't simply wait for death here, right? The booming sounds continued, but it was all useless. The toughness of this cavern far surpassed one's imagination. Let alone blasting a way out, it was even impossible to leave a mark on the stone walls. The effort of that expert only caused the loud booming sounds caused by the impact of his attacks to echo throughout the cavern. As time flowed, this kind of violent behavior stacked endlessly. Qian Wenchen walked to the fork and stared at the five separate pathways. There were people at all five of the pathways and everyone was coldly staring at him. An expert slowly walked over, his aura gushing forth, filled with an intense vengeance. As he arrived at the side of Ken Wenchen, he icily stated, Don't you feel you should pay the price for your actions? Several people glanced over, staring at Ken Wenchen as though they were watching a drama. Ken Wenchen lifted his head staring at the expert before him as a cold smile appeared on his face, what price? You brought all of us here to this forbidden ground, causing everyone to be trapped. Tell me, what price do you think you should pay? The expression on that expert's face turned malevolent as all the baleful aura he kept suppressed burst out. Am I acquainted with you? Ken Wenchen stared at him. Have I ever even talked to you? Or did I force you to come in with me? Are you a despicable shithead? Even a man made of mud would have three points of fire in him. Being provoked again and again, how could Ken Wenchen not feel any anger in his heart? Everyone followed him into this place out of their own will. But now, everyone was pointing the spearhead of blame at him? What a joke, what a wonderful joke. Boom. An aura of destruction gushed forth. That expert before him blasted out a terrifying fist of darkness, containing a corroding flame within. Just coming into contact with it in the slightest would cause the target to pay a grievous price. If one was hit directly by this punch, the person would die by rotting away, by the power of the flame of corrosion. Boom! Ken Wenchen stomped on the ground as astral light enveloped him protectively. A fierce and gigantic battle spear materialized, stabbing out frenziedly, clashing against that punch of his opponent. That expert roared in rage and unleashed his constellation, causing the space here to sink into total darkness as black flames of destruction danced about. Ken Wenchen took a step forward. The entire ground beneath him shone as a runic diagrams lit up, manifesting a terrifying prison below his opponent's feet, wanting to trap him within. This prison was full of boundless golden light, and was seemingly indestructible. Gil. Ken Wenchen waved his hand. Terrifying long battle spears from all directions shot through space, aiming for his opponent. That expert turned ashen. Right now, this underground palace transformed into a battlefield that was precisely designed for Ken Wenchen. He could borrow the strength of divine inscriptions in the rune of diagram for combat. The constellation of that expert shone brilliantly as boundlessly dark flames of corrosion shot out in all directions. However, Ken Wenchen's attacks seemed endless. With every wave of his hand, even more spears flew out, as though he wouldn't stop until everything is slaughtered. Poochi. A sound rang out, a long spear penetrated the shoulder of Ken Wenchen's opponent. Fresh blood instantly dyed his body red. His countenance was as pale as paper, yet the battle spears continued erupting outwards. Those spectating the battle all started to frown. Ken Wenchen was able to borrow the power of the runic diagrams at his will in combat. In here, he was in his element, like a fish in water. There was completely no need for him to expend any of his energy to attack so ferociously. The chaotic Shi flow stopped. With a wave of his hand, the prison vanished. He coldly stared at his opponent, Scram, 
if you act like a despicable shithead again, die. That person's expression turned ashen. His arm clutched onto the shoulder that was penetrated by a spear. He coldly glared at Ken Winchin before turning and walking away. Ken Winchin glanced at the experts gathered before continuing what he was doing earlier, starting from the leftmost pathway and returning back to his analysis of the runic diagrams here in the underground palace. Zhuangxing and the other geniuses present who were proficient in divine inscriptions were all doing the same thing as Ken Winchin, starting to research the runic diagrams of the underground palace. It was just like what Ken Winchin had thought, these runic diagrams were the only clue in this cavern, in order to solve the mystery, they had to try from this angle or they would only be waiting for death. In the blink of an eye, three months passed. The emotions of those in the outside world had almost reached the peak of anxiety. The son of the Zhuang Emperor and daughter of the Xiao Emperor had been missing for three months. In addition, there were also several rankers on the Immortal Ascension rankings who had gone missing with them as well. In these three months, Ken Wenshin had studied all the runic diagrams within the underground palace, Deet Yan inscribed all of them down in that faraway particle world he was in, studying and analyzing them from a three-dimensional form. Right now, as he stared at the runic diagrams, he only felt an extreme shock in his heart. Before him was a complete picture formed from all the runic diagrams in the underground palace. A unique shape could be seen. His original body who was trapped within there, wouldn't be able to see this clearly but after he rearranged the divine inscription runic diagrams into a three-dimensional form, everything became much clearer. The combined runic diagrams in the underground palace actually formed the shape of a giant palm. The five pathways which contained countless divine inscriptions took the form of five fingers and the large area before the passageway split into five smaller pathways, took the form of a bomb. As for the ancient passageway leading to the large area, it was in the form of an arm. Right now, when Qin Wenchen looked at this, a hint of understanding surfaced in his heart. He thought back to the picture scroll he acquired. So it turned out that the hint was already given the instant they entered the underground palace. What he obtained was truly a map, a map of the underground palace, which the bird's eye view of it resembled a palm. Emperor Yi's heaven-shaking art was precisely named the God's Hand. What mysteries were hidden within exactly? At this moment, a figure appeared before the Tian. It was none other than the old man and as he saw the three-dimensional model, he spoke. Why did you suddenly ask about Emperor Yi? This bomb is abstruse and incredibly profound. Did your original body obtain the inheritance of Emperor Yi? Not for now. Di Yan shook his head, my original body is in a ruin left behind by ancient Emperor Yi and after I studied and analyzed all the runic diagrams in that place, it actually took the form of a palm after I replicated all the runic diagrams out here. Oh? The old man had an expression of interest on his face as he smiled, seems like the luck of your original body isn't bad. However, the inheritance of Emperor Yi isn't going to be so easy to comprehend. I naturally understand this point. Di Yan nodded. The complete picture seemed to be separated into parts. Every part could be attack type divine inscriptions and also had the ability to assemble themselves at will. Right now, all the divine inscriptions in the runic diagram were converged together, becoming something extremely complex, impossible to comprehend. In that case, take your time to comprehend it. That old man spoke in a faint tone before turning about and vanishing from sight. Emperor Yi's secret art, God's Hand, wasn't any attack technique but was a type of super strong auxiliary support technique. If Di Yan had the fortune and succeeds in comprehending this, he naturally wouldn't have any complaints. But of course, that old man could clearly tell that this palm imprint isn't the full and complete inheritance of Emperor Yi's secret art God's hand. It might only be an entry-level inheritance. Within the underground palace, Ken Wenshin sat cross-legged, fully concentrating on the scene before Di Yan. He could naturally see through Di Yan's eyes as could Di Yan see through his. The two of them were concurrently trying to comprehend and unravel the mysteries behind this bomb. Not far away from Qin Wenshin, Xiao and Ayu was still quietly sitting on the stone rampart, studying Qin Wenshin's actions. 
Qian Wenchen sat down to cultivate after walking throughout the five pathways. Could it be that he made some discoveries? Although Xiaolin Yu's strength was high, she was not proficient in divine inscriptions. Hence, she could only depend on these divine inscriptionists here, hoping that they would find clues to unravel the mystery. If they truly succeeded, they might have a chance to head to the true Emperor Palace and she believed that the Emperor Palace they saw before in the outside world would surely exist. Also, since this underground palace existed, this must be a passageway to the true palace. Ken Wenchen's words might be correct from a certain perspective. This place was a test left behind by ancient Emperor Yi. However, this test was extremely difficult, so difficult to the extent whereby even immortal kings lost their lives here. Naturally, all these were just Xiaolin Yu's conjectures. As to what the real ending was like, unless the mystery of this underground palace could be unraveled, no one would know the truth. Note, divine inscriptions and runes are two different words referring to the same thing. The author used them interchangeably through the series. Chapter 909, Comprehending the Abstruse Translator, Lord Bluefire Editor, Lord Bluefire Ken Wenchen seemed to have entered a meditative state, completely immersed within a world of comprehension of his own. Since he already drew the palm shape out, exhibiting it in the form of a three-dimensional model, it was clearly possible that the abstruse mystery of the underground palace was hidden within this gigantic palm. If he was able to comprehend it, there was a chance for them to exit. However, the divine inscriptions within the palm were too profound, containing boundless transformations. It was extremely hard to comprehend anything from it. Both Li Dian and himself were currently analyzing it, hoping to comprehend it as fast as possible. Right now in the underground palace, Shi Hikian Hun walked to the side of Xia Lin Ayu as he asked, Lin Ayu, there's completely no way to find the exit. Why are you still so adamant on shielding that person? Xiao Lin Ayu stared at Ken Wenchen, she didn't bother to look at Xia Kian Hun as she replied, Right now, everyone is doing their best trying to think of a solution to get out. Stop thinking of such things. And so what if I vent my anger and frustrations on Ken Wenchen? Would we be able to find an exit that way? Well spoken. A voice drifted over. Zhuan Sheng slowly walked over, his eyes shining with a dazzling mysterious light. He was like Ken Wenchen, and had already looked through all the runic diagrams of the underground palace. As a possessor of the mystic eyes, no divine inscriptions could escape his sight. But in this case, even if he could unravel the divine inscriptions one by one, it was still useless to unravel it one by one when compared to the perspective of the entire runic diagrams in here, he wouldn't be able to unravel the secrets within. However Xiao Lin Ayu, are you really that magnanimous? The others can say that they followed you in, but it's a fact that you were persuaded by him to enter. You don't even feel the slightest bit of vengeance? Zhuan Sheng stared into Xiao Lin Ayu's eyes, his sharp eyes felt as though it could pierce through anything in this world. This Xiaolin Ayu was truly an extraordinary character. If he was in the place of her, there was no way he would be able to have such a calm expression on the surface, not bearing the slightest bit of hatred and even to the extent of continuing to protect Ken Wenchen. Lin Ayu, say something. I can kill him for you. How about it? Zhuan Sheng smiled. From the start even before they entered this place, he already had a low opinion of Ken Wenchen. Let alone now, all of them were trapped inside this underground palace, the anger and hatred in his heart for Ken Wenchen had already reached a boiling point. Xiao and Ayu swept her gaze over to Zhuan Sheng as she spoke coldly, There's no need for you to bother in my matters. Why don't you go find an exit and lead all of us out? Ha ha! Xiao and Ayu, we are already trapped here now. Why must you still be so cold and uncaring? If we really have to be trapped until we die in here, we can be considered dying together as we shared the same fate. Zhuan Xing laughed uproariously. After which, he turned and regarded Ken Wenchen, his eyes flickering with a cold light. This Ken Wenchen truly seemed to be very relaxed, to think that he could even cultivate at ease in such circumstances. If you are so free, why don't you go and analyze the runic diagrams and see if there are any secrets hidden within? 
Xiao and I use voice turned even colder. She was like a blind woman in this underground palace. The only people she could depend on were the geniuses who were proficient in divine inscriptions. This was also the reason why she still shielded Ken Wenchen. She naturally could tell that Ken Wenchen's attainments in the Tao of Divine Inscriptions was extremely high. If a ninth level ascendant was to fight against him here, there was a 50% probability that the ninth level ascendant would lose. And there was already an example of that earlier. HMPH Zhuangsheng snorted coldly, unravel what hidden secrets? Did Xiao and Ayu believe that he didn't want to do so? However, there were simply no clues at all. He didn't know where he should even start. When his gaze turned to the sea of corpses in this area, the light in his eyes when he looked at Ken Wenchen grew even colder. Zhuangsheng, do you want to? A few experts of the Twin Stars Alliance walked over staring at Ken Wenchen while making a slashing motion with their hands. No hurry, in any case we are already all trapped here. He can't escape even if he wants to. If we kill him directly now, there would be one less person to suffer the agony of waiting with us. Zhuangsheng changed his mind, he wasn't in that much of a hurry to kill Ken Wenchen. The feeling of waiting and waiting here for their death was extremely agonizing. If he killed Ken Wenchen off so early, it just meant that Ken Wenchen would find relief faster. In the days that followed, the geniuses here felt their frustrations at the max. There was no exit, no glimmer of hope at all and they couldn't even be bothered to cultivate. It was useless even if they broke through to immortal foundation here as even immortal kings had died in this place. How could immortal foundation experts change anything? This underground palace was like a devilish curse, trapping everyone within. Because no one could unravel the mysteries, the state of hearts of all of the experts here grew increasingly violent and explosive, almost to the point of being uncontrollable. Ken Wenchen continued sitting cross-legged at his location, as though he wouldn't move forever. Layers of light circulated around his body, that was the Heavenly Fiendgood Body Refinement Heart in effect. For the Heavenly Fiendgood Refinement Heart, it was simply to use the energy of divine inscriptions to mold one's body but only those who had cultivated in the spiritual refinement method before could do so. After analyzing the giant palm for such a long time, Ken Wenchen could faintly sense a great deal of similarity with regards to both the palm model as well as the Fiendgood body refinement art. However, the Fiendgood body refinement art's purpose was to refine one's body while the giant palm model was more like a pure attacking force. But as he cast his thoughts in this direction of comprehension, it felt much more effective than previously. Clearly, it was a sign he was on the right track. Also, because he cultivated the spiritual refinement method before, he possessed an innate advantage. In addition, Ken Wenchen even used the principles of the 10,000 Laws record, trying to understand everything better. Right now, his perception was wandering in the maze of countless divine inscriptions that made up of the giant palm and he could no longer see the different groups of divine inscriptions. Right now, as the runic light from the giant palm fell upon him, what he saw was one complete entity that possessed millions and millions of transformations, but speaking of an unfathomably immeasurable level in divine inscriptions. The path of cultivation is as such. From simplicity to complexity and returning from complexity into simplicity once more. Ken Wenchen mused silently. He had already comprehended this point very long ago. All kinds of power were the same, one first had to start from the simplest basics, slowly building up into complexity but after one's comprehension reaches the peak, they had to revert the complexity back into simplicity to truly understand the essence. Once they comprehended the essence of anything, no matter how complicated an innate technique would be, they could still instantly blast it out at full power in the span of a single thought or with a wave of a single hand. It was simply so abstruse, regarding the comprehension of any types of power. Ken Wenchen now was thinking, he hasn't even reached the level of simplicity to complexity with regards to this giant palm model. To comprehend the mysteries within, he should start from the most basic step first. Spiritual Refinement Method Ken Wenchen drew in a deep breath, he decided to discard all his previous comprehension and restart the whole process, 
starting from comprehending the simplest kind of divine inscriptions in the giant bomb model which consisted of the runic diagrams, until the point where he can revert back from complexity into simplicity. This was the only way, it was of paramount importance to do this step by step. There was no shortcuts one could take. Ken Winchin had no distractions in his heart, fully focused in his comprehension. Hence, he couldn't feel the flow of time, and wasn't able to feel the rising balefulness of the other geniuses. Since he had something to do, he was in a state of total concentration. As for the others, because they were doing nothing, every second that passed felt like torture. Within the underground palace, the other geniuses walked to and fro repeatedly, fully exploring the place but it was all useless. Nothing they did had any effect, there was simply no exit here. It felt that everyone who passed by Ken Winshin, regardless of whether were they from the Twin Stars Alliance or the Xiao sect, would all shoot a cold and venomous glance at him and as time flowed by, the coldness in their eyes intensified. They had no way to blame themselves for their impulsiveness for choosing to follow Ken Winchin in, hence they could only push their blame on to Ken Winchin himself. This was nothing but human nature. If Flux could go, Ken Winchin would have already died countless times. Xiao and Ayu, you are truly patient. Xuanxing came by once again, glancing at Xiao and Ayu before turning his eyes on to Ken Winchin. Xiao and Ayu's heart trembled slightly, patience? Her patience was diminishing by the second. It has already been five months since they entered the underground palace. They didn't cultivate, resulting in zero improvements, and they were simply waiting with agony every single day, trying to search for a glimmer of hope but the fruitless results slowly led to despair. His patience is better than yours. Xiao and Ayu snorted. Xuanxing's sinister gaze was on Ken Wenshin, he couldn't help but to admit that out of all these people, Ken Wenshin's patience was the best. He still wanted to see Ken Wenshin spending his days in agony, yet Ken Wenshin didn't seem to feel any agony at all. He seemed to be fully immersed in a world of his own every day, quietly cultivating as though he wasn't trapped by this place, but chose to come here purposely to cultivate instead. Such resolution even made Zhuan Xing felt some traces of jealousy. Is he waiting for others to find the exit for him? Zhuanxing coldly asked. And at this very moment, a figure stomped his way towards Ken Wenshin. Upon seeing this scene, Zhuanxing frowned but an instant later, a cold smile flashed in his eyes. Finally, there was someone who couldn't control their anger any longer. Right now, Ken Wenshin was at a critical moment, he could already separate the divine inscriptions into the different categories. He stood before the three-dimensional palm model and stretched out his bombs, causing divine inscriptions to circulate around it. Boundless divine energy appeared on the heart of his bomb, flowing according to the principles of the divine inscriptions in the three-dimensional model. And in an instant, there seemed to be a variety of transformations that occurred in his palm. As long as he willed it, the divine inscriptions there could transform countless times in an instant, according to his will. Ken Wenshin then retracted his palm and continued analyzing the marvelous transformations and abstruse mysteries, it was like he received a hint of enlightenment. Right now, his naked eyes alone could already see the assembly and reassembly of the divine inscriptions in the rune of diagrams, the endless changes and transformations. Such a feeling was extremely profound, he wasn't able to explain it clearly if he was asked to put it in words. However at this very moment, Ken Wenshin suddenly felt a sense of crisis descending on him. His eyes abruptly snapped open, and he saw a blood-colored palm imprint blasting his way. This terrifying palm could smash one into pieces, and Ken Wenshin didn't even have time to see who the attacker was. Ken Wenshin could only hurriedly gather his energy and blast out his palm in a hurried defense. Fearsome runic light shimmered around his palm, directly colliding with the blood palm imprint. However instantly, Ken Wenshin was flung through the air, smashing on the stone wall behind him as a terrifying force entered and ravaged his body, causing him to groan miserably, coughing out blood as his countenance turned pale. Inclining his head, Ken Wenshin stared ahead. The commotion caused many to turn their attentions over, and all of the other people here were all looking on with cold gazes, filled with baleful intents in their heart. 
Xiao and Ayu was also among these people. This time around, she chose not to obstruct the attacker. Qian Wenchen's lips curled up into a cold smile. He was here trying his best to comprehend the abstruse mystery of this damnable place, these people were just milling around doing nothing, yet they wanted to vent their anger and frustrations all onto him? Right now, they even wanted to kill him off? How laughable was this? Chapter 910, Comprehension Completed Translator, Lord Bluefire Editor, Lord Bluefire Seems like you guys have really chosen to wait for your deaths, Ken Winchin coldly swept his gaze over to everyone. The aura of his attacker was extremely violent and the attacker smiled in disdain, even before I die, I will make sure to take your life first. You want my life? An expression of ridicule appeared on Keen Winchin's face. You guys are sitting here waiting for death. While I'm trying to comprehend the mystery of this place alone, but what's lamentable is that you bunch of trashes who have nothing to do actually wanted to vent your anger and frustrations on me. How laughable is this? If I die here, just based on you guys, you all will join me sooner or later in death. Stop your bragging. That person's countenance was cold. He stared at Ken Winchin and stepped out. Stay your hand. A clear and melodious voice rang out. Xiao and Ayu moved forward, her beautiful eyes were staring at Ken Winchin as she asked, Ken Winchin, you made some discoveries? I've always been trying to unravel the abstruse mystery from the start. But what are these people doing? Ken Winchin coldly swept his gaze onto everyone. Xiao and Ayu. Do you truly believe his words? Zhuan Sheng slowly walked up, staring at Ken Wenchen. Just with you? You are saying you can comprehend anything out of these runic diagrams? The divine inscriptions here are capable of boundless transformations. After studying them with my mystic eyes, the conclusion is that you can only unravel them one by one and there's no way to comprehend the mystery within as a whole. What qualifications do you have to boast in front of me? Frog in a well. Ken Wenchen glanced at Zhuan crossing his palm shimmered with runic light as he blasted outwards. An instant later, an incomparably gigantic and terrifying giant palm appeared in the air, containing countless divine inscriptions within that gave Zhuan Xing a sense of familiarity. What you can't accomplish, doesn't mean that others cannot as well. You believed your attainments in divine inscriptions are very high and that others can't be compared to you? That's merely you not knowing the immensity of the heavens and earth. How short-sighted. Lamentable. Ken Wenchen mocked. Xiao and Ayu's beautiful eyes flashed with a strange light, although she wasn't proficient in divine inscriptions, the huge palm blasted out by Ken Wenchen earlier was filled with a profoundness that also seemed familiar to her. Zhuan Xing's expression turned heavy as he glanced sinisterly at Ken Wenchen. He then spoke. I was wondering why you are quietly cultivating here? So it turns out that the picture scroll you obtained is directly relevant to the mystery of the underground palace. As the sound of his voice faded, the faces of everyone changed again as they stared at Ken Wenchen. Oh yes, the map which Ken Wenchen acquired earlier. Was the mystery of this place hidden within? Ken Wenchen froze for a moment before a strange smile appeared on his face. Zhuan Sheng's pride was carved in his bones and from the start till now, he believed that he alone was the most outstanding. At the very least, he was at the peak among everyone here with regards to divine inscriptions. No matter what Ken Wenchen said, or what facts he used to prove, Zhuan Sheng would just push everything to the map as an excuse. Ken Wenchen understood that it didn't matter what he said. Smiling unconcernedly, just let's say that you are right. But right now, you are all waiting for death here. I am the only one with the opportunity to find the exit. What do you all want to do? You finally admitted it. Zhuan Sheng's body exploded with a cold killing intent as he stomped his way forward. Hand it over. Very good. Seems like you have already made your choice. Qian Wenchen glanced at Zhuan Sheng before turning his gaze onto the others. He only saw Xiao Lin Ayu's beautiful eyes flickering incessantly as though she was contemplating. Zhuan Sheng, Ken Wenchen is right. You are useless. Despite being proficient in divine inscriptions, you chose to wallow in misery and gave up, even thinking how to deal with Ken Wenchen. 
he's the only one who's trying to find the exit. I won't allow you to touch him the slightest. Xiaolin Ayu expressed her stance. Zhuan Xing turned and glared at her, are you sure you want to go against me? If you want to assume so, just go ahead. Xiaolin Ayu coolly replied. The people of the Xiao sect gathered behind her and those of the Twin Stars Alliance also gathered behind Zhuan Crossing A clash could break out among the two parties any time. Let's wait to settle everything after the exit is found. At this moment, another person spoke, this person wasn't someone of the two powerful sects. Yeah, we are all trapped here, there's no point to fight in here. Do you want everyone to die here together? Another expert spoke. It felt like everyone that was on a neutral ground, was against Zhuan Crossing. Sure, since everyone put it this way, I will give him some more time then. The genius who attacked Ken Wenshin earlier stated. His gaze was still frostily cold when he stared at Ken Wenshin but upon hearing his words, an expression of interest appeared on Ken Wenshin's face. After that, his lips curled up into a mocking smile. These people stepping out to speak now were doing so for his own good? Apparently not, once he found the exit, they would act like Xuanxing and begin to forcibly question him about what exactly the picture scroll he acquired earlier contained. In reality, one just had to think about it a little and all would make sense. Even immortal kings died trapped in here and if that map truly contained hints of solving the mystery, how could so many still died? So, could the map really contain the secret of the underground palace? Clearly it would not. But sadly, the greed of humans had no need for any reasons, they would only believe what they hope is true. Just like Wenqing, he has already convinced himself beyond a doubt that Ken Wenqin received a treasure earlier. If not, how could Ken Wenqin accomplish something the others could not? That's all to it? Ken Wenqin mockingly laughed. I'm doing my best to find the exit, yet there's someone wanting to kill me? After discussion, you guys came to the conclusion that it's best not to kill me and that's it? What do you want then? The genius who attacked spoke coldly. Ken Wenchen had a glacial smile on his face as he stared at the attacker. Pointing his finger right at him, he icily continued, kill this man. Or else, find the way out yourself. Don't even think about depending on me. At the instant he spoke, waves of coldness gushed forth from him. Did the others think that he, Ken Wenchen, had no temper? Boom! That person roared in rage, stepping forth. His aura was extremely terrifying, manifesting a fearsome pressure that bore down on Ken Wenchen. But at this moment, Ken Wenchen closed his eyes as though he didn't mind what the attacker wanted to do to him. Stay your hand! Someone shouted. Numerous figures sped over, directly surrounding the attacker. What do all of you want to do? That attacker roared. Ken Wenchen, we don't really kill people in the city of ancient emperors, why must you go so far? Someone spoke. Have you gone blind? When he wanted to kill me earlier why didn't you say this to him? Ken Wenchen coldly spoke. The aura of that attacker who was surrounded grew stronger and stronger as though he would erupt at any moment. Do it. A cold voice rang out as as a powerful freezing energy gushed forth. It was actually Xiaolin Ayu who led and attacked first. Also, many experts of the Xiao sect also directly acted together. Golden Chain suddenly manifested from a runic diagram on the ground and bound Ken Wenchen's attacker. It was a divine inscriptionist who acted, he wanted to bind the attacker's movement in case of any unexpected situations which would lead to even more casualties. At this instant, the auras of everyone burst out. Even those who didn't act earlier, decided to join in the attack as well at this moment. Decisive and ruthless indeed, that trapped attacker could only howl in futile rage. He wanted to take out his immortal weapon yet it was all too late, the attacks from the others have already blasted into him. Death was the only path remaining. No. He howled in despair. After that, boundless attacks engulfed him completely and in just an instant, a powerful genius was slain. Ken Wenchen coldly watched on, radiating a coldness. In front of true benefits, to heck with the rules saying that one can't be killed here. Once these people bared their fangs, they were all extremely terrifying. He couldn't help but to think about himself, 
these people believe that he obtained a treasure earlier and in that case, what would happen to him if they exited this place? Ken Wenshin, be at ease and help us find the exit. Since you're of my Xiao sect, I naturally won't let anything happen to you. At this moment, Xiao and Ayu spoke. Her tone was filled with many intentions as if she was hinting at something. Sure. Ken Wenshin smiled and nodded. He could roughly guess Xiao and Ayu's intentions. Ken Wenchen walked to another area, and after sweeping his gaze to the others, he sat down cross-legged once more, before sinking into a state of complete focus. He believed that after that one time, there won't be any more that would dare to act against him. At the very least before they exit this underground palace, no one would be foolish enough to dig their own grave. Xiao and Ayu and the others stared at Ken Wenchen, each harboring a scheme in their hearts. Zhuan Shang glanced at Xiao Lin Ayu, instantly understanding her intentions. Most likely, this Xiao Lin Ayu would protect Ken Wenchen even after leaving this place. Ken Wenchen and Di Tian, the two of them were seeking comprehension regarding the giant palm simultaneously. But how could something left behind by an ancient emperor be so easily unraveled? Time flowed by and another month passed. Today, Ken Wenchen finally gained another bit of enlightenment. God's hand or to better put it, he finally understood somewhat the true intent of God's hand. However, he chose to continue to remain in that state of concentration until several days later. Today, Ken Wenshin's eyes abruptly opened as he spoke in a low voice, I understand now. Instantly, the gazes of everyone shot over and focused on Ken Wenshin. Ken Wenshin unraveled the secret of the underground palace. Xiao and Ayu sped over arriving before Ken Wenchen. Her beautiful eyes flickered uncontrollably, they have been trapped here for half a year and their emotions could very well be imagined. They have been bottling up and suppressing their frustrations again and again and finally, they saw a glimmer of hope in Ken Wenchen. Right now, a single sentence of Ken Wenchen stirred the hearts of everyone present. Are you sure? Xiao and Ayu's voice trembled involuntarily. Maybe. But I must try first before I can tell. Ken Wenchen spoke, causing gleams of sharpness to flicker in the eyes of everyone. Do it then. Xiao and Ayu spoke. Ken Wenchen stood up and stared at the others. It's too difficult for me to do this alone. I hope all divine inscriptionists in here can aid me together and cause all the runic diagrams in this place to light up. You are saying to activate all the divine inscriptions in this underground palace? Zhuan Xing walked over, staring at Ken Wenshin as he asked. Are you sure this won't cause a disaster to us? I said it before, you know nothing. Ken Wenshin coldly stared at Zhuan Crossing you can choose to believe me or not. If no one is willing to aid me, forgive me for not being able to help. You guys go think of your own methods to exit this place. You. Zhuan Xing pointed his finger at Ken Wenshin. Anger gushed forth in palpable waves from him as he coldly spoke. All right, we will do as you asked. Chapter 911, Stone Monument in the Emperor Palace Translator, Lord Bluefire Editor, Lord Bluefire The geniuses in the underground palace, the strongest two powers among them. The Xiao sect and the Twin Stars Alliance. Xiao and Ayu supports Ken Wenshin and now, Zhuan Xing had no objections as well. Since this was the case, the others wouldn't object to. After all, all of them wanted to exit this place. This was a forbidden ground, although there was no direct danger, it can still trap immortal kings until their life expired. Right now, Ken Wenchen was probably the only one who could bring them out. Although this was only a possibility, they can only try it, hoping for the best. All the divine inscriptionists come out. Also, you have to be a divine inscriptionist that's capable of seeing through the divine inscription runic diagrams of the underground palace. Ken Wenchen spoke. He can be considered one and Zhuan Xing another. After that, more and more inscriptionists walked out. To them, unraveling wasn't that difficult, they were all able to see the transformations within. Okay, just six of us is enough. Ken Wenchen nodded. Ken Wenchen nodded and after that, he pointed to the five pathways and spoke, The five of you, each of you choose a pathway and I want you to light up all the runic diagrams one by one respectively. 
since all of you understand divine inscriptions, you naturally would know which position would be the safest to stand in. As for the others, just split into five groups and follow the five of them. What about you? Zhuangsheng stared at Ken Wenshin as he questioned. For this underground palace, if you view it from a bird's eye view, you will realize that it's a picture of a giant palm. The five pathways takes the shape of the five fingers and the place we are in now, is the heart of the palm. I will be responsible for this place. Ken Wenshin spoke, his words causing everyone to blink. Now that they heard it, this place truly seemed to resemble a palm. It was just because they were trapped within earlier and they had not sensed it. Why are you the one responsible for the heart of the palm area? Zhuangsheng coldly asked. If you are sure you know what to do, you can take my position. Qin Wenshin did a gesture of invitation with clear mockery in his eyes. Zhuangsheng stared at Qin Wenshin with enmity, but he could only snort coldly in response. Those of the Xiao sect will be with you. Xiao and Ayu spoke. Sure. Ken Wenchen nodded. After which, he walked to the center of the area. Xiao and Ayu and those of the Xiao sect followed, while the other experts followed the five other divine inscriptionists. After everyone was in position, Ken Wenchen started to trigger the rune of diagram beneath his feet, causing the singular unit divine inscriptions to light up one after another. However, his eyes were closed. He basically didn't even need his eyes. Each and every rune of diagram was already imprinted in his mind and in fact, he could even clearly copy and reproduce each runic diagram. It naturally wasn't a problem for him to trigger these divine inscriptions with his eyes closed. Little by little, the entire underground palace started to light up. The glow radiating forth from the divine inscriptions grew increasingly resplendent. A terrifying might shimmered in and out of existence in the moment it was triggered to explode, a world-shaking destructive power would gush out. The power of divine inscriptions are truly marvelous. The light emitted from these different kinds of divine inscriptions are actually from the same source. This should be what Father meant when he said that the myriad of all things converged back to one. Regardless of what divine inscriptions, at the very end they can all be combined. Xiao and Ayu mused silently. Researching divine inscriptions can easily delay one's cultivation. Hence, a majority of stellar martial cultivators chose to increase their strength the quickest way by focusing only on cultivation, ignoring divine inscriptions. However, truly powerful divine inscriptionists were respected by all. When all the runic diagrams lit up, the geniuses here inclined their heads and stared above in the air. Golden runic light could be seen illuminating every spot of this underground palace. No, to better put it, not this underground palace. It was as Ken Wenshin said, now that everything was lit up, the shape of this place was that of a giant palm. With the golden runic light outlining the curve of the palm, it felt as though this place was created after a giant palm blasted downwards. Can we exit just like this? Many wondered. Although Ken Wenshin thought of this idea, how could those immortal kings who were trapped here for over tens of thousands of years not think of the same thing? There should be people proficient in divine inscriptions among them as well. And even if no one among them knew divine inscriptions, given their comprehension abilities, it wouldn't be too difficult for them to comprehend lightening up this entire underground palace. But why then did they still die in here? Evidently, just doing this was insufficient. Ken Wenshin's eyes were tightly closed. His perception gushed out and started to control the flow of the divine inscriptions. Along with his guidance, the entire divine inscriptions in the underground palace started to circulate. Ken Wenshin kick-started them, and soon after they started to circulate in a flow of their own volition and finally, a surge of terrifying ore gushed forth amidst a terrifying rumbling sound as the entire underground palace started to shake. He really accomplished it. Xiao and Ayu stared at Ken Wenchen with a dazzling light flashing through her beautiful eyes. Even immortal kings couldn't accomplish this and ended up dying after being trapped for eternity, but Ken Wenchen managed to succeed in half a year's worth of time. Although she was filled with anticipation, when he truly succeeded, Xiao and Ayu only felt a sense of disbelief. Would someone's comprehension really be so monstrous? He could even unravel something immortal kings could not. 
the giant palm started to rotate, Ken Wenchen need not control it any longer. Boundless runic light circulated automatically and Ken Wenchen abruptly turned and dashed ahead while shouting, Follow me. Xiao and Ayu and the others of the Xiao sect froze for a moment. Their hearts clenched before they turned and followed after Ken Wenchen, sprinting towards the place where they entered. However, no one understood why Ken Wenchen was running there, that place was clearly a dead end. Boom! A fearsome beam of light shot out as the entire palm started shaking. At the end point of Ken Wenchen's sprint, the stone walls there started to explode bit by bit until a hole opened up for them. This scene caused Xiao and Ayu's heart to pound violently. The group of them increased their speed, directly dashing out of the exit. Ken Wenchen. A roar of rage sounded out. The other experts on the other pathways also swiftly dashed out. The roar was naturally emitted by Zhuan Qing, and was filled with coldness. No wonder Ken Wenchen chose that position, so it turned out that it was the nearest to the exit. BZZ. Ken Wenchen transformed into a wind rock, and sped towards the exit. A moment later, he discovered that he reappeared in another passageway. Behind him, the sounds of explosion continued. Screams filled the air as experts from the Xiao sect and Twin Stars Alliance rushed through the exit. This passageway was slanted in an upwards direction, and the geniuses didn't seem to have time to settle the dead with Ken Wenchen, they were all staring at this newly appeared pathway as coldness filled their hearts. This wouldn't lead to another dead end would. There's light in the distance, there should be a way for us to proceed. A person exclaimed. The crowd continued to speed ahead, and after following the pathway, they appeared at another gigantic area. In addition, even more runic diagrams could be seen at this place, and they were even more complex than before. Even Ken Wenchen had no way to see through all of these divine inscriptions. Before this, that place we were in resembled an arm. Have we passed through the arm and arrived at the interior of the body? Ken Wenchen's heart trembled slightly. However, the body seemed incomplete, there were shattered walls in all directions, and light drifted in from the outside. There were even people speeding over to the source of the light as voices of confusion filled the air. This, this whole place is a statue of an ancient emperor? We've walked out of the damnable cavern from the body of an ancient emperor? Ken Wenchen moved towards a large gap in one of the walls, reaching the outer area. He floated in the air and turned back to regard the place they were at. Truly, the whole outer area resembled an incomparably gigantic body that was like a statue but somehow it seemed so real. The place they walked out earlier was from the arm socket. And now when they turned their gazes into the distance, they could see an ancient hall over there. This is the Emperor Palace we saw. It must be this place. So the underground palace we were in earlier, was the hand of the ancient emperor. Xiao and Ayu felt her heart shaking. They reached this place by passing through the arm, this then was the real entrance. There's a monument here with words engraved from some ancient expert. An expert from the Xiao sect shouted in excitement. The gazes of the crowd turned in the direction of the entrance of the ancient hall and indeed, there was a stone monument there. Their figures flickered as they sped downwards, staring at the stone monument. It's said that supreme experts from the senior generations specially came here to admire the inheritance left behind by the ancients. They were filled with longing, staring at the bearing of the ancients, sensing their strength and power and could only sigh to the heavens as to why were they not born of the same generation as the ancients. How regretful, they couldn't exchange blows with the ancients unable to measure how far they were from them. They can only choose to protect the inheritances left behind, hoping that in the future, some fated one of the junior generations might be able to once again display the brilliance of the ancients. The words on the monument were filled with force. With a glance, every stroke of the word characters contained a terrifying law energy. Everyone could sense how fearsomely powerful the person who engraved the words on this monument was. Sighing to the heavens as to why they were not born of the same generation, only filled with regrets because they are unable to measure how far they themselves were in terms of strength when compared to the ancients. Someone mumbled, as the hearts of everyone trembled. The person who left these words didn't sign his name, and there was basically no words of boasting in them. If this is true, how strong was the person who left these words? 
sighing with regret that he was unable to measure himself against an ancient emperor. I wonder which supreme expert from the immortal realms was it who dared to say this. He must be someone with power strong enough to fight against an ancient emperor. Sadly, he didn't sign his name, we won't be able to know his identity. Some of the geniuses here felt regret. Such a powerful expert didn't leave his name behind. Before this in the underground palace, was it really a forbidden ground that had no exit? That place which can trap those immortal kings to their deaths actually failed to trap this senior who left the words behind on the monument. Ken Winchin murmured. He glanced at his surroundings, this place was completely devastated, with vestiges of destruction all around. Only the stone monument and the ancient hall still remain perfect, exuding a majestic and imposing aura. Clearly, the senior who left the words did something to ensure the Emperor Palace of Ancient Emperor Yi remained in perfect condition. This made everyone sigh, the spirit of that senior was admirable, incomparable to the average man. Not only did he not destroy this place after realizing he couldn't obtain the inheritance, he even helped to ensure that this place of inheritance was preserved and maintained perfectly for the fated one in the junior generations. At this moment, Ken Winchin saw many of the experts silently leaving this place, moving deeper into the hall. However, there were no shouts of confusion or excitement like before, but apparently, the experts here discovered something. Ken Winchin's silhouette flickered as he also moved to where the experts were. Very swiftly, a gigantic statue appeared before him. His expression froze as his sight remained fixed on the thing everyone was staring at. Chapter 912 Oracular Chant of the Great Tao Translator, Lord Bluefire Editor, Lord Bluefire Before Ken Winchin, was a bunch of blood-colored runes on the statue that seemed to be formed from sentient blood. The blood runes thrummed, directly piercing into the eyes of those who looked at it. And at the instant Ken Winchin turned his gaze onto the runes, a blood-colored beam of light directly shot into his mind manifesting a crimson-colored silhouette that exuded an ancient aura which caused a blood rune to be imprinted within. At this moment, Ken Winchin's heart trembled violently. He closed his eyes and could faintly sense that he was in an illusory space where that blurry crimson figure was imparting a chant to him. Every word of this chant was directly branded on the blood rune in his mind, but the words were extremely difficult to understand so difficult to the extent where it seemed almost impossible to comprehend the meaning behind them. Imprint. An ancient word imprinted itself, ringing out with the voice of the great Tao. Ken Winchin felt his heart trembling again as everything else in his mind vanished. Staring at the blood rune, he was seized by a sense of unfathomability, there were traces of the great Tao within. Is this something left behind by ancient Emperor Yi? Ken Winchin mused. Not only him, everyone who saw the blood runes managed to acquire the oracular chant. However, when they opened their eyes, there was only confusion within. The words of the chant to them were like a celestial book, unfathomable and immeasurable, they weren't qualified to understand it. Xiao and Ayu and Zhuan Xing both also stood there and received that oracular chant. Their eyes stared at the blood runes before them but there was only a blankness in their minds. This feeling was too marvelous, it felt like they received the logic of a great Tao but they still had no way to comprehend it. Not only that, the words of the chant seemed to be slipping one by one from their mind, they couldn't catch hold of it. They are vanishing, what's going on? At this moment, a genius exclaimed in surprise, staring in shock at the blood runes ahead. The oracular chant in his mind turned blurry, and swiftly after, they faded away completely. When he turned his gaze onto the blood runes ahead once again, there was no more oracular chant being branded into his mind. There seemed to be only a single chance. The other geniuses quickly sat down cross-legged and started to comprehend the chant, wanting to retain the words, not allowing them to vanish. There was a high possibility that this chant was left behind by the ancient emperor. If it vanished like that, it would truly be a pity. Let's hope they would be able to comprehend some powerful might from this. Ken Winchin similarly found a location and sat down cross-legged. His eyes closed, that blood rune imprinted in his mind shuddered. His body trembled too in resonance as rumbling sounds rang out. 
his demon bloodline was frenziedly circulating and the particles of divine energy compressed in his Yuan Fu were all thrumming. In fact, even the mysterious white candle flame of his second bloodline was now flickering under the power of that ancient rune, undergoing transformations. What a powerful chant! Qian Wenchen's heart trembled unceasingly. He discovered that despite the overwhelming strength of his body, he gradually had no way to endure the circulation of this art. This is so difficult to comprehend. The great Tao is formless, is this the oracular chant for God's hand? Qian Wenchen silently mused as he sank deep into his comprehension. The secret art of Emperor Yi was lost in time. After him, no one else had cultivated the God's hand and nobody knew how it should be cultivated. Just like that oracular chant of the great Tao, it was possible that ancient Emperor Yi left this behind. And hence, it's also possible that this was the oracular chant of the lost secret art. The geniuses present all received the oracular chant and they swiftly started to cultivate. However not too long later, many of the geniuses opened their eyes with unsightly expressions on their faces. The oracular chant in their minds gradually disappeared without a trace. It was like a formless great Tao that had never even existed in the first place. Ancient Emperor Yi, what have you left behind exactly? Some of them stared at the statue and asked. After that, quite a few of the geniuses walked into the interior of the statue, as though searching to see if there are still any other good fortune to be acquired here. Sadly, they only saw incomparably complex divine inscriptions that were incomprehensible by all. For many of the descendants of immortal emperors, they felt that the oracular chant was too mighty. In fact, the moment the chant appeared, a rumbling sound could be heard from their bodies as though great transformations were occurring within. It felt like the brand in them grew heavier but as time flowed by, the brand gradually grew lighter and lighter before disappearing altogether. How can this be possible? Some geniuses opened their eyes staring at the desolate ancient hall in the emperor palace. Other than the gigantic statue, the ground and the surrounding were all cracked and destroyed. Was this the emperor palace they wanted to enter right from the start? They risked their lives just for this place? There was completely nothing here. Until much later, Xuanxing and Xiaolin Ayu opened their eyes. Their countenances were extremely unsightly and this was especially so for Zhuang Crossing he could naturally sense the profoundness of the chant. There was a high possibility that the blood rune imparted to them was the oracular chant of ancient Emperor Yi's God's hand. However regretfully, he couldn't comprehend anything from it. Standing up, Zhuangxing glanced at the Emperor Palace. The only thing of value was the gigantic statue within it. Isn't this just a torn and tattered place? What qualifications does it have to make an immortal emperor engrave those words on the monument we saw earlier? All this is nothing but a lie. Xuanxing angrily spat. They were trapped inside that underground palace for so long and in the end, they achieved nothing. His silhouette flickered as Xuanxing exited the emperor palace. Nobody dared to stop him if he wanted to leave. At the moment when Xuanxing pushed the doors open, a tempest gushed forth. The ancient passageway which they used to enter suddenly lit up as all of the boundless runic diagrams hidden within were completely wiped out in an instant. Right now at the outside world, there were still many geniuses gathered there including people of the Twin Stars Alliance and the Xiao sect. Up till today, nobody knew if Xuanxing and Xiao and Ayu were still alive. But at this moment, a beam of light shot out and as the runic diagrams were wiped away, the doors of the Emperor Palace opened with a figure standing there. That was none other than Zhuan Crossing. Zhuangxing is fine, he actually managed to enter the Emperor Palace. As expected, Zhuangxing is an outstanding genius. As part of the Twin Stars, and as a son of the Zhuan Emperor, he truly accomplished it and managed to step into the Emperor Palace. Let's go and take a look there. I wonder if there is still any good fortune around for us. The experts all sped over in the direction of the Emperor Palace rapidly, while feeling on their hearts at how awesome Zhuangxing was. Zi Qingxuan and Jun Mingchen were among the crowd as well. There were many experts around them and there was even one who was considered one of the strongest in the Xiao sect that was ranked number 20 on the Immortal Ascension rankings, by the name of Greed Wolf. 
he turned to the direction of the Emperor Palace, as his expression flickered when he saw Zhuang crossing he then continued in a low voice, you two best pray that nothing happened to Lin Ayu. After that, his silhouette flickered as he sped towards the Emperor Palace ahead. Little Rascal in the embrace of Zi King Suan also rushed out. Zi King Suan and Jun Ming Jin followed closely behind it. Seeing how excited Little Rascal was, Ken Wen Chin should be fine as well and there's a possibility that he's just in the Emperor Palace ahead. An instant later, the experts present all entered the Emperor Palace. All of them were stunned when they saw the statue. Members of the Twin Stars Alliance gathered over to Zhuangqing while those of the Xiao sect gathered around Xiao Lin Ayu. As for the other geniuses who went to the underground palace, they were currently observing this underground temple. In just a short instant, the Emperor Palace was flooded with people and swiftly after, all of them discovered the blood wounds behind the statue. Their hearts trembled and upon knowing that it could be an inheritance by an ancient emperor, all of them swiftly tried to comprehend it. Little Rascal directly lunged towards Ken Wenchen. But when it noticed Ken Wenchen was cultivating, it could only lie quietly by his side, waiting for him to wake up. Senior Brother Jun Mengchen and Zi King Suan also came. However, they didn't disturb Ken Wenchen who was cultivating. Lin Ayu, are you all right? Greed Wolf walked towards Xiao Lin Ayu. Even as a rank number 20 expert on the Immortal Ascension rankings, Greed Wolf was still willing to follow Xiao Lin Ayu and join the Xiao sect. Everyone was naturally clear that he wished to pursue Xiao Lin Ayu. I'm fine, it's only because I was trapped there for half a year. Although it's shocking, there was no danger. Xiao Lin Ayu furrowed her brows. There wasn't any benefits at all despite them wasting half a year there. This made her extremely uncomfortable, what a waste of time. Seeing how low Xiao Lin Ayu's emotions were, Greed Wolf turned his gaze in the direction of Jun Mengchen, staring at Ken Wenchen who was sitting cross-legged. A coldness flickered in his eyes, Lin Ayu, I heard that you were persuaded to enter this place because of a newbie who joined our Xiao sect. How could you trust him so easily? At this moment, it was as though Ken Wenchen could sense they were talking about him. His eyes slowly opened, and just so coincidentally, he was looking straight at the coldness and greed wolf's eyes. A frown involuntarily appeared on his face when he saw that. Senior brother, the people of the Xiao sect have never treated us as friends. After you and Xiao Lin Ayu disappeared, we were instantly placed under observation by the Xiao sect. This greed wolf even said it if something happened to Xiao Lin Ayu, both me and senior sister King Xuan would have to die. Jun Mengchen felt anger boiling his heart as he transmitted his voice to Ken Wenchen. An icy light flickered in Ken Wenchen's eyes. Although it was he who brought Xiao Lin Ayu into the underground palace, if it wasn't for Xiao Lin Ayu doing so out of her own will, willing to take the risk, who could force her? It was fine if she vented her anger on him alone if there's danger. But implicating his junior brother and sister? This made him feel extremely pissed off in his heart. Ming Chen, find a chance and we will sever ties with the Xiao sect. Qian Wenchen transmitted his voice. Jun Ming Chen nodded lightly, he had no sense of belonging to the Xiao sect at all. Although Xiao Lin Ayu was beautiful, she was too scheming. The people beside her were all male geniuses and there was no doubt she was using them, albeit the fact that they were willing to be used. Now. Isn't it about time to tell us the truth about what you really acquired back at the underground palace? At this moment, Zhuangxing turned his gaze over to Ken Wenchen as a group of people moved towards him, radiating cold intent. They weren't willing to give up. As the sound of Zhuangxing's voice faded away, many of the geniuses who were in the underground palace all turned their gazes onto Ken Wenchen. The unbreakable mystery of the underground palace was actually unraveled by Ken Wenchen. Right now, everyone was still suspicious. They were suspicious that he had acquired something else rather than the map he said. Chapter 913, Not Trusting Translator, Lord Bluefire Editor, Lord Bluefire Ken Wenchen coldly glanced at Zhuan Crossing No matter what I obtained, that thing is already mine. What do you want to do? Now, Ken Wenchen already couldn't be bothered to explain anything. No matter how he explained, these people would never believe him. 
they would only believe in what they wanted to believe. Zhuangxing moved forward with a smile, if you are smart, you better hand over that thing. I might consider sparing you after that. Several geniuses of the Twin Stars Alliance followed behind Zhuangxing, all of them blasted out their auras, wanting to pressure Ken Wenchen. Jun Mengjin and Zi Kingsuan both radiated coldness upon seeing this. After they entered the city of ancient emperors, they had run into too many of such situations. If they knew the situation here would be like this, they would rather wait until their cultivation base reached either the 8th or 9th level before entering this place. At that time, these people would understand how powerful disciples of the heavenly talismans realm are allowing them to know that even if one was not a descendant of an immortal king or emperor, they could still sweep over all others in their generation unchallenged. Zhuangxing what are you trying to do? At this moment, Xiao Lin Ayu brought her men over upon noting what happened. Similarly, many experts followed behind her, and seemed ready to clash against the Twin Stars Alliance any time. Xiao Lin Ayu, if he doesn't provide an explanation for that thing, this won't be settled so easily. Zhuangxing glanced over as he spoke. Oh? He's someone from my Xiao sect. No matter what he obtained, that is a good fortune that belongs to him. Zhuangxing, what qualifications do you have to take it away? If you really want to touch him, my Xiao sect has no fear of your twin stars alliance. I don't mind warring. Xiao and Ayu coldly spoke causing some puzzlement to those geniuses that didn't go into the underground palace. Was Xiao and Ayu really willing to war against the Twin Stars Alliance for Ken Wenchen? Nervousness filled the air, the atmosphere was in a state of mutual hostility. Your Xiao sect is really willing to war against my Twin Stars Alliance for the sake of him? Zhuangsheng spoke in a heavy tone. Yes. Xiao and Ayu replied with no hesitation. Very good. Zhuangxing laughed maniacally. He stared at Ken Wenchen, Brat you are very lucky today. However, since you're in the city of ancient emperors, I have no fear that you can run away. I want to see how long the Xiao sect can protect you. Let's leave. Zhuangxing barked. As the sound of his voice faded, he waved his hands as the members of his sect departed together with him. Ken Wenchen's eyes stared at Zhuangxing's back. His countenance was ice cold. He was actually already prepared to battle but because of Xiao Lin Ayu's interference, Ken Wenchen controlled his emotions as his anger faded. The others would gradually forget the words of the oracular chant but Ken Wenchen was different. He felt that given time, he would manage to comprehend it. During his cultivation earlier, Ken Wenchen felt a marvelous sensation. The sound of a great Tao drifted in his mind and there was no doubt that this oracular chant was left behind by ancient Emperor Yi, and was something that could be used to trigger the god's hand. However, this was only the basic primer to the secret art. But even so, Ken Wenchen already felt this basic primer was incomparably profound. If he could succeed in comprehending it, his combat prowess would undergo a meteor cries, jumping to another level. It wouldn't be too late to fight Zhuangxing after that. Now, it would be better to endure first. The geniuses here were as common as clouds, with descendants of immortal kings and emperors everywhere. But eventually, he had faith that he would still be able to display his own brilliance. A few years later, no one in the city of ancient emperors would dare to treat him this way. All of them would finally know what sort of character Ken Wenchen is. Many thanks. Ken Wenchen smiled at Xiao Lin Ayu. It's what I should do. Xiao Lin Ayu smiled back. Since we are both from the Xiao sect, we should share misfortune and fortune together. Sharing misfortune, and fortune together? Ken Wenchen laughed in his heart. However he didn't say anything. Let's go. We will return to the Xiao sect together. For those who still wish to comprehend this, they can continue to remain here. Xiao and Ayu was a little disappointed with regards to this trip. They wasted half a year, trapped inside the underground palace. It was with so much difficulty that they finally exited and arrived at the true ancient palace. However, she didn't manage to comprehend anything at all. To Xiao and Ayu, this was a great failure. This place served no other purpose for her. As for the complex runic inscriptions in the palace, she couldn't understand them and hence, 
she might just as well depart this place. Qian Wenxin, do you still want to stay here to try and comprehend it further? Xiao and I you asked. Nope, this chant is too profound. There's currently no way for me to comprehend it. Qian Wenxin laughed. He stood up, Zi Qingxuan and Jun Mingchen glanced at him only to hear Qian Wenxin stating, there's an opportunity to receive an oracular chant in the ancient palace, both of you can go and try it. However, don't have too much hope to comprehend it. Okay. Zi Qingxuan and Jun Mingchen nodded as they walked towards the statue. Qian Wenxin and Xiaolin Ayu walked outside. More and more experts gathered here to head to the ancient palace. And not far away, a figure exuding magnificence, with a flawlessly beautiful countenance that was in no way inferior to Xiao Lin Ayu, appeared. The elegance of this woman seemed even a level higher in comparison. This young woman had a phoenix gown on, her aura was cool and elegant. With a perfectly exquisite figure, jade like skin that was fair as snow, the expression on her face was like 10,000 year old eyes. Upon noting the appearance of this woman, Xiao Lin Ayu halted her steps. However, this woman didn't seem to have noticed Xiao Lin Ayu and directly walked past her. She was so cold and beautiful that none dared to match her gaze. Several people focused their attention onto this woman, as admiration arose in their hearts. Given that these people were descendants of immortal kings and emperors, ordinary females would never be able to catch their attention. However, this woman before them gave them a feeling that she was at a height that was unreachable to them. If one could marry her, that lucky person would be able to bask in boundless glory, becoming the target of envy for everyone in the city of ancient emperors. This woman similarly walked past Ken Wenchen. A unique core permeated the air, penetrating deeply into his heart. This woman is extraordinary. Her presence was able to cause Xiao Lin Ayu to halt. There's no doubt then, it should be her. Qian Wenchen mused. There were three females who were the most outstanding in this place. One of them was Xiao Lin Ayu, the second of them was the one he was searching for, Kinger. And lastly, the female with the highest ranking, number three on the Immortal Ascension rankings, Nan Feng Yangtze of the Southern Phoenix Clan. Xiao Lin Ayu halted her steps but when she saw Nan Feng Yangtze didn't even glance at her, she couldn't help but feel extremely unhappy. Lifting her feet, she continued on her way and departed the area, returning to the Xiao sect. A group of people soared through the air with great speed. Right now, a figure appeared beside Ken Wenshin, it was none other than an expert of the Xiao sect, by the name of Li Yu. Li Yu is also a ranker on the Immortal Ascension rankings and right now, he nodded with gratitude to Ken Wenshin as he spoke, many thanks. Ken Wenshin's expression froze for a moment. He inclined his head and glanced at Li Yu. He naturally understood the origin of the word thanks when spoken by Li Yu. After leading everyone out from the underground palace until now, Li Yu was the first to thank him. Smiling back at Li Yu, Ken Wenchen nodded in response. After returning to the Xiao sect, the geniuses all separated respectively. Ken Wenchen also returned to his courtyard and continued with his comprehensions in the cultivation ground. However, even before he started, his eyes opened as he spoke, you can enter. Sounds of footsteps echoed from outside his courtyard as the beautiful figure of Xiao Lin Ayu appeared. Xiao Lin Ayu changed into an azure-colored long dress, and was incredibly beautiful, looking somewhat like a teenager, filled with vivaciousness. She flashed a charming smile at Ken Wenchen, what? Working so hard so soon after we returned? My cultivation base is too low, resulting in me being threatened by people more often than I like. Naturally, I would have to work harder. Ken Wenchen smiled. He was naturally referring to the things that happened in the underground palace. You don't have to be bothered by that so much. Since you've already joined the Xiao sect, I naturally will take care of you. In any case, I already see you as a friend. Xiao and I you smiled. Her graceful and lithe figure made Ken Wenchen praise silently in his heart. Xiao and Ayu was truly a supreme beauty. Being able to have such a supreme beauty as a friend, I'm sure everyone would be envious of me. Ken Wenchen laughed. He only saw Xiao and Ayu moving closer and closer to him. At such a near distance with a supreme beauty like her, 
It was enough to cause the heart of any man to beat faster. Your talent is outstanding, as well as your attainments and in divine inscriptions. You would surely have extraordinary accomplishments in the future. There's no doubt you will be ranked within the top 100 of the Immortal Ascension rankings or even higher than that. Xiao and Ayu sweetly smiled as she continued, Your comprehension ability is monstrous as well. At that ancient palace, all of us gradually forgot the oracular chant imparted to us by the blood runes. You're the only one who is still trying to comprehend that. Have you had any discoveries? This oracular chant is extraordinary, and it's truly very difficult to comprehend it. Ken Wenchen nodded. Right now, he was very clear of Xiao Lin Ayu's intent. This should be the main purpose of why she came here. This oracular chant, does it have a connection with the lost secret art of ancient Emperor Yi? Xiao Lin Ayu asked. Maybe. Ken Wenchen didn't deny anything. Among all the geniuses, you're the only one who can comprehend it. It should be because of that bout of good fortune you acquired back in the underground palace. Also, you were the one who unraveled the mystery there, opening an exit for us all. That item you acquired should be the key to comprehending the oracular chant right? Xiao and I use beautiful eyes stared straight into Ken Wenchen's. MHM. Ken Wenchen continued nodding his head, not bothering to say anything else. A dazzling light flickered in Xiao Lin Ayu's eyes, her ruby red lips parted slightly. This appearance was extremely mesmerizing. She leaned over towards Ken Wenchen and gently spoke, Wenchen, can you teach me? This was the secret art of an ancient emperor which had been lost throughout history. Xiao Lin Ayu didn't mind using her beauty to obtain it. But how could Ken Wenchen not see through her? He shook his head, sect leader, you are right. This oracular chant does have a connection with the underground palace. However, the point of connection is through understanding the divine inscriptions. It's precisely because I've comprehended the divine inscriptions back then. That's the only reason why I can faintly sense the power of the chant, gaining a trace of insight. But despite so, I have not managed to comprehend it fully. Just like what you said, because I was the one who unraveled the mystery of the underground palace, I already gained an innate understanding of the runic diagrams there. Other than me, no one else would be able to gain the slightest comprehension regarding the oracular chant. Hence, I have no way to teach you. Xiao Lin Ayu's expressions drastically changed when she heard Ken Wenshin's words. However, she instantly reverted back to normal with a smile on her face. There's only the two of us here, why must you still keep things from me? What did you obtain exactly in the underground palace? Upon hearing these words, Ken Wenshin's last trace of hope towards Xiao Lin Ayu's character completely shattered. She has already questioned him many times and Ken Wenshin had told her honestly that what he acquired was truly a map. Now that she was asking again, it was clear that she was the same as Zhuan Crossing she had never trusted him. If I said I didn't acquire anything other than the map, would you believe me? Ken Wenchin stared at the beautiful eyes of Xiao Lin Ayu. With his reply, he saw the smile in Xiao Lin Ayu's eyes vanishing bit by bit. Chapter 914, Final Deadline Translator, Lord Bluefire Editor, Lord Bluefire By asking that question, Xiao Lin Ayu has already proven that she didn't trust Ken Wenchin ever since the start. Hence, Ken Wenshin didn't directly reply but chose to rebut with a, if I said I didn't acquire anything other than the map, would you believe me? He knew that it was evident Xiao Lin Ayu wouldn't believe him. In that case, no matter how he tried to explain, the ending was already destined. Staring at the change in Xiao Lin Ayu's expression, Ken Wenshin's heart was filled with coldness. These geniuses were all very intelligent, but they were too clever by half. Xiao Lin Ayu managed to guess that the reason he could comprehend the chant was because of the underground palace. And from that, she assumed further and was certain that he obtained a treasure or something of that sort. Because regardless of her or Zhuangcheng, they didn't believe Ken Wenshin had a talent that exceeded any of them. Based on what qualifications could he comprehend the secret of the chant? Even accomplishing something that immortal kings failed to do? Ken Wenshin, have I not treated you well? Xiao and I you asked. The smile on her face had already turned cold. On what matters are you referring to? 
Qian Wenchen's tone also grew colder upon noticing the change in Xiaolin Yu's attitude. When you were surrounded by Ji Lanshan and the God Extermination Palace, it was I who brought you to the Xiao sect, forcing Ji Lanshan to voluntarily retreat, no longer daring to find trouble for you and your companions. You brought me into the forbidden ground that was the underground palace. Many of the others felt anger and vengeance towards you but I have never blamed and even protected you on so many occasions. Even when Zhuang Xing wanted to deal with you, I obstructed him. Could it be that after I have done so many things, it's still not enough? Xiao and I you asked. Firstly as for the matter with Ji Lanjin, you should have seen it as well since you were there. He couldn't do anything to me at all. Even if I didn't join your Xiao sect. I had no fear of Ji Lanjin. You wanting me to join was because of my expertise with divine inscriptions and as for the matter of me bringing you to the underground palace, was this not requested by you? Even immortal kings died in there, but I led you out only using half a year's worth of time. Not only did I find the exit, I even led all of you to the actual emperor palace. Qian Wenchen's eyes turned sharp as he slowly replied, he then continued. But in the ancient palace, because you didn't obtain anything, hence you said these words? If you managed to acquire the ancient inheritance or some treasures, would you still say these words? If before we even entered that place, if there was someone who told you that I can lead you through the passageway in half a year, would you have rejected the notion and chose not to enter? Most probably you would be filled with thankful gratitude, rushing to request my help. If you had obtained benefits in there, it would all be due to your wisdom and foresight. But if there were no benefits, you would push everything on to I, Ken Wenchen? Is this the sect leader of the Xiao sect's true character? Ken Wenchen's words were filled with frost. He then continued, as for Zhuangcheng, the purpose of him wanting to deal with me. I wonder, are there any differences between him and you at all? Xiao and I you stared at Ken Wenchen. After which, she only smiled and stood up. Qian Wenchen, very well. I will give you some more time. You best consider properly. After speaking, she flicked her sleeves and directly departed the area. Qian Wenchen stared as Xiao and Ayu left. There was no change to his expression. His eyes then slowly closed as he continued his cultivation, trying to comprehend that incomparably mysterious force of the oracular chant. In the city of ancient emperors, it was of paramount importance to increase one's strength as quickly as possible. Silence was in the courtyard, there were no distractions at all until Zi Kingsuan and Jun Mengjin came by to look for him. Senior brother, they are monitoring us. Jun Mengjin's voice was filled with rage. It's normal. Qian Wenchen laughed. In the next few days, I intend to undergo one more round of closed door seclusion. I will cultivate in this courtyard, and you guys should also work hard to cultivate as well. Before the Xiao sect truly acts to deal with us, just allow them to monitor, don't clash with them yet. Jun Mengjin stiffened, are we not leaving the Xiao sect directly? No, leaving the Xiao sect is already no longer something we can decide. Xiao and Ayu believes that I acquired something she wants, an inheritance of the ancient emperors. But in truth, the oracular chant needs oneself to comprehend it. She failed to do so and believed that I used some other treasure to achieve the effect. There's no way for me to explain at all. Hence just allow them to monitor us for now as they wish to. Since my movements are restricted, I might as well go into seclusion. Ken Wenchen smiled, as for you both, I believe the restriction on your movements wouldn't be as strict. As long as I don't leave here, they wouldn't go too far. However, I have no idea when they would really act against us. I understand. We will endure this for now as long as possible until they make a move against us. We won't clash with them and will try to drag out more time as much as possible to increase our strength. Jun Mengjin spoke. Yeah. Mengjin, I will have to trouble you to endure for now. Your character is impulsive but we have no choice but to endure for now in the city of ancient emperors. Qian Wenchen stated. Don't worry senior brother. I understand. We can only blame our strength for not being strong enough. If we were at the ninth level of celestial phenomenon, how could we stand for this? We can just simply fight them. 
Jun Mingchen angrily stated. Okay, let's go and cultivate. Zi Qingxuan could understand the pressure on Ken Wenshin to raise his strength. She was very clear on what personality Ken Wenshin has. If he was truly enraged, he would dare to do anything and an example was just how he showed his arrogance in front of the Eastern Sage Immortal Emperor. However, he could also endure what ordinary people couldn't. What he desperately needed now was time. MHM, Senior Brother. You have to cultivate heart as well. Jun Mengchen and Zi Kingsuan left the area. Qin Wenshin drew in a deep breath and sank into a state of concentration. Half a month later, Xiaolin Ayu came by to look for Qin Wenshin again. This time, she just asked directly, Have you considered it? Qin Wenshin stared at Xiaolin Ayu as he shook his head. I've already told you. If you want to cultivate the oracular chant imparted by the blood runes, you first have to comprehend the divine inscriptions of the underground palace. However, it is impossible for you. Even if I wish to teach you, it's impossible too. Why must you assume I acquired a treasure to aid me in cultivating that? Xiao and Ayu frowned, as she coldly spoke. Qin Wenshin, I've already given you sufficient face. Many thanks. Qin Wenshin smiled. Xiao and Ayu didn't say anything and directly left, leaving behind only a glare filled with ice. In the next few months, Xiao and Ayu came by several times. She was extremely direct and her attitude was colder and colder compared to the previous times. Xiao and Ayu also discovered that Ken Wenshin could be extremely patient. He didn't say he wanted to leave the Xiao sect either and was content to simply sit quietly in his courtyard to cultivate as though nothing had happened at all. As for Ken Wenshin's two companions, they would either cultivate in the Xiao sect or temper themselves by roaming the city of ancient emperors. Her Xiao sex experts were monitoring them closely and there were no signs that they wanted to run away. It felt like Ken Wenshin was more than willing to let the current status quo continue on and on. It could be considered that Ken Wenshin wasn't a fool. He knew that if he forcibly said he wanted to leave the Xiao sect, it would basically be an impossible thing. That would only serve to fuel her anger further. Finally, Xiao Lin Ayu's patience reached its limit. Today, many experts of the Xiao sect came to the courtyard which Ken Wenshin was residing in and barged in directly. However, Xiao Lin Ayu wasn't present today. The one in the lead was the second strongest expert in the Xiao sect, Greed Wolf. This group of people exuded their terrifying aura, causing the pressure they emitted to bore down on Qin Wenchen. Especially so for Greed Wolf, his eyes were ice cold, filled with killing intent. Qin Wenchen opened his eyes and stared at Greed Wolf, only to hear Greed Wolf coldly speaking, Qin Wenchen, you brought Lin Ayu into the underground palace and was trapped there for half a year. In there, Lin Ayu still protected you to the best of her abilities and if it wasn't for that, you would have fallen to Xuanxing long ago. In addition, the people of Twin Stars Alliance often come by to make trouble, demanding that we hand you over but Lin Ayu has never done so. Lin Ayu is too kind, she's able to tolerate you time and time again but I can't be bothered to waste time with you. Within seven days, if you don't hand over the secret art, I will expel you from the Xiao sect. If you are no longer someone of our Xiao sect, don't blame us for being impolite to you. Greed Wolf blasted out his palm as a huge rock at the courtyard exploded to pieces. Let's leave. Greed Wolf waved his hand. The other experts of the Xiao sect stomped the ground, causing waves of destruction to wreck the ground. They coldly stared at Ken Wenshin before leaving together. After Greed Wolf and company left, Jun Mengchen and Zi Kingsuan came over. Upon seeing Qin Wenshin sitting there, Jun Mengchen spoke, Senior brother, they have truly gone too far. Qin Wenshin's countenance was calm. He glanced at Jun Mengchen as he smiled, Seven days? Let's just endure a little more and we will leave the Xiao sect. Okay senior brother. I will accompany you and cultivate here. Jun Mengchen nodded. Qin Wenshin felt a warmth in his heart. He smiled and nodded to Jun Mengchen. Zi King Suan also chose to stay here, the three of them choosing to cultivate on the broken ground. Five days later, a savage aura permeated the air, terrifying to the extreme. Qin Wenchen and Zi King Suan stood to the side, 
watching as boundless astral light gushed out from Jun Mengjin. His constellation appeared as rumbling sounds echoed from his body, exuding an ancient air of grandeur akin to a primordial desolate beast. The rumbling sounds echoed endlessly, drifting through the air. To think that Mengjin has already caught up with us. I'm really happy for him. A smile appeared in Qin Wenchen's eyes. He was very happy, this is probably the only thing during this period of time that could make him feel this way. MHM, Z King Suen smiled with a nod of her head. After that, she glanced at Qin Wenchen and couldn't help but feel a sense of inferiority in her heart. The first time they met, her cultivation base was the highest. Right now, both Ken Wenchen and Jun Mingchen had reached the same level as her but in terms of combat prowess, she was actually the weakest among them now. The two of them beside her were geniuses at the peak. Standing beside them, her luster would only dim. Swishing sounds rang out as several experts of the Xiao sect glanced in this direction only to see Jun Mingchen achieving a breakthrough. Many of the experts had their arms crossed in front of their chests as a cold smile adorned their lips. After breaking through, he was merely at the seventh level of celestial phenomenon. In the Xiao sect, such a low cultivation base amounted for nothing. There's still two more days for you to consider. You better know what's good for you. An expert of the Xiao sect glanced over and spoke. In the middle of the crowd, Li Yu stood there silently, observing everything. He also saw Xiao Lin Yu who was some distance away, but there was only a look of waning enthusiasm in his eyes. Li Yu then turned and moved towards Xiao Lin Yu as he called out, Lin Yu. What's the matter? Xiao Lin Yu asked as she stared at Li Yu. I've accompanied you for a long time in the Xiao sect, and I was happy doing so. However now, I wish to try my luck and roam the city of ancient emperors alone. From now on, I have nothing to do with the Xiao sect. Take care. Li Yu spoke, his words causing Xiao Lin Yu's countenance to change. She hurriedly added, Li Yu, the Xiao sect needs you. The Xiao sect is one of the top three powers here in the city of ancient emperors. Also, you are the number six ranker on the immortal ascension rankings. With me or without me, there's no difference. Farewell. Li Yu bowed slightly before his silhouette flashed as he directly departed. Xiao and I Yu stared at Li Yu's silhouette, as an unnational expression appeared on her face. Li Yu choosing to leave the Xiao sect now, was it because he was unhappy with her? Chapter 915, Making a Move Translator, Lord Bluefire Editor, Lord Bluefire Li Yu's departure naturally caused Xiao Lin Yu's mood to worsen. Although the Xiao sect was powerful, the reason was because she managed to gather many of the experts in the city of ancient emperors. Li Yu, as a ranker in the top hundred of the Immortal Ascension rankings, he alone was sufficient to establish a power. However, he chose to follow her. He is someone of extreme importance, and only because of people of his strength following her, did the Xiao sect became so powerful today. But, Li Yu actually chose to leave now. From Li Yu's eyes, Xiao and Yu could see a hint of disappointment. She could be considered as someone who understood Li Yu's character. Li Yu was an optimistic and cheerful individual. He was someone who valued justice and the reason why he joined the Xiao sect was purely because he wanted to pursue her. But now, evidently, her beauty could no longer affect him. Xiao and Ayu was an intelligent person, she had only done one thing recently and that was to target Ken Wenchen. Li Yu might feel unhappy because of this and hence, he chose to leave. However, Xiao and Ayu didn't think that she was wrong. She had to get the inheritance of ancient Emperor Yi no matter what. If she managed to learn the secret art God's hand, it's not merely a temporary boost in her power. In all her life, a combat prowess would be a level higher compared to those on the same level, forever a step ahead of others. At this moment in the cultivation ground of Qin Wenchen's courtyard, Jun Mengchen opened his eyes as gleams of sharpness flickered within. Qin Wenchen smiled at his junior brother, Mengchen. Congratulations. Jun Mengjin sprang to his feet, he just finished consolidating his foundation. Still not enough, only at the seventh level of celestial phenomenon. Take things step by step, cultivation isn't something you can rush. Right now, 
The three of us are finally at the same level. Ken Winchin smiled. After which, he continued, let's go for a walk to relax. Go out for a walk to relax? Z King Suen and Jun Ming Jin turned to Ken Winchin. There's two more days regarding the deadline given to them by the Xiao sect. Right now, Ken Winchin wanted to go for a walk to relax? Most probably, it wouldn't be that simple. It's time to leave. Ken Winchin transmitted his voice to the two of them. They didn't say anything, only mutually exchanging a glance while nodding silently in their hearts. Let's go. Ken Winchin turned and soared into the air. But at this moment, experts of the Xiao sect appeared before him, blocking his way. Where are you going? Ken Winchin frowned, what's the matter? I don't even have freedom after joining the Xiao sect? Can't I go out for a walk? There's only two more days to the deadline. It won't be too late for you to go then. That person snorted coldly. Many experts of the Xiao sect were now in the air, obstructing their way. But I feel like going out now. If the Xiao sect chooses to restrict my freedom, there's no need to consider any more at all. I shall announce that we are now leaving the Xiao sect. Ken Wenchen coldly spoke. That expert initially still wanted to say something but he only heard Xiaolin Ayu interjecting, let him go out for his walk. Xiaolin Ayu slowly moved forward. The gazes of everyone were all on her. Ken Wenchen, there's no problem if you wish to go out for a walk. However, you best think carefully about this, people of the Twin Stars Alliance are all out searching for you. If Wen Sheng captured you, he wouldn't treat you as nicely as I did. That's my own matter. There's no need for sect leader to be concerned about it. Ken Wenchen replied. Sure then, you can leave. Xiao and Ayu smiled coldly. Ken Wenchen and his companions soared through the air while the experts of the Xiao sect remained in their original position, coldly staring after them. At the moment Ken Wenchen exited the boundary of the sect, Xiao and Ayu's silhouette flickered as she followed after. The other experts also all followed behind her respectively. I knew it wouldn't be so simple. Jun Mingchen coldly laughed when he sensed the presence of the Xiao sect behind them. Xiao and Ayu came, and so did Greedwolf. Greedwolf is an expert ranked number 20 on the Immortal Ascension rankings, and he's Xiao and Ayu's most trusted subordinate in the Xiao sect. Z King Suen spoke in a low voice. There were plenty of experts in this group that was currently following them. Wait till I reach the ninth level of celestial phenomenon. The first person I slay will definitely be this Greed Wolf. Before this, when Senior Brother was in the underground palace, Greed Wolf was extremely rude to us, monitoring our every action and even threatening us with death every day. Jun Mingchen spoke with dissatisfaction. He wasn't in any hurry. Although Greed Wolf was at the ninth level, there were too many people stuck on this level, unable to breach the barrier to immortality. It wasn't so easy to be able to establish an immortal foundation. Many geniuses at the ninth level of celestial phenomenon were all stuck here for several hundreds of years. In fact, for those with weaker talents, they wouldn't even be able to cross this gap for all eternity. But in this case, there wouldn't be many of such people in the city of ancient emperors as almost everyone here were geniuses at the absolute peak. Ken Wenchen and his companion's speed was extremely fast. But how could the Xiao sect be slower than them? They followed the three of them very closely, it was basically impossible to shake them off their tails. The other experts in the city of ancient emperors all had expressions of interest on their faces when they saw this. Xiao and Ayu one of the top three supreme beauties of the city of ancient emperors, was actually leading her men to pursue three people. They couldn't help but to wonder what was the identity of the three of them which Xiao and Ayu was chasing. I heard that guy is Ken Wenchen. Recently, he's quite famous as well. Even Xuanxing of the Twin Stars Alliance wanted to hunt him. It's rumored that back then the reason why they could all enter the ancient emperor palace, was precisely because of this Ken Wenchen's efforts. Someone in the crowd started to share the info that he knew with the others. Evidently, Ken Wenchen was gaining fame in the city of ancient emperors. There were countless geniuses here in this place. More and more people below were spectating this scene. However at this moment, Ken Wenchen and his companions stopped abruptly and didn't continue moving forward. 
Xiao and Ayu and her followers stopped as well, studying the situation ahead. MHM? At this moment, Xiao and Ayu noticed a group of figures ahead. An expression of interest appeared in her eyes, these figures were all very familiar to her. This group, was none other than experts of the God Extermination Palace which Ken Wenshin had a conflict with earlier. Ji Lanshan and his followers were all present. And indeed, the paths of enemies were extremely narrow, there was bound to be an inevitable clash between two opposing factions. Ji Lanshan stood in the air, his cold eyes sweeping over at Ken Wenshin and his companions as a cold smile adorned his lips. Wow, such a coincidence. I heard that those of the Twin Stars Alliance are hunting for you. In addition, the Xiao sect also doesn't seem to be as protective of you as before. What does this have to do with you? Ken Wenchen asked. Surely you wouldn't have forgotten about the matters that happened between us back then so easily, right? Ji Lanshan spoke with cold arrogance. His gaze turned to Xiao Lin Ayu in the distance as he spoke, sect leader Xiao, I have a grudge to settle with this guy. The Xiao sect won't interfere in this right? Xiao Lin Ayu had a smile of frost on her face. She moved forward with her experts, sandwiching Ken Wenshin and his companions between. She then spoke, Ken Wenshin doesn't seem to be interested in the protection my Xiao sect can provide. Who would have thought that he would encounter you, Ji Lanshan, so soon after he left our premises? In that case, I wish to direct a question to Ken Wenshin. Are you agreeable to my earlier proposal? I don't understand what sect leader means by that. Ken Wenshin emotionlessly replied. Are you acting dumb? Greed Wolf shouted. The Xiao sect protected you from danger, and after obtaining benefits, you want to enjoy it alone and not share it with members of our sect? Now let me ask you this again, do you agree to Lin Ayu's proposal? What if I say no? Ken Wenshin asked. In that case, my Xiao sect shall expel the three of you from our sect. You guys are not qualified to become our members and naturally your lives and deaths would have nothing to do with us. Xiao Lin Ayu coldly spoke. It was as though she wanted to use this opportunity to deal a heavy blow to Ken Wenshin. If he continued to be so stubborn, she wanted to see how he would resolve this with so many members of the God Extermination Palace present currently. As though in response to Xiao Lin Ayu's words, the experts of the God Extermination Palace step out, directly surrounding Qin Wenshin and his companions. Ji Lanshan even unleashed his constellation in advance. However, Qin Wenshin only glanced at Xiao Lin Ayu with a cold smile on his face. What an excellent Xiao sect, using such unscrupulous methods to seize the treasures of one of your sect members. As for wanting to expel us from your sect? When have we ever been afraid of this? Very well, from now onwards I, Ken Wenshin, as well as my junior brother and sister, no longer have anything to do with your Xiao sect. Impudent! A fearsome oil gushed forth from Greed Wolf, yet he only saw Xiao Lin Ayu waving her hand casually, I want to see how long you can be arrogant for. Ken Wenshin! Ji Lanshin roared! Back then you seized the interspatial rings of members of my god extermination palace and only managed to avoid the repercussions by hiding in the Xiao sect. Have you ever thought that there would be this moment? Can you know some shame? A rank ranked merely at the number 300 plus position. You are still not qualified to talk to me in this manner. You, who is two cultivation levels higher than me, couldn't even do anything to me back then let alone now. You are nothing more than trash. You don't have the qualifications to be termed a genius in front of me. As for being a descendant of an immortal emperor? You are nothing but a joke. Ken Wenshin spoke in arrogance. Right now, he was no longer the low-profiled individual when he was in the Xiao sect. His arrogance exuded forth in waves, towering up into the skies causing the eyes of the experts here to all gleam with sharpness. What was this fellow depending on? He actually dared to be so disrespectful to experts of the Xiao sect and even wanted to go against a ranker of the immortal ascension rankings, G. Lanshan? Stop your bragging. Today, do you think that you will have time to inscribe a formation? G. Lanshan's Thousand Talisman constellation erupted forth as he circulated his Thousand Talisman immortal text, gushing forth with overwhelming power. 
there's no need for me to inscribe a divine inscription's formation. Ken Winchin coldly laughed. He stepped out, and with a wild roar, rumbling sounds echoed out as a brilliant light flashed through the skies. His entire body was circulating with layers of fiendly light, as his body expanded to the size of 10 meters, resembling a divinity of war, unexcelled in this world. Just growing bigger in size doesn't mean your combat prowess would rise. The experts of the God Extermination Palace snorted coldly. After which, all of them released their constellations respectively, pressuring Ken Winchin together. Ken Winchin unleashed his own constellation as well. Violet golden light flashed through the skies and with a stretch of his hand, boundless runic light shimmered onto his palm. In this instant, Ken Winchin's palms turned violet golden in color, emanating an unfathomable might. Ken Winchin's mouth moved as he mumbled a chant. An instant later, his entire body radiated a dazzling light, akin to undergoing a transformation. The light shimmering on his palms grew even more resplendent as though it was no longer Ken Winchin's hand but rather, a hand of the gods themselves. Xiao and Ayu froze when she saw this scene, her gaze fixed upon Ken Winchin's transformed palm. Divine light emitted from Ken Winchin, and at this moment an expert from the God Extermination Palace rushed forth, slashing out a saber strike aiming for Ken Winchin. However, Ken Winchin merely lifted and blasted out with his palm. His palm that resembled the hand of gods, directly shattered the saber light. Just a palm was sufficient to pluck down heavenly bodies, causing a terrifying rumbling sound to echo endlessly through the air. That expert who attacked earlier, felt his defenses collapsing, and as a result from the impact of the palm strike, he was injured grievously as his body was flung through the air into the horizon. God's hand isn't just a palm art, but rather, it was an auxiliary one, borrowing the principle of the secret art to ignite one's entire attacking power within any of their techniques. At this moment, Xiaolin Ayu's gaze was fixed solidly on Qin Wenshin's palm as gleams of sharpness flickered ceaselessly within. The glow of divine light continued. The power Ken Winshin exhibited was extremely terrifying and beyond doubt. Chapter 916, The Supremely Powerful God's Hand Translator, Lord Bluefire Editor, Lord Bluefire He has truly managed to cultivate it, acquiring the inheritance of ancient Emperor Yi. Xiaolin Ayu's countenance was extremely cold as she stared at Ken Winshin. Somehow, Ken Winshin actually succeeded in cultivating God's Hand this legendary secret art that had been lost through the ages. He must have obtained a treasure in the underground palace that enabled him to do so, and kept it from her. Bastard, what a crafty fellow! To think I still kept on protecting him! Xiao and Ayu grew angrier the more she thought about it as killing intent flashed through her eyes. That's the god's hand? Greedwolf who was by the side of Xiao and Ayu had a sharp expression on his face. If that was truly the secret art of ancient Emperor Yi, a fearsome tempest surely manifest. In the city of ancient emperors, the appearance of ancient Emperor Yi's palace was known by everyone. In fact, many experts stopped by and entered the palace personally, yet none of them had managed to succeed in comprehending the chant imparted by the blood runes. However right now as everyone saw Ken Wenjin unleashing God's hand, their countenances all turned incomparably solemn as they focused on Ken Winchin. It's rumored that the heaven-shaking secret art of Emperor Yi, God's Hand, was the art that allowed him to sweep through the immortal realm to unrivaled all those years ago, resulting him in unifying the immortal realms. The spectators murmured. Right now, even the experts of the God Extermination Palace and Ji Lanshan himself, all had a frozen expression on their faces. What technique is this? Ji Lanshan asked as his eyes were fixed on Qin Wenshin's shimmering palm which expanded in size. Won't you know if you try it? Qin Wenshin's palm shimmered with a terrifying violent golden glow. Astral energy unceasingly infused into it and all of a sudden, a fearsome violet gold long spear materialized within that palm. A pair of Wendrock wings took form behind Qin Wenshin's back causing him to give off a feeling that he was the lord of everything in this world. Is this the power of God's hand? Able to release any type of energy. That violent golden long spear seemed to be a part of God's hand itself. 
Xiao and Ayu could see that the spear was formed of countless divine inscriptions. Fearsome runes emerged from Qin Wenshin's palms, flowing endlessly into the long spear, imbuing it with power. At this moment, fearsome rumbling sounds echoed from Qin Wenshin's body. His entire strength was stimulated to the highest peak. In addition to the augmentation effect from his immortal battle art, he was now in his strongest state. The him now, actually emitted a threat level almost equivalent to the time when he used the immortal vanquishing swordplay. This was all caused by the oracular chant of the god's hand. In addition, Ken Wenshin knew that this wasn't the complete inheritance of god's hand, but merely, an entry-level introductory primer. If not, based on his celestial phenomenon strength, how can he fully unleash the true might of God's hand? That was the secret art used by an ancient emperor to reign supreme throughout the immortal realms. Although it was just an introductory primer, it was already incomparably complex and also contained a boundless might. Not only that, for now Ken Wenshin had no way to achieve instantaneous full power eruptions. He had to condense countless particles of divine energy beforehand, according to the rune of diagrams in the underground palace. From the start to the end, Ken Wenshin had never lied to Xiao Lin Ayu. Even if he wanted to teach her, it was impossible for Xiao Lin Ayu to cultivate God's hand. Those who could not unravel the mystery of the underground palace were destined never to be able to comprehend the essence of this lost art despite it only being an entry-level technique. I must end things fast. Ken Wenshin silently mused. Under such a state, the energy consumption was astronomical even for him. He wouldn't be able to last too long even if he had more Yuanfus compared to others. He had no idea if he would be able to get more proficient with God's hand after he reached the ninth level, but Ken Wenshin was very sure that if he wanted to increase his proficiency, he first had to master the spiritual refinement method to the next level. BZZ. A raging wind gusted by. Qin Wenshin's body resembled a true wind rock, so fast that his speed was comparable to golden lightning. In just an instant, he rushed towards an expert of the god extermination palace and his target was none other than his opponent back then, the young man with a crown on his head. It was none other than this person's greed which caused hatred to form between him and the god extermination palace. The countenance of the crowned young man abruptly changed. Back then, he already couldn't defeat Ken Wenshin. Let alone now the Ken Wenshin who had cultivated such a terrifying art. He hurriedly retreated, yet he only saw the long spear of Ken Wenshin erupting forth, penetrating through space. Beams of golden light shot out, instantly arriving before him. That crown young man roared in rage. An immortal light flashed as the sounds of a collision could be heard. The crowned young man was forced back several steps. An immortal ranked weapon appeared before him, blocking that attack, but there were no signs of satisfaction on his face, only disappointment. He was actually forced to use an immortal weapon. In the city of ancient emperors, it was an extremely embarrassing matter to be forced into such dire straits to the point where he had to take out an immortal weapon to neutralize the threat to his life. Countless gazes turned to him, that crowned young man only felt his face burning with shame. After which, he only heard Ken Wenshin coldly stating, Are you even qualified to be termed a genius? Merely trash that knows how to group up and bully newbies who enters the city of ancient emperors. The God Extermination Palace is nothing but a bunch of worms. G. Lanshin's cultivation art, the Thousand Talisman Immortal Text, was unleashed to its maximum effect. A Thousand Talisman's sword appeared, he then stepped forth moving towards Ken Wenshin. As the sect leader of the God Extermination Palace as well as being a ranker on the Immortal Ascension rankings, he had to defeat Ken Wenshin no matter what. Ken Wenshin cast a glance at G. Lanshin. After which, his silhouette flickered as he directly dashed towards his opponent. Die! G. Lanshin howled, the Thousand Talisman Sword exuded a might strong enough to annihilate the heavens and earth. However at the same moment, the violent golden long spear materialized by the god's hand, directly collided with it. Both weapons shimmered with resplendent runic light, as numerous runes clashed together. A terrifying shock wave born from the impact then tore space apart. Ken Wenshin reacted instantly, blasting out with his palm. 
another violet golden spear shimmering with runic might shot out directly, aiming for the thousand talismans constellation that was above Ji Lanshan's head. The hearts of the crowd trembled as they watched on. Qin Wenshin was merely a seventh level ascendant but upon using God's hand, his combat prowess actually reached such a terrifying level. How tyrannical was God's hand truly? Inclining their heads, the spectators saw the terrifying spear piercing into the constellation. In just an instant, that spear shimmering with divine runic light completely causing the thousand talismans constellation to be completely suppressed in the air. This made Ji Lanshan howl in madness, he drew more energy from his constellation, wanting to break free of the suppressive force. But at this moment, Ken Wenshin's gigantic body that was akin to a wind rock, descended. Using the principles of God's hand, he directly blasted out a star-seizing palm imprint. Before this, the star-seizing palm already had a tyrannical power. But after applying the principles of God's hand, as well as the 10,000 laws record, the strength within it evolved to another level. When the palm imprint was blasted out, it truly contained enough power to pluck down stars and moon, able to destroy anything that obstructed it. A boundless radiance erupted from Ji Lanshan. With a roar of rage, a brilliant runic glow circulated around him. Both his hands pierced through the void as an ancient myriad law cauldron that emitted a supreme destructive might appeared. The power of the talismans that covered it could even shake the heavens and no power would be able to shake the cauldron in the slightest. Bang! A world-shattering attack resonated in all eight directions as that terrifying palm strike smashed the ancient cauldron apart. The shock waves generated a shadow of a palm which then blasted into Ji Lanshan. Ji Lanshan retreated with explosive speed, yet he failed to evade that shadow of a palm strike. With an explosive sound, he coughed out a mouthful of blood as flecks of redness danced in the air. Borrowing the power from that palm strike, he instantly flew far away, grinding away a portion of that destructive power. This. The spectators were all stunned. Qian Wenshin borrowed the power of God's hand and defeated a ranker on the Immortal Ascension rankings, Ji Lanshan. God's hand, how powerful, there's no need to doubt its might. The spectators were truly stunned by the power unleashed by the secret art of ancient emperor Yi. The geniuses in the city of ancient emperors were no ordinary characters. Ji Lanshan was an expert ranked on the Immortal Ascension rankings, and even though he was ranked in the number 300 plus range, he wasn't someone who could be defeated easily. However, Ken Wenshin did so, and he had even jumped two levels in terms of cultivation, and crushed Ji Lanshan. How tyrannical exactly was the power of God's hand? Ji Lanshan, your strength isn't enough. I have no great hatred with your God Extermination Palace, and in fact, it's the members of your sect who wanted to bully me and my junior siblings intending on seizing away our interspatial rings when we first arrived in the city of ancient emperors. It's you guys who acted first before I retaliated, and right now I, Ken Wenshin, will warn you here and now, if you guys still refuse to give up, I don't care if you are the descendant of an immortal king or an immortal emperor. I will show no mercy. Ken Wenshin coldly spoke, and upon seeing the inspiring aura around him, Xiao Lin Ayu suddenly felt like Ken Wenshin was a different person altogether. That Ken Wenshin who endured silently, and this Ken Wenshin that exuded magnificence through the generations. Were they the same person? Capture him! Xiao Lin Ayu commanded, there was no need for other words. The experts of the Xiao sect lunged forth, and despite Ken Wenshin's current power, they will still be able to capture him. Ken Wenshin, knew the secret art God's hand. They had to catch him no matter what. Upon seeing the experts of the Xiao sect moving nearer, Ken Wenshin roared in rage, Before this you, Xiao and I you, forced me to quit the Xiao sect when you saw the experts of the God Extermination Palace wanting to deal with me. So what now? I'm no longer someone of your Xiao sect, don't tell me that you wish to murder me in order to seize my treasures? HMPH. Xiao and I you coldly snorted, Ignoring Qin Wenshin. Xiao and Ayu, from the first time you invited me to join the Xiao sect, you already had plenty of schemes in your mind. What's ridiculous is that I, Qin Wenshin, am honest and upright and have never once lied to you. 
what I said was the truth and wasn't trying to mock you, even if the secret art was placed right in front of you and even if I tell you the methods to cultivate it, you will never be able to do so. Ken Wenchen's words weren't just for Xiaolin Ayu, it was for everyone else as well. He then continued, The lost art of ancient Emperor Yi, you guys only felt awe by its might but have no idea how tough it is to comprehend this. If it was really so easy, how can it be called a heaven-shaking secret art? Many of you are descendants of immortal emperors, tell me now, are the secret arts of immortal emperors easy to comprehend and cultivate? Use your brains a little and you will know the difficulty of learning the God's hand. Stop boasting shamelessly. Are you saying no one in the city of ancient emperors can surpass you in terms of talent? Just when everyone was pondering over Ken Wenchen's words, another voice rang out through the air. It was none other than Zhuan Xing from the Twin Stars Alliance. At the very least, I'm much stronger compared to you, Zhuan Crossing when we were trapped in the underground palace. You were content to sit around and wait for death, only knowing how to think up methods to deal with me. While I was busy trying to analyze the divine inscriptions and figure out the mystery, trying my best to search for an exit. Finally, I managed to bring everyone out, but Yu Zhuanqing, refused to admit your inferiority. You are just a useless loser. Qian Wenchen coldly continued, everyone here, if you want to comprehend and cultivate God's hand, Having an extremely high level of attainments in divine inscriptions is the prerequisite. If your level of attainments can't even compare to this useless bum Zhuanqing, you all best stop your foolish dreams. When in the underground palace, although Zhuanqing could see through the rune of diagrams, he couldn't understand the principles and mysteries behind them at all. Chapter 917, Heavenly Mystic Mirror Art Translator, Lord Bluefire Editor, Lord Bluefire Ken Wenchen's voice trembled the space, causing the hearts of everyone here to shudder as they heard his words. When Ken Wenchen entered the underground palace, it wasn't him who entered alone. There were other geniuses Le Xuanxing and Xiaolin Ayu as well. However, the one who eventually managed to cultivate the god's hand, was none other than Ken Wenchen alone. The others all failed to do so. In the ancient emperor palace, there was an oracular chant that could be imparted, able to be learned by anyone who wished to. Also, Ken Wenchen's earlier words should be true. With Wenchen and so many others who also visited the underground palace, his lies would be exposed immediately if he intended to lie. Evidently, it was true that Ken Wenchen was the one who allowed the others to escape from that underground palace. To think that God's hand is tyrannical to such an extent, it should be exceedingly difficult to cultivate it and since Ken Wenchen has succeeded, it might truly mean that his talent surpassed the others. Some of the crowd silently mused. After this battle, they didn't know if there would be a new name on the Immortal Ascension rankings. Although the strength Ken Wenchen displayed now was due to God's hand, since he had already comprehended it, it was a strength that belonged to him, Ken Wenchen. It wasn't impossible for him to become a ranker on the Immortal Ascension rankings. It was just that nobody knew what rank Ken Wenchen would be, if his name was on the rankings. You are truly arrogant to the extreme. Zhuanxing emitted an extremely cold aura upon hearing his name being brought up in such a humiliating context. The experts of the Twin Stars Alliance surrounded Ken Wenchen and his companions. In this case, Although Qin Wenchen defeated Ji Lanshan and the people from the God Extermination Palace, the enemy raid before him now was even more terrifying. Xiao and Ayu were the people of the Xiao sect, Zhuan Xing with the people of the Twin Stars Alliance. Despite the overwhelming power of God's hand, Qin Wenchen's cultivation base was merely at the seventh level. How can he topple this piece of sky? He would find it tough to escape even if given wings. At this moment, the spectators couldn't help but to wonder, if Ken Wenchen had the cultivation base of Zhuanxing and Xiaolin Ayu, at the ninth level of celestial phenomenon, that and in addition to God's hand, would he have the power to sweep over everything? The tyrannical power of God's hand was truly extremely fearsome to behold. Staring at so many strong enemies surrounding him, a terrifying rumbling sound echoed from Ken Wenchen's body as he expanded in size once again. His palm naturally also grew in size, 
but the amount of runic light radiating from it only grew more resplendent. I have no interest in playing around, fighting one-on-one -on -one against you. Zhuan Shang coldly spoke. He directly pointed his finger at Ken Wenshin, seize him. Be sure not to kill him. Xiaolin Iyu added. A moment later, experts from both powers stepped out, preparing to capture Ken Wenshin. Ken Wenshin coldly smiled, a raging wind gusted as he directly soared up into the skies. As he moved, the tens of experts from both powers followed after him, emitting powerful ores that promised destruction, sweeping across the heavens and earth. However at this very moment, a low droning chant sounded out from Ken Wenshin. The timbre of the words exuded a sense of ancientness, causing the gusts of wind in the air to intensify and to turn even more violent. With the chant of demonic divinities, the ancient will stretches through the skies, gathering demonic chi from the eight directions, devouring astral energy from the starry skies. An overwhelming burst of demonic chi swept across this entire space, gushing frenziedly from Keen Wenchen. The demonic blood in his gigantic body seethed and surged, issuing terrifying sounds akin to tidal waves. At the same time, those experts that flew up in the air with him all had expressions of sharpness on their faces and upon staring at Ken Wenshin now, fear and trepidation could be seen flickering in their eyes. What a powerful demonic she! The hearts of everyone trembled. They only saw that in the air, the figure of a gigantic rock suddenly appeared, exuding a supreme demonic might. I connect and fuse them as one, I offer my mortal body as a sacrifice transform my destiny into that of a demon. The ancient chant continued unceasingly from Qin Wenshin, as an energy that originated from the heavenly layers descended. BZZ. The violent gusts of wind swept over everyone with increasing ferocity. The heavens and earth changed color and abruptly, a huge mass of blackness blotted out the skies. That was a gigantic rock, incomparably demonic. A king's aura emanated from it, as though it was a great sage among the powerful rocks of old. The gigantic rock spread its wings, directly blocking out the sun. The hearts of everyone trembled violently as they stared at the sight above them. What is this? Demonic chi gushed forth, as the winds further intensified. The spectators only saw a pair of lofty and demonic eyes. That pair of eyes shared the same arrogance as Ken Wenshin did, like a sovereign of the skies, unexcelled in the world. Clearly, those were Ken Wenshin's eyes. Demonic beast? How can this be? Ken Wenshin's true form was a demonic beast? Many people exclaimed in shock. Was there yet another extremely fearsome demonic beast appearing in the city of ancient emperors? He don't seem to be a true demonic beast. Could it be that it's some super strong demonic transformation technique? If this was the case, Ken Wenshin was truly too terrifying. He was able to comprehend God's hand, and had the comprehension abilities of humans in addition to the fearsome physique and pure power of demonic beasts. Not only that, he also had the speed of the wind rock. This was simply a perfect body. What was even more terrifying was that the spectators discovered God's hand was still being activated. Ken Wenshin who had transformed into the sovereign of the skies, the talons on one of his hands were violent golden in color. There's no doubt that that is the god's hand, and the size of it now was seemingly able to destroy anything in existence. The things the spectators thought about earlier were all coming true. Now, in the form of the rock, Ken Wenchen had a cultivation base at the ninth level of celestial phenomenon, in addition to the augmentation effect of god's hand. Xiao and Ayu and Zhuan Xing both froze, staring dumbfoundedly at the giant rock in the sky. This fellow actually still had such a trump card? He isn't a demon. That's a demonic transformation art, borrowing insane amounts of external power to form a demon body. Greed Wolf, who was by the side of Xiao Lin Ayu, spoke out. No matter if he is a demon or not, right now his combat prowess is definitely unfathomably strong. Xiao Lin Ayu murmured. Even if it was her, ranked number 6 on the Immortal Ascension rankings, she didn't dare to underestimate Ken Wenchen who possessed the secret art, God's hand. He shouldn't be able to sustain too long in this form. Let's sap his energy first. Greed Wolf suggested. Xiao and Ayu didn't agree, nor did she reject. 
BZZ in the air, the gigantic rock can when shunt transformed into, flapped its wings causing huge gusts of winds that blasted at the people below. The gusts of wind sliced towards the experts of the two powers and Ken Wenchen coldly spoke, Since all of you can enter the city of ancient emperors, you are nationally disciples or descendants of immortal kings and emperors. All of you by right should be peak heaven chosen of various regions in the immortal realms but why are you so stupid? Fighting for the sake of dying for others? Are there benefits in doing so? I can tell all of you now that if I act, I won't show any mercy. The tyrannical ice like voice was like a decree of a sovereign, containing an unparalleled arrogance. The hearts of those experts started to waver. No matter if it was Xiaolin Iyu or Zhuangqing, both of them didn't seem to intend to act personally. Right now, these experts were like those who had already mounted a tiger and couldn't get off halfway. Their hesitation was evident that they were frightened by Ken Wenshin's words. With so many experts here, you really think we would fear you? merely trying to scare us off. Take him down. A voice rang out in the air, the speaker was none other than Xia Qianhun from the Xiao sect. And as the sound of his voice rang out, a terrifying aura swept through this entire space. Beams of violent golden divine arrows erupted forth, shimmering with runic light. They pierced through the void, and moved with lightning speed, aiming for the gigantic rock in the sky. Qian Wenchen's god's hand grabbed downwards. Those divine arrows were effortlessly stopped by him mid-flight. They had no power to penetrate the god's hand. Bzzz. Ken Wenchen's wings flapped as he instantly vanished from sight. Although his size was incomparably gigantic, his speed was so quick as though it could seemingly transcend space itself. How fast was the speed of a wind rock? As expected of a sky sovereign rock. With this flap, the gigantic rock directly appeared above those experts. His god's hand blasted downwards, shattering space apart, causing thunderous explosions to ring out. Several of those experts in the air were slammed down onto the ground forcibly by the impact, causing huge craters to appear everywhere as the bones and their bodies fractured, amidst screams of misery and agony in the air. Disperse! The experts roared. All of them simultaneously attacked, forming gigantic palm imprints, powerful sharp swords etc aiming for the great rock. However, with another flap, the gigantic rock moved like lightning, disappearing in an instant before reappearing again high up in the sky. Fast, he's too fast. The spectators all stared in awe. Was this the speed of a sky sovereign rock? It could basically be considered unrivaled. Ken Wenchen had cultivated many rock-type techniques before. In addition he had the rune bone of Paragon Sky Rock able to comprehend the essence of the energy within it resulting in the fact that when he transformed into a great rock, he was incomparably familiar with how to use his power. BZZ. Ken Wenchen's wings flapped again, causing tornadoes to appear in the air. A violet golden spear appeared in his hand as he stabbed it forth with blinding speed. Upon seeing that attack, there was basically no one who dared to block it. In just an instant, the experts scattered in all eight directions. There was no one who dared to stand up against that sort of speed in addition to the crushing force of that attack imbued by God's hand. The destruction it could cause was simply on an inconceivable scale. God's hand. Zhuangsheng's longing intensified further upon seeing how powerful it was. He decided to go out, sparing nothing. Even if he had to cut off Ken Wenshin's head, he was determined to obtain the secret art. God's hand. But at this moment, Zhuangsheng suddenly saw a pair of cold looking eyes staring his way. After that, a tyrannical beam of light that could sweep over everything, shot towards him at an unbelievable speed. And at this instant, Zhuangsheng only felt his entire body stiffening up. He quickly unleashed his constellation. It was in the form of an incomparably marvelous diagram that contained fearsome divine might. Heavenly Mystic Mirror Art. Zhuangsheng screamed in rage upon seeing the long spear stabbing towards him. The supreme mystical art created by Emperor Zhuang was unleashed to its limit. In the middle of the air, an incomparably ancient-looking mirror appeared, exuding an extremely unique force. Bang! Qian Wenchen's spear smashed downwards as a fiery beam of light shot outwards. 
Zhuan Shang roared in anger as cracks appeared endlessly on the ground underneath his feet. That spear attack was emanating an unbelievable pressure, suppressing him. An instant later, cracks appeared on the ancient mirror but Ken Wenshin was flung through the air as well. After he recovered, he discovered that the violent golden long spear had already shattered. Even the talons infused with the power of God's hand, were trembling involuntarily. You reflected my attack back at me? The coldness in the lofty eyes of the rock was cold to the extreme. Was this the strength of the number 27 ranker on the immortal ascension rankings? The son of the Zhuan Emperor. To think that the heavenly mystic mirror art actually had such a unique power. It was only because his strength overloaded the limits of the ancient mirror Zhuan Xing had summoned, which resulted in the numerous cracks appearing on it. The mirror now seemed to be on the verge of shattering apart. BZZ. A raging wind rushed by as Ken Wenshin soared high up into the air once more. Another spear that was shimmering with layers of destructive mind materialized once more from God's hand. Zhuan Sheng's body was shaking, he stared up at the gigantic rock in rage. You dare? His heavenly mystic mirror art had no way to block another strike from Ken Wenshin. The power of Ken Wenshin's attack was too terrifying, it had already reached a peak in terms of power. Chapter 918, Fighting Against the Number 4 Ranker of the Immortal Ascension Rankings Translator, Lord Bluefire Editor, Lord Bluefire The heavenly mystic mirror art is going to be broken. The hearts of the spectators trembled. Any immortal emperor had their outstanding points, and were all in possession of terrifying cultivation arts. This heavenly mystic mirror art is originally a supreme cultivation art belonging to the Zhuan Emperor, able to reflect back attacks. It was extremely terrifying when used in battle. Given Zhuan Xing's combat prowess, in addition to this cultivation art he learned, it was no wonder that he could be ranked number 27 on the Immortal Ascension rankings. However, it was impossible for any cultivation art or secret art to be invincible. Once the mirror met an even stronger power, the balance would start to collapse. And once the attack power exceeded a certain limit, the heavenly mystical mirror art would no longer be able to endure the strain. It was just like what happened earlier. Zhuan Xing's heavenly mystical mirror art could only stand up to, and reflect a single attack augmented by God's hand, issued by Ken Wenshin in the gigantic rock's form. If Ken Wenshin attacked again, the mirror would surely be shattered into pieces. At this moment, Zhuan Xing was staring in rage at Ken Wenchen in the air. That gigantic body of Ken Wenchen gave him an extremely huge amount of pressure. This was especially so when he looked at the talons of the Great Rock, imbued by the power of God's hand. Runic glows flashed through the skies, and it was like something bestowed to Ken Wenchen by God, containing incomparably supreme attacking might within. As expected of a lost secret art which an ancient immortal emperor used to unify the immortal realms. I don't dare? Qian Wenchen's eyes were incomparably demonic, staring at Zhuan Xing down below. From the beginning in the underground palace, Zhuan Xing wanted to deal with him time after time again and again. Before this, because of the incident of Qian Wenchen acquiring the picture scroll, Zhuan Xing already wanted his life let alone now that Ken Wenshin possessed the secret art of God's hand. As for the saying that there are no killings in the city of ancient emperors, that was only relative. If there's no death grudges between both parties, everyone would naturally be willing to not overstep the line. But when in the face of overwhelming benefits and a life and death battle, this so-called saying was incomparably flimsy, breaking apart at the slightest touch. The spectators all felt their hearts shaking as they watched from afar. Although they were all geniuses the difference between Zhuan Xing, who was ranked number 27 on the Immortal Ascension rankings, was simply too vast compared to an ordinary geniuses. For those who aren't even rankers, they basically couldn't even withstand a single attack from the Great Rock Ken Wenshin transformed into. Hence, they could only choose to escape in all directions. And that resulted in the current scene now where Zhuan Xing was facing against Ken Wenshin alone. An intense beam of light shot out. Ken Wenshin's gigantic rock form transformed into that beam of light, as his demonic chi ravaged everything in the region. Hurricanes tore apart the space as another terrifying spear stabbed out. This spear attack could even make ghosts and demons wail. 
Boundless runic light shimmered around it as it pierced towards Zhuan crossing right now. Zhuanxing was just like in the center of a storm, able to be destroyed at any moment. Zhuanxing unleashed his power to the limits. His palms faced upwards, transforming into an ancient mirror as boundless astral light and divine inscriptions frenziedly gushed into it. The heavenly mystical mirror art glowed even more brilliantly and appeared between him and the giant rock. However, despite his attempts at defense, the spectators all felt that the Zhuangxing now just seemed so tiny and inconsequential, like an insignificant being. Bang! The long spear blasted into the mirror again with crushing might. At the same moment of impact, the sounds of shattering echoed out and finally, the ancient mirror was broken into pieces. That powerful spear continued on its way, aiming for Zhuangxing's death. Upon staring at this scene, the expressions on everyone froze as they felt waves of coldness in their hearts. Can Wenchen really dare to do this? He even dared to kill Zhuangxing? Boom! That destructive spear of Qin Wenchen directly blasted into Zhuangxing's body, causing all the spectators to stiffen as though they didn't dare to believe that this was happening. However at this very moment, a terrifying aura gushed forth from Zhuangxing, blocking the spear attack. Zhuangxing was still flung through the air and blasted into the ground as he coughed out blood but right now, there was a faint silhouette that hovered in front of him. This silhouette was that of a majestic expert. Just merely standing there, that expert radiated a prestige and might belonging to emperors and kings, unexcelled in this world. Little friend. In the city of ancient emperors, why must you be so ruthless? It's always better to spare those you can spare allowing room for negotiation. That imposing silhouette stared at Ken Wenshin as he spoke. The Zhuan Emperor. The people nearby were all shocked. This faint silhouette was actually the Zhuan Emperor himself. Zhuan Qing, as the son of the Zhuan Emperor, would naturally have a strand of protective immortal sense from his father that would activate when he was on the verge of death. You should be telling these words to him. Zhuan Qing is too overbearing forcing me to the point where I have no choice. If I don't kill him, he would kill me. Qin Wenchen stared straight at the Zhuan Emperor as he replied. The Zhuan Emperor glanced at Qin Wenchen's bomb, as astonishment flickered in his eyes, instantly understanding what was going on. Scram! The Zhuan Emperor waved his hand and instantly, the long spear shattered apart inch by inch. Qin Wenchen only felt a tremendous force blasting into him as his gigantic body was knocked through the air. However, his countenance was ice cold. In front of the immortal sins of the Zhuan Emperor, he basically had no way to resist. It was a simple thing if the Zhuan Emperor wanted to kill him. Qin Wenchen stabilized himself, but the divine inscriptions that made up the god's hand had already been destroyed. His huge eyes flashed with coldness because he understood not only did this strike of the Zhuan Emperor destroy his god's hand, the Zhuan Emperor also wanted to seal his fate here. Insolence At this moment, fearsome black clouds blanketed the skies, as a pair of gigantic eyes appeared, flickering with a towering mnemonic might. This pair of eyes was currently staring at the Zhuan Emperor in anger. You dare to directly interfere in the matters of the city of ancient emperors? An incomparably majestic voice thundered down from the heavens. The Zhuan Emperor stared upwards and spoke, I'm merely formed from a strand of my immortal sense, acting to protect my son. I didn't kill anyone and didn't interfere in the matters of this city. Senior, rest your anger I shall depart now. As the sound of his voice faded, the Zhuan Emperor icily glanced at Ken Wenshin before his immortal sense dissipated away. HMPH a glacial voice snorted. That terrifying phenomenon also gradually disappeared, yet the memory of that scene remained etched in everyone's mind, causing their hearts to tremble. This city of ancient emperors was truly mysterious. Without permission, even immortal emperors couldn't enter, and there was a unique set of rules governing this place. Even immortal emperors weren't permitted to interfere in the matters here. Zhuangxing stood up. That strike earlier had actually injured him but luckily, his a royal father's immortal sense appeared, neutralizing the majority of the attack for him. Hence, he wasn't too severely injured. Right now, his eyes were staring at the sky, at the gigantic rock that was Ken Wenshin, 
as his killing intent shot up into the skies. Zhuan crossing a voice rang out as a figure whistled through the air from afar. Zhuan Yang's speed was extremely fast, bringing along some more experts from the Twin Stars Alliance as he rushed to his younger brother. Big Brother Upon noting the arrival of Zhuan Yang, Zhuan Sheng pointed to the great rock in the air and stated, This man acquired the secret art of ancient Emperor Yi, God's hand. Let's capture him. Zhuan Yang has arrived. This time around, Ken Wenchen is in danger. When the spectators noticed Zhuan Yang's arrival, all of them could only shake their heads, thinking that Ken Wenchen was in for it. What sort of character was Zhuan Yang? He's the number four ranker on the Immortal Ascension rankings and naturally, his heavenly mystical mirror art would be many times more powerful compared to his younger brother Zhuan Crossing there was no problem for him to block the God's Hand, let alone that right now, the divine inscriptions that made up of the God's Hand had already been destroyed by the Zhuan Emperor's immortal sense. How could Ken Wenshin have time to compress divine energy to form them again? For those that are able to rank within the top 10 in the Immortal Ascension rankings, none of them are ordinary characters and were true geniuses at the peak. Their strength was unfathomably strong, and the innate techniques and cultivation arts they possessed were all of the supreme tier. The number 4 ranker Zhuang Yang, his strength could very well be imagined. Okay. Zhuang Yang nodded. He slowly soared in the air, radiating an unexcelled might. Multicolored light circulated around him as he released his bloodline power, causing his entire being to turn transparent, like he could disappear at any moment. His constellation in the form of an ancient mirror also appeared, as a dazzling glow covered it. Zhuang Yang's heavenly mystical mirror art has actually been cultivated to such a terrifying level, he's much more stronger than Zhuang crossing this art was extremely special, Zhuang Yang used this to claim victory over many geniuses and he can be considered a king-like existence among the geniuses at the very peak. The spectators murmured. If Ken Wenshin could reactivate God's hand again, he might still be strong enough to clash against Zhuang Yang. But if he couldn't, he would die here for sure. Ken Wenshin floated in the air, and indeed, he wouldn't be able to reactivate God's hand so soon after the immortal sense of Zhuang Emperor destroyed it. This was the secret art of ancient Emperor Yi a truly terrifying technique. How could it be cultivated so easily? Despite the god's hand being in its most rudimentary form, Ken Wenshin still needed to spend a lot of time using the spiritual refinement method to condense it once more. He couldn't do so instantaneously. He might be the only one who succeeded in cultivating this secret art. But he still has his limits. Only in the future would he grow more proficient with this. The Zhuang Emperor must have noticed the power of God's hand, hence he intentionally destroyed it. Qian Wenchen mused silently. As expected of an immortal emperor, although he was restricted by the rules in the city of ancient emperors and didn't injure him severely, he still made sure that his son would be in an advantageous position. Zhuang Yang, ranked number 4 on the Immortal Ascension rankings. Qian Wenchen stared at his new opponent. Since he could be ranked number 4. This meant that Zhuang Yang's strength was at the ultimate peak under immortality. You must be courting death. Zhuang Yang stared at the body of the gigantic rock. His constellation shone with boundless light as he stabbed his finger outwards. In an instant, that transparent mirror birthed beams of golden light that shot towards Ken Wenshin's eyes, aiming to blind him. The spectators only saw blinding rays of light shooting from the mirror so eye-piercingly sharp that they contained the power to kill within. BZZ. Ken Wenchen's rock body transformed into a beam of light, instantly shooting through the skies. However, the beams of golden light shot after him unceasingly, and they actually had a speed that could keep up with Ken Wenchen. If it was someone not in the rankings facing against Zhuang Yang, that person would probably die instantly. How powerful! The spectators below stared in awe. For true geniuses that were at the peak, how could they be weak? Do you only know how to dodge? Zhuang Yang sneered. However in the next moment, he only saw the talons of the great rock swiping downwards, transforming into a towering palm imprint that blotted out the skies, slamming into the beams of golden light aiming for him. Swish a raging wind gusted, Ken Wenchen directly rushed Zhuang Yang. During the rush, 
his sharp talons endlessly slashed outwards, unceasingly destroying the beams of light from the mirror. Ken Wenshin's attack is also overbearingly tyrannical. Even without depending on God's hand, his current strength is already sufficient for him to be ranked within the top 100 of the Immortal Ascension rankings. Many of the spectators silently mused in their hearts. Chapter 919, Joint Attack Translator, Lord Bluefire Editor, Lord Bluefire Zhuan Yang stared at Ken Wenshin's full power attack, yet the calmness on his face was calm to the extreme. Beams of light shot out endlessly, and although they were destroyed by Ken Wenshin's gigantic palm, he didn't feel satisfied in the slightest. BZZ. A transparent spear shot out, born from the ancient mirror. Zhuan Yang stretched his hand out and made a grab, holding on to the spear as he stared at Ken Wenshin. From the aura he exuded, the spectators could feel the imposingness of the absolute geniuses at the very peak. Linayu, Ken Wenshin will be defeated in this battle for sure. We mustn't allow Zhuan Yang to capture Ken Wenshin so easily. What should we do? Greed Wolf stared at Xiao Linayu as he asked. He was also one of rankers near the top of the Immortal Ascension rankings, and hence, he was relatively clear about the strength difference between Ken Wenshin and Zhuan Yang. If Ken Wenshin possessed the God's Hand, he would be able to fight against Zhuan Yang because of how tyrannical and domineering his attacks would be. But without God's Hand, the Great Rock Ken Wenshin transformed into might have increased his speed and strength, but it didn't increase his original comprehension of his constellations. How could his understanding of constellations not be inferior to Zhuan Yang who was at the peak of celestial phenomenon? The power he could borrow from his constellation was also far inferior in comparison and although the lack of strength could be mitigated somewhat by his transformation into the Great Rock, the power of attacks from his constellation couldn't. Also in terms of comprehension, Ken Wenshin was far lacking. For the top 10 geniuses on the Immortal Ascension rankings, they were a level higher compared to the others. They had already begun to step towards the Immortal Foundation realm and started to comprehend the law energy of immortals. Although they have not established their immortal foundations, they could still control a hint of the embryonic form of immortal power. Just this advantage alone was sufficient for Zhuan Yang to be victorious. How could top rankers of the immortal ascension rankings not be worthy of their reputations? Hence from Greed Wolf's perspective, although Qin Wenshin's strength reached the ultimate peak below immortality, he would undoubtedly still be defeated. Let's wait a little longer. Even with the two of us, I'm not confident in being able to defeat Zhuan Yang. Xiao and Ayu spoke, not feeling any arrogance at all. When it comes to rankings at their level, all of them had supreme cultivation arts and techniques. Zhuan Yang's heavenly mystical mirror art had already reached the absolute limits of what celestial phenomenon ascendants are capable of able to absorb and reflect any of their attacks. This meant that if you fought with Zhuan Yang, not only would you have to face his attacks, you even had to be wary of your own attacks being reflected back on you. The stronger your attack power is, the stronger the reflection would be. Hence, one could very well imagine how difficult it is to fight against Zhuan Yang. If not, how could Zhuan Yang be so steadily ranked number 4, easily suppressing herself? as well as the resplendent Princess Kinger on the rankings, MHM. Greed Wolf nodded lightly. In the air, Ken Wenshin descended with terrifying speed, directly grabbing his talons towards Zhuan Yang. As this attack was sent out, a fearsome silhouette of a great rock appeared in front of Zhuan Yang, letting out a terrifying screech and wanting to rip Zhuan Yang into pieces. In front of this silhouette, Zhuan Yang seemed so small and inconsequential. However, the aura he was exuding made him seem like a giant. The long spear in his hand slammed out, with boundless astral energy infused into it. Countless beams of blinding light appeared in the air, so dazzling that Ken Wenshin found it hard to open his huge eyes. Bang! An enormous tidal wave of energy slammed against Ken Wenshin's talons. He retreated, his movements working to a rock of the wind, instantly soaring far away. His gigantic talons were trembling and as expected, it was the same as the case of Zhuan crossing Zhuan Yang was skilled in the art of reflection as well. Not only that, he could even stack his own power with his opponent's attack. Under that enormous tidal wave of energy, 
Ken Wenchen's talons felt as though they were about to shatter. Ken Wenchen glanced at Zhuang Yang who was standing in his original spot, silently musing on the power of the number 4 ranker on the Immortal Ascension rankings. He activated his immortal battle art as a layer of runic light covered the body of the Great Rock. His eyes turn even sharper, seemingly able to pierce through those he looked at. Astral light from his constellations flashed brilliantly in the skies, cascading down onto him. BZZ. A black streak cart through the skies, as Ken Wenchen rushed forward once again with the speed of the wind. The only thing that could be seen was a beam of light shooting towards Zhuang Yang. Zhuang Yang continued standing proudly in the air. Staring at the gigantic figure of the Great Rock, the astral energy of his constellation slashed outwards frenziedly aiming for that streak of black light. However, he only saw Qin Wenchen paying no heed to his constellation attack. When the destructive astral energy slammed into the body of the Great Rock, the layer of light circulating around the rock actually blocked it, causing thunderous sounds of collision to ring out in the air. What a terrifying defense! The hearts of the spectators trembled. The Great Rock was a demon, a sovereign of the skies. Its speed and defense was nationally insanely high. In addition to Ken Wenchen's immortal battle art and the fiended body refinement art, just based on pure defense, Ken Wenchen's stats have already reached an inconceivable level. It was impossible to deal with him merely with the pure astral energy attack from one's constellation. Chi. A palm strike ripped through the air, blasting outwards. Zhuang Yang responded with a spear strike and with a deafening explosion, Ken Wenchen's figure vanished from sight. The only thing remaining was the sound of the wind. Bang, bang, bang. Following which, the spectators only heard fearsome sounds of collision ringing out through the air. The speed of the Great Rock was too fast, just like a real bolt of lightning that unceasingly blasted towards Zhuang Yang. Zhuang Yang's attack speed wasn't in any way inferior as well. In a mere instant, it was unknown how many times the two of them had clashed. Colliding time after time, again and again. In Zhuang Yang's surroundings, the silhouette of the Great Rock could be seen everywhere so large that it blotted out the skies. Qin Wenchen's demonic Xi towered into the heavens, and despite Zhuang Yang's terrifying strength, this endless manner of collision caused him to be somewhat unable to endure. How swift! This speed is simply unparalleled. Even if Qin Wenchen is defeated here, if he wanted to leave, it would be difficult for Zhuang Yang to stop him. The spectators stared at the world-shaking clashes in the air as their hearts shuddered. However at this moment, they only saw a unicorn gushing from Zhuang Yang's surroundings. Boundless astral light flowed around him as his long spear stabbed out once again. This spear, the speed of his attack seemed to have slowed down a lot. However, if one took a closer look, there seemed to be a strange fluctuation in Zhuang Yang's surroundings which contained a mysterious law energy. It felt like his surroundings were the interior of a mirror and when his long spear stabbed out, Despite the slow-looking speed, its attack directly erupted forth in all directions. Zhuang Yang's spear clearly stabbed out in a single direction. However, the spear light bent and shot out in all directions. Zhuang Yang's spear arts evidently pierced forth, but clearly, the spear light bent and erupted in all directions. Bang! Behind Zhuang Yang, Ken Wenchen's palm that contained towering destructive might grab down. However, Cracking sounds appeared as beams of mirror light shot over unceasingly and he only felt his own sharp talons enduring an incomparably powerful force. That was the energy of his own attack. Not only that, it wasn't simply 100% of his attacking power reflected back. The reflection attack seemed to be further boosted in power, shooting right back at him. With a thunderous boom. Ken Wenchen's gigantic rock form was blasted far off in the distance as he spat out several mouthfuls of blood. Law energy that only mortals could use? Below, the various spectators felt their hearts shaking as they saw this scene. As expected, for those top few rankers on the Immortal Ascension rankings, not only was their attack power at the ultimate peak, they also comprehended a trace of law energy. It was extremely terrifying when they infused that trace of immortal law energy into their attacks. The reflection attack is even stronger than Ken Wenchen's original attack. Although Ken Wenchen has the form of a giant rock, 
he is still in an inferior position in terms of cultivation. In addition other than God's hand, how could the other cultivation arts or innate techniques he knew be comparable to the Zhuan Emperor's supreme heavenly mystical mirror art? Also, Zhuan Yang has even comprehended a trace of immortal energy. In this case, as long as he couldn't break the heavenly mystical mirror art of Zhuan Yang, no matter how strong the power of his attacks are, they would all be reflected back to himself. Unless he could reactivate the god's hand, he basically had no chance to break Zhuan Yang's mirror. Qian Wenchen retreated unceasingly. After such a long battle, he had consumed an extremely terrifying amount of energy. And also, considering the clashes he had just before, Qian Wenchen was seized by a sense of fatigue. All this was already destined when the Zhuan Emperor broke his god's hand. The casual strike of the Zhuan Emperor, although it didn't break the rules of the city of ancient emperors and wasn't considered too overbearing, he had destroyed one of Qian Wenchen's strongest trump cards. Senior brother, watch out! At this moment, a roar rang out in the air. It was Jun Mengjin who shouted out. A sense of imminent danger suddenly befall him as several overwhelming oars rushed towards him from his back. At the same time, Zhuan Yang who was in front of him, also moved out with the speed of lightning, launching an attack over at him. BZZ. Qian Wenchen's wings flapped rapidly, forcibly blocking the attacks that came from his back. After which, with another flap of his powerful wings, he soared higher up into the sky. Art of Grand Freezing. At this instant, a heaven startling coldness swept over everything, with the power to freeze everything under the heavens. Frost appeared in the air, and that gigantic body of Ken Wenshin was instantly frozen solid, transformed into a state of ice. Not only him, the entire space he was in had frozen completely, but even so, the ice statue of the giant rock he was, continued to soar up the skies due to his earlier momentum. Bang! A terrifying demonic chi gushed forth as the ice broke apart inch by inch. In the next instant, Greed Wolf appeared on the back of the giant rock as he stabbed out a finger. At that moment, a chaotic stream of energy pierced directly into Ken Wenshin's body, ravaging his insides, wanting to break him apart. You won't be able to escape. Xiao and I use cold voice drifted over. Yet another wave of incomparable coldness descended causing even the spectators so far below to feel waves of numbness due to the frost. Zhuan Yang, ranked number 4 on the Immortal Ascension Rankings Xiao and Ayu, ranked number 6 on the Immortal Ascension Rankings Greed Wolf, ranked number 12 on the Immortal Ascension Rankings These three were all supreme geniuses at the peak, and right now all three of them were joining forces to deal with Ken Wenchen. One could very well imagine the scale of destructiveness they could draw. This battle was simply intense. This Ken Wenshin had comprehended God's hand, how could these people not go all out to capture him? And due to the speed of the wind rock, he was simply too fast. In order to capture Ken Wenshin, they first had to injure him grievously. Xiao and Ayu appeared before Ken Wenshin, her palms shimmering with the terrifying power of frost that grew increasingly stronger. She was preparing to attack Ken Wenchen, with unmatchable ruthlessness. Senior brother. Jun Mengjin howled. He and Zi Kingsuan instantly shot up into the air, only to see the experts of the Xiao sect blocking them. Get lost. Jun Mengjin roared. When he saw what Xiao Lin Ayu was doing, the veins in his entire body protruded out as waves of anger rolled off from him. If her attack hit, it would surely injure Ken Wenshin so severely that he would be at the verge of death. Jun Mengchen let out a terrifying roar that could shake the heavens, yet he was helpless to do anything. But all of a sudden, the power of ice and frost was halted forcibly. Boom! Xiao and Ayu's attack fell to hit her target, and the ice and frost in the area was forcibly lacerated by an intense wave of golden light that appeared before Ken Wenchen. What was even more shocking was that within that burst of golden light, a faint silhouette of an incomparably beautiful woman could be seen. Translator note, is it finally time? Who is this new arrival? Small note, Greed Wolf was apparently ranked number 20 in the earlier chapters, but either the author forgot, or the one previously was a typo error. Chapter 920, Fighting Side by Side Translator, Lord Bluefire Editor, Lord Bluefire
Who? The blinding golden light flashed brilliantly, causing the hearts of everyone to tremble. Before this both Xiao Lin Ayu and Greed Wall facted suddenly. Evidently they didn't want to let Zhuang Yang capture Ken Wenchen. They wanted to injure Ken Wenchen first before seizing him away. But at that exact moment, in the amount of time where a spark flew off the flint, this bout of golden light illuminated the skies. There seemed to be someone who descended down from the heavens, seemingly wanting to rescue Ken Wenchen. Or could it be someone with similar motives as Xiao Lin Ayu? Someone who wanted to capture Ken Wenchen? A spatial tempest gushed in the air as the eye-piercing golden light beams were like sharp swords stabbing out in all directions. When the silhouette within that light grew clearer, the eyes of the spectators couldn't help but to narrow as their hearts trembled violently. Even Zhuang Yang who was rushing over, halted at this instant. Frowning severely, a strange expression appeared on his face. Why was she here? Was it also because of God's hand? That silhouette belonged to a flawlessly supreme beauty. Her countenance was ice cold, filled with frost. But despite so, even when she was angry, her beauty would still cause one's soul to tremble. One couldn't help wanting to be nice to her. That holy demeanor seemed akin to a celestial maiden from the nine heavens. Pure, holy, noble, cold and also beautiful. What a beauty! Her features are even more outstanding than Xiao Lin Ayu. Who is she? The spectators started to whisper. Could she be Nanfeng Yangtze? No, I've seen Nanfeng Yangtze before. Although the two of them are comparable in beauty, their demeanors are different. Someone replied. Who is she then? In the city of ancient emperors, there are only three who can be termed as supreme beauties. Xiao and Ayu is already here and the possibility of Nanfeng Yangtze has been eliminated. Who else can she still be? That person replied his answer causing the expressions of those around him to freeze slightly. Out of the three supreme beauties in this place, the daughter of the evergreen immortal emperor was the most mysterious. She appeared rarely in public and had an innate immortal king physique. In the future, her lowest accomplishments would at the very least be an immortal king. In the city of ancient emperors, she didn't establish a power nor did she interact with others, choosing to do things alone. Now. She actually appeared here? The daughter of the evergreen immortal emperor, Princess Kinger? Many among the spectators started to realize this as shock appeared in their hearts. The one most likely not to appear, actually appeared at this moment? Is she Kinger? Senior brother's lover? Jun Mengjin stopped combat, staring at that flawlessly beautiful figure in the air as a faint smile flickered in his eyes. At the moment where his senior brother needed help most, Princess Kinger appeared. In addition, her beauty truly seemed to be a match for him. No wonder his senior brother wanted to find Kinger so badly. Senior brother will definitely become an immortal couple with Princess Kinger. Jun Mengchen smiled. Zi King Suan, who was beside him, naturally also saw the flawlessly beautiful silhouette. A slight look of disappointment and frustration appeared in her eyes. No wonder Ken Wenchen had Kinger in mind constantly. Such a woman, with her status and strength, actually appeared now to fight side by side together with him when he needed help most. In the air, Ken Wenchen in the form of the Great Rock stared at the familiar silhouette that appeared before him. A boundless warmth filled his heart. Right now, the severe injuries and the pain and agony he felt before, no longer mattered. After so many years, he finally met Kinger again. The distance between the particle world they were from and the immortal realms was simply too far apart. Sometimes, he would be secretly filled with worry, afraid that they would miss each other on the long and winding roads of the immortal realms. The world was simply too large, he was worried that maybe, time would change things too much. Luckily, he had worried too much. She still appeared in front of him protectively at the moment where he needed help the most. This was just like in the past. As a man, he originally should be the one protecting her. However, Kinger was like his knight in shiny armor, and would always show up during his most trying moments, standing before him to aid him. Not only that, she always chose to remain silent, existing in the shadows. Never once asking him to repay her. This love, these emotions they had for one another, grew more solid despite the passing of time, growing deeper than ever.
powerful golden light enveloped Kinger as well as Ken Winchin. Kinger was coldly staring at Xiao Lin Ayu. That lack of emotion on her face actually caused one to feel coldness in their hearts. Xiao Lin Ayu was also staring at that flawless figure before her. Regardless of demeanor or looks, this woman wasn't in any way inferior to herself. Are you the daughter of the evergreen immortal emperor, Princess Kinger? Although Xiao Lin Ayu had never met Kinger before, she could guess her identity easily. She had always been searching for her. The Immortal Ascension rankings placed her at number 6 while Kinger was number 5. Xiao and Ayu had always been unsatisfied and reluctant to accept that. She was searching for Kinger before she wanted a battle with her. At this moment, Kinger shouldn't have appeared here. You also want to capture him to seize away the secret art god's hand? Upon noting Kinger's silence, Xiao and Ayu continued asking. I always thought that you stood aloof from worldly affairs but now that the god's hand has appeared, it must be that you could finally no longer maintain your pretense? Kinger continued coldly looking at her, not bothering to care about what she was saying. After which, as she turned her head and as she saw the demonic beast form of Ken Winshin, the coldness in her eyes vanished, replaced with faint traces of worry. She also didn't expect that she would meet Ken Winshin again here in the City of Ancient Emperors. She didn't expect that he would reach this City of Ancient Emperors so fast after parting from him back then at the Royal Sacred Region. Kinger had never doubted Ken Winshin before. It was just that she didn't expect Ken Winshin would find her so quickly. When Xiao Lin Ayu saw Kinger ignoring her, an intense coldness gushed forth from her. It was extremely terrifying. But after that, she only saw a melodious voice sounding out in the air. You are injured. Kinger stared at Ken Winchen. The gentleness she exuded now was completely different from the aura of a nice princess she exuded earlier. It felt like she was two different people. Her voice now contained a trace of worry, as well as a sense of hurt. This? The gazes of the crowd stiffened. This Ken Winchen was acquainted with the daughter of the evergreen immortal emperor, Princess Kinger? Could it be that Kinger wasn't here to snatch away the god's hand but rather, because she was acquainted with Ken Winchen? Shock could be seen in Xiao Lin Ayu's beautiful eyes as she stared at the scene ahead. A moment later, she only saw a smile flashing through Ken Winchen's eyes as he replied, After seeing you, how can these injuries count for anything? As the sound of his voice faded, everyone felt even more shocked. Ken Winchen's words seemed to be hinting at his love for her. They stared at Kinger's expressions, as though wanted to see her in anger. However, there was no fluctuations as she looked as cold as before. This kind of coldness was different from Xiao Lin Ayu. Kinger's coldness was an innate one, filled with traces of gentleness within her coldness. Most probably, her personality was like this as well. And to the surprise of everyone, Princess Kinger didn't seem to be angry at all. She then asked. Why are you here in the city of ancient emperors? I came to find you. Ken Winchin replied. I met Princess Glaze and it was she who told me that you are in here. Oh. Kinger still had no fluctuations to her expressions but within her beautiful eyes, there was now a flicker of warmth. She felt warmth in her heart as well. No wonder he would appear here, so it turned out that he was looking for her. How many dangerous situations must Ken Winshin have experienced to search for her all the way from his particle world up till here? Their conversation caused strange expressions to appear on the faces of the crowd. From their words, their closeness could be inferred. It seems that Ken Winshin's relationship with Princess Kinger was beyond ordinary. Princess Kinger. At this moment, Zhuan Yang who had always been silent, finally spoke in a cold manner. This man is incomparably brazen, even wanting to kill my younger brother. I have to settle this debt with him. This matter has nothing to do with you, so please stand aside and do not interfere. Things are getting more and more interesting. Zhuan Yang is the number 4 ranker on the Immortal Ascension rankings, while Princess Kinger is number 5 and Xiao Lin Ayu is number 6. These three all appeared here today. How interesting is that? The spectators stared at the geniuses in the air with expressions of excitement on their faces. 
three supreme geniuses contending against each other with Ken Wenshin in the center of the tempest. Zhuang Yang and Xiaolin Ayu both wanted to capture him to seize the secret art away. However, Kinger was acquainted with Ken Wenshin and wanted to protect him. Kinger's countenance turned frosty as she icily regarded Zhuang Yang, ignoring him. Her personality was still like before, and she wasn't fond of words. Only Ken Wenshin was able to make her say more than a few sentences. Let me ask you again. Are you scrumming or not? Ken Wenshin's gigantic eyes stared straight at Zhuang Yang as he coldly asked. Zhuang Yang's eyes flickered with coldness, could it be you believe Princess Kinger will be able to protect you? Anyway, depending on the strength of a woman? Are you even qualified to talk to me? Depending on the strength of a woman? A mocking expression appeared on Qin Wenshin's face. Your father acted against me, destroying the god's hand I assembled. Do you even still have the face to talk to me in this manner? If it wasn't for your father's intentional actions, do you really think you would have the capabilities to act in such an arrogant manner before me? Since this is the case, I really want to see if your father left behind a protective strand of immortal sense on you. Qin Wenshin coldly continued. Leave it to me. Kinger seemingly understood Ken Wenshin's intention as she hurriedly spoke and walked towards Ken Wenshin's side. I can't always face you in this form of a great rock right? Kinger trust me, everything is going to be fine. Given my current level of strength, although the boost in power some techniques provide me is getting increasingly smaller, the injuries I would sustain would naturally be much lesser as well. A warm smile appeared in Ken Wenshin's eyes. Zhuang Yang was the number 4 ranker on the Immortal Ascension rankings. And there was also Xiaolin Ayu and Greed Wolf. How could he be at ease if Kinger fought for him? Kinger, let me do it. Qian Wenshin laughed. Right now, a boundless and supreme sword might gush forth from him as an astronomical amount of energy started to ignite. It felt like the entirety of his energy was being burned away, as beams of sword light towered up into the skies as though they wanted to tear the heavens asunder. Ken Wenshin's gigantic silhouette flickered, his sword might dominated the eight directions, transforming into a fearsome tsunami of sword chi. It set attack. From afar, Ji Lanshan and the other experts of the god extermination palace felt their hearts clenching. Now that Ken Wenshin had taken the form of a giant rock, how much more tyrannical would that sword strike be now? MHM? Zhuang Yang suddenly frowned. He activated his heavenly mystical mirror art to its limit. He felt an overpowering sense of danger from Ken Wenshin at this moment. That torrent of sword chi gushing forth was simply too terrifying. Ken Wenshin stretched his talons out. Instantly, boundless sword might congregated on his sharp talons as he pressed forward in a direction. Over there, a burst of sword chi with world-shaking powers manifested, able to slaughter anything underneath the heavens. Earlier, your younger brother Zhuang Xing has already taken one of my attacks. It was so powerful that it caused your father's protective strand of immortal sense to activate. It resulted in him acting against me with the status of an immortal emperor, destroying my god's hand. Now, I wonder if there's still a second protective strand of immortal sense on Zhuang Xing? Qian Wenchen coldly spoke. And as the sound of his voice faded, the expression on Zhuan Yang's face drastically changed as he asked, What are you trying to say? To listen to the full complete novel plus thousands upon thousands of hours worth of other full novels, go to patreon.com slash Mac. Converting these novels is mind-numbing and insanely time-consuming. Uploading to Patreon removes the additional step of having to also convert the files to video format, which saves a staggering amount of time. Your support is greatly appreciated.